Can you hear this? Uh, uh, can you hear? I wonder if the others are doing okay. Yeah, we split up with them back there. No prob! Those guys know how to handle themselves! Anyway, let's just go! The enemy Mike is up ahead. Rachel, I'm counting on you! Dead end? Don't worry, Vanny. We can easily jump that. You're right, Yuki! Then let's go, Rachel! Like it? Let's go! Hey, it's the others! <sighs> Are you all okay? Sure, what did you expect? <sighs> We're not gonna give up here. Where's Mike? I think B 
beyond that door. It's finally time! Yes, the final battle. Everyone ready? Yeah. I'm ready whenever! To come this far unawakened? I must say it's a miracle! But you can't go beyond this point! Unless you defeat me, you won't be able to see now. I guess we'll have to force our way in. <laughs> I wouldn't try that if I were you! There's no way you can beat me the way you are now. What did you say? You made the wrong choice. If you had gone down the right path, history may have changed. What do you mean? Hmm. What you want to do? But there's no point in even telling me. Because your history is about to end. Right here and right now! Shut your trap! We'll see about that! If we all work together, the Go-Getters Club can do anything! Come on, everyone! Let's do this! Hey! to your wristbands. There's something cool written there, right? But this... This isn't my name. How observant of you! That is the essence of this game. What's displayed on your wristband is for someone else. Someone else's task. Only the first person to finish their task will receive a reward. Let's say person A finishes their task before anyone else. <coughs> then only person A will get a reward. However, none of you know your own task, right? That's why to get the reward, you have to get whoever has your task to show it to you. Or even... Take it by force. Even if that means... Someone gets hurt. No. What a weird show.
here with this weird bracelet on ah, I feel like my head is going to explode hey Rachel just calm down I'm the leader here and I got it under control just do like I say and I promise you everything will be okay we were on our field trip to Kamakura on that bus then a meteor fell from the sky I don't remember anything after that I wonder if the shockwave from the meteor strike somehow sent us flying. This wristband, it won't come off! I'm the Go-Getters Club leader! I gotta take control here! This whole place? The meteor? I have no idea what's going on. It's a flyer for World's End Land, this undersea theme park. The grand opening was supposed to be last year, but it was canceled. I heard they just abandoned the whole thing for some reason. I don't know who, but I'd say we've been taken by some seriously dangerous people. We'd be smart not to get them mad. We should just do whatever they say. Seriously? What the hell is this? What the hell are we doing here? Rachel, are you behind all of this? This theme park isn't supposed to be anywhere near Kamakura. Anyway, let's just not resist. We don't want to make the bad guys any angrier. Ugh, my head is pounding. We're done for! We've been kidnapped by some kind of crazy psycho! And now they're gonna eat us or something! Mm. Pochi, are you seriously playing your game right now? Yeah. It helps keep me thinking more clearly. Hey! Everyone seems a little different somehow. Your spiritual waves. Everyone's aura seems to be really dark. I hope we're going to be okay. You're distracting me. Can you just keep quiet for a bit? Uh, I want to go home! Everyone seems odd, all right. I just hope nothing else bad happens. Oh, Rachel, are you okay? What are we gonna do now? We've like totally gotta get out of here! Listen everyone, we can't just sit around here. We need to get above ground. Forget that! You can't get above ground! You're all trapped in this underwater theme park! We saw you in that movie, on the bus! Yellow Lord! That's right! So glad you remembered me! The name's Pielope. Hang on tight, cause you're all going to play a little game of fate for me! Game of fate? A game for your very lives! The rules are simple. It's all right here in the rule book. Go ahead and read it for me. The devices on your arms, they're called wristbands. On the wristbands are tasks or missions that you have to do. But those aren't your own tasks. They're other people's tasks. And the person wearing a wristband with your task is called your taskmate. The first person to complete their task 
is the sole winner. The winner will be rewarded with a magic key. The time limit is one hour. If there's no winner when time is up, everyone loses. Task game? That's just like the movie, too. <laughs> Some of you airheads can't remember anything. So I made the rules nice and clear for you. Well, pretty easy, right? <sighs> What's a magic key? It says here that that's what the winner gets. It's a key that can open anything with a keyhole. Like a master key, of course. It could even open the door to the surface. I said, you're all trapped in this underwater theme park. Without that key, none of you can get out. One thing though, the key can only be used once. So better make sure you don't waste it on the door to the bathroom or something. The first thing you all need to figure out is what your task is. Unless you know that, you've got no way of winning this game. So somehow, You've got to find a way to see the wristbands that show your task. However you want to get that done, it's up to you. You can take a peek at your taskmate's wristband, or try to make a deal with them. But the easiest way would be... To find your taskmate and get rid of them, don't you think? Anyway, enough talk. We'd better get this thing started. Well, actually, it already has started. See? You've already used up three minutes. So... Better get a move on. Hey, hang on, you! What makes you think we'll play? Yeah, we're not playing some game of fate. Oh, you'll play. You'll definitely play. Because if you lose... for you to follow. You either win the game, or you get processed by the sludge bot! No! No! I don't want that to happen to me! No way! No way! She's not bluffing, is she? Nope. It's every man for himself. Self-defense is all about who strikes first. Rachel, I think we better do what that Pielope says. Yeah, not much choice. B well if you all feel that way, same for me! Rachel, I know how you feel. But we really don't have a choice. Totally. Like, I don't want to do it either, but... Yippee! This is awesome! Everybody's on board! I'm so excited! Cool then. Let's make this a nice, juicy, splatterific fate game no one will forget! 
What's the point of even asking? No one here is stupid enough to tell the truth. Yeah, and what about Mochan? What should we do about him? If Mochan got a look at his taskmate's wristband, then... <sighs> that weasel! They're all so dumb. In this game, info is what it's all about. And they don't have a clue. Hey, Rachel, I got a good plan. How about we team up? Only one person can win this game. But Pielope never said we can't work together. Listen, I'm counting on you. You and me will work together until it's just us two. After that, you can win and get the magic key. You don't have to worry about me. That creepy robot, that sludge bot, isn't gonna get its stinking paws on me. Hurry up and get over here. We'll show each other our wristbands to seal the deal, okay? What's the deal? Hurry up! We show our wristbands as a sign of trust, right? Damn! He's too smart. I gotta take him out before he becomes a problem. Yo, Mochan! So you got no idea what your task is, huh? Yours. What do you mean in that case? I don't see the connection. Everyone, listen to me. I have a proposal. Proposal? Let's just not do it, okay? This game of bait. What do you mean? You know I'm the daughter of a scientist, right? So I looked at it logically and realized. Competing against each other isn't to our advantage. <sighs> We're suspicious of each other because we don't know each other's tasks. So in that case, we should all just be open and show our wristbands. Show our wristbands? Tatsun, you know me, right? Huh? Me? We're friends, right? And friends should trust each other. Y yeah, but... Then let's start by showing each other our wristbands. But... but... Don't worry. We'll show at the same time. That would be fair, right? Uh -huh. Okay. All right, then. One, two... Hey, on your wristband, that's my task. It says, don't show your wristband until six minutes before the time limit. But that means... Well, that's one down. Yikes! Nyoro is super sneaky! And skinny little four eyes, Tatsun is officially out of the game! Officially... out? Didn't you hear what Tatsun just said? Tatsun's task was, don't show your wristband until six minutes before the time limit. But he showed it to Nioro, so... Yep. 
C'est la vie. Nero knew that. So that's why she made him show it. So what happened to Tatsun? He got tossed into that robot. <laughs> He's probably just a thick, pasty sludge now. Bye-bye now. That's the end of my explanation. Piano Noon! Oh. Nyoro, what's the deal with you? You've got some kind of complaint? The normal Nyoro would never have done that. What do you expect? This isn't exactly a normal situation. Nyoro. Listen up! Everybody, I got Rachel's task on my wristband. Rachel's task is to touch someone on the back. Huh? Anaki? Why would you... I need everybody's help. That's why I'm sharing what I know. Touch someone on the back? What kind of lame task is that? That's too easy. He could win this whole thing in a flash. Yeah. True. How about we all work together, so we can take out Rachel? Only one person can win this game. If Rachel touches anyone's back, we'll all lose. Yeah, and we'll get dumped in that robot. No, not that! Anything but that! Yeah, so to stop that, we gotta take out Rachel first. Everybody ready? Yup. Give it up, Rachel! Don't let him escape! <laughs> that went well. I'll just let him take each other out for me. Wait, Rachel! There's no use running! You can't get away, Rachel!
Don't worry, I'm not going to attack you, Rachel. Oh, Pochi! Vanilla. Pochi came from that way? Yeah. The outer hallways are shaped like a big donut. Are you serious? You're still playing your dumb old game? This calms me down. By the way, I have a favor to ask, Rachel. Can you come here? Okay, go ahead. Huh? <laughs> Just as I expected. What's the deal? Oh, I get it. That means Rachel's task wasn't to touch someone on the back. My big bro was lying. How dare he? Even if he is my real brother. In fact, it's because he is my real brother that I'm so mad. But maybe it's not his fault. Like the others, he didn't seem to be his normal self. Now that I think of it, everyone was acting a bit weird. Maybe something strange happened inside those pods. Something strange? You know, like brainwashing or something like that. Brainwashing? But what for? To force us to participate in this game of fate, of course! Anyway, it seems like the three of us here are still thinking logically. So that means there's only one thing for us to do. We should work together to win the Game of Fate. What? So to do that, we should show each other our wristbands. Wait just a second! You're kidding me, right? No. And you haven't been brainwashed? I'm totally fine. <sighs> Come on, Vanilla. Show me your wristband. You think I'm gonna say sure, just like that? Tatsun just showed his wristband, and he... Here you go. Aniki's task. Eliminate everyone besides yourself? This is Tatsun's wristband. I picked it up after he dropped it a minute ago. I guess something makes the wristband come off once the person is eliminated. Concise task. Don't bleed until seven minutes before the time limit. See? Do you get it now? You won't end up like Tatsun if you show us your wristband. But Rachel still hasn't shown us what his wristband says. W what do you mean? You're not going to show us? I see. So no negotiations, huh? What? That's not fair, Vanilla. Why? You were the one that showed it to me. Ugh. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't trust you two, but... I can't show you my wristband, no matter what. Anyway, good luck, you guys. <laughs> See ya! Vanilla. Well, that's it. There goes my strategy. It didn't seem like Vanilla had been brainwashed, so I thought she'd show her wristband. Well, it is what it is, I guess. Only one thing to do now. Keep everyone from doing their tasks. Rachel, I noticed something over here. Let's keep on poking around. Exit. So this must be the way out. But we need a key to open it. But I bet the magic key would work. This 
door won't budge. Maybe if we entered a password in the panel. You'd be in trouble if I got eliminated, right? So you better help me for your own good. Or do you want to end up like Tat soon? <sighs> Fine. I'll help. I knew you're a smart one, Yoro! Oh, Rachel's here! And Pochi, too! Two boys against two girls? This isn't good. And if Rachel touches either of us on the back, we're done. We'd better get out of here. Yeah, let's go! So those two teamed up, huh? We better be careful. Something odd about this door. It won't open. There's no keyhole, but it has an input panel with numbers. I wonder what the passcode is. Hey. Makes sense. Yeah. Here are the pods we were sleeping in. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Y yeah. Hmm. Sounds like Kansai. Let's go. Hmm. Looks like this drawbridge can be raised and lowered by pressing the button. I, I told you to let go! I'm almost there! Why would I let go? Rachel! Oh no! He's gonna touch our backs! No, Kansai. Aniki was just making that up. Like I'd believe that! Anyway, I got bigger problems! This is what happens to anyone in my way! Sh shut up! We gotta hurry! Wh what's going on? M mo chan He saw my wristband! Mo-chan's task is on my wristband! 
What's his task? Ah! No use hiding it now! Ride the Ferris wheel one time in the red gondola! That's Mochan's task! That's why I need to destroy the Ferris wheel's power system! Ugh. Cut it out! Don't worry, I will! Once the red gondola gets here, we're done for if Mochan gets on the Ferris wheel! We got no choice! Pochi! Rachel! Destroy the Ferris wheel's power system for me! Way, Mochan won't be able to do his task, and he'll be eliminated! Stop it! I don't want to die! There are so many things I still want to eat! Hurry! Before the red gondola gets here! We can't let Mochan finish his task. Come on, let's break the power system. Doesn't look like we can open it from here. Good. We made it in time. <sighs> Mochan has been eliminated. Chugo and Yoro have been eliminated. Now that Mochan is out, the truce ends here. Huh. But two versus one is bad news. Time for a quick retreat. Oh, so that's how it is. Chugo's task was... Protect the park's facilities until eight minutes before the time limit. That makes sense, since we destroyed the Ferris wheel just now. But why was Nioro eliminated? Well, no point worrying about that now. Let's go, Rachel. Huh? 
No way. Now those two have teamed up together? Nyoro and Shuko teamed up? I didn't see that coming. This is the wristband that Chuko dropped. Let's see what it says. Hmm. Nyoro's task. Go down the slide with Chuko. Chuko must have shown this to Nyoro and then threatened her. Something like, if I get taken out, you're a goner too. Because if Chuko got eliminated, she wouldn't be able to ride down the slide with her. So that meant if Chuko is gone, then Nyoro wouldn't have a chance either. That's how Chuko got Nyoro to help. Although she planned on betraying her later, Nyoro knew that Chuko would betray her. But she had no choice but to go along with it. So then they were going around together, but Chuko got eliminated. And then Nyoro couldn't complete her task. Oh. Oh, I see. Amazing, Aniki. You saw through everything. Do you have a sixth sense like I do? No. And even if I did, nobody can see through everything. Well, true, but... I was the one that gave Chuko the idea. That's how I know. I guess for Nero, Chuko is also in the way. So she died early. Damn you, Aniki. Well, that's that. Time for plan B. Right, let's go! What does he mean by plan B? Let's follow him and see. Hey. I wasn't paying attention. Pai and Aniki suddenly attacked me. So when he said Plan B... Plan B? Oh, forget it. Anyways, will you really be okay? It's not that big of a deal, but... Pai found out my task. Where is Pai now? Just past here. But I thought this door wouldn't open. I had the passcode to open the door. They came and attacked me right when I unlocked it. There should be something related to Pi's task in there. I know. Why don't we call a truce for now and work together? We can't let Pi do her task! All right. Let's follow her and see. An adventure playground? Is this where Pi was headed? Pi's task was to find the goal in the adventure playground. Well, let's go! We haven't got time to lose!
If we don't hurry, Pai will finish her task. It's a dead end. There's no goal here. Sorry, but can you give up now? Give up? Yeah. We have you cornered, Pi. Cornered? Right back at you. Huh? was open, so I thought I'd take a look. Ah, well. Might as well go all the way in. <sighs> what a pain this guy is. Whatever. I'll work it to my advantage. Genu. Why? Are you serious? You still don't get it, do you? We tricked you! No way! It wasn't just Pai and Aniki working together? Genu too? But why? Pai's task is on my wristband. Pai's task. Don't let Genu be eliminated until nine minutes before time runs out. You get it now? Pai had no choice but to cooperate with me. Then Pai's task, you told me earlier, was... Sorry, it was a lie. I've been teamed up with Genu from the very beginning. If she'd been eliminated, then I'd be out too. So you were pretending until just now? Not really until just now. More like kind of the whole time? Huh? Anyway, Genu and I decided to go with the plan that Aniki told us earlier. So that whole Plan B thing was talking about this plan, huh? Yeah! But why would you two listen to Aniki? Well, because my task is on Aniki's wristband. That's what he used to negotiate with us. He said he'd show his wristband to me, if all three of us agreed to show ours. So, what's Genu's task? Hmm. Well... Yeah, it serves you two right! Rachel and Pochi! Kansai? What are you doing here? Well, the door was open, so I kind of walked in. Hurry up and run! Huh? What's the deal? If you're here, then Jenna will complete her task! <laughs> now this is what you'd call a lifesaver. Who would have thought you'd walk in yourself? But what do you mean? Jenu's task is... It's to... Take Rachel and Kansai's hats! I see. Pai was planning to betray me later. If Jenu gets Rachel and Kansai's hats, her task is done. You want a piece of this? No girl's gonna beat me! But then again, you do have that weapon in your hand! Nobody said anything about weapons being against the rules. Now, hand over that hat. Uh, 
time. Run away! Kansai, you're bleeding. Ha! It's no big deal. It's just a scratch. No. That's not what I meant. Huh? Why? Why? Me too? But why? Understand how you feel, Rachel. I bet you're wondering why was Pochi eliminated? The answer is simple. Pochi's task was to ride the dolphin bicycle together with Pot. But because Kansai was put in the belly of the sludge bot, Jenny and Pi were also consequently eliminated. Which, by extension, meant that Pochi couldn't carry out his task either. Well, this game has finally come to its climax! Who will be the one to get their hands on the magic key? In the next episode, Rachel is dead? Stay tuned! Yellow Loop! Seriously, you're all pathetic. I was planning to do a sneak attack while Kansai kept everyone distracted. But you all get eliminated. One after the other. Whatever. Anyway, now I know what my task is. All that's left is...
All the loud mouths are gone now. So it's nice and quiet. Like I thought. The only one left is you, Rachel. But I'll be the one to have the last laugh. I already know my task. Get everyone eliminated besides yourself. <laughs> Which means I'm already close to getting it done. All I have left to do is get rid of your boring ass. Hey! Are you saying that I'm not even worth worrying about? Give up, Rachel. You can't win. Is that... Pie's wristband? <laughs> so now you know what your real task is. Uh... Rachel's task was... Hug one of the boys by ten minutes before the time limit? Damn! You're not gonna win this time! I'm faster than you! You can't catch me! The only winner here is gonna be me! Rachel, as that jerk's little sister, I have a favor to ask. Please, hug him tight! Help him remember his true self! Thank you! Depending on you, Rachel. You're not fast enough to catch me. Rachel, you did it. You beat me. Total defeat. Damn! Please come to the 
drops it immediately. Rachel, congratulations! You finished your task! Just as promised, here's your prize. The magic key! Now you can use the key to escape to the surface! Go on! Huh? What's wrong? Um, Rachel, come here! Look at this! You get what I'm saying, right? There's a keyhole here, too! So that probably means... <sighs> Ah, huh. so you've noticed. All right, all right. If you want to open the sludge bot, go ahead. But all you're gonna find in there is a bunch of gooey, drippy slime and stuff. Don't listen to it, Rachel. I'm sure everyone's still alive inside there. But what if they aren't alive? You can only use that key once, you know. Trust me, Rachel. Please, you have well, Rachel, what will you do? Which will you open? The door leading to the surface? Or the sludge bot's belly? <gasps> oh. Do you really want to see that nasty, goopy mess? Really? Really? I think you'll regret it. Hey! Did you even hear me? One time only! You can't use the key again after that! Rachel, you're our hero. Oh, how can I thank you? Man, I gotta say, you rock, dude! I'll buy you a hundred beef balls! Rachel, I owe you an apology. This is gonna sound lame as hell, but I wasn't myself. You weren't the only one acting weird, Aniki. Everyone was brainwashed. Otherwise, no one would have played the game of fate, right? Totally true! But now we're all back to normal. I wonder why. Hey, Penelope! I bet you know why! Nope, I don't know! I don't know! Not a clue! Even if I knew that brainwashing wears off when you sense your life's in danger, I would never tell you that! Uh, you just did. Oh, now that makes sense. Ah! Uh, darn it! Darn it! I can't believe I let that slip out! Seriously, though, you really think I'd mess up like that? What? It's all according to plan. I saw this coming, you know. What are you talking about? Rachel, after you got the magic key, you could have escaped on your own. But instead, you chose to stay here with everyone. So I guess... 
You wanna keep playing it, huh? The game of fate! Fine! You'll get exactly what you asked for! This is gonna be the nastiest, sickest fate game in history! Let round two begin! What?! You better be joking! You little... Oh, I never joke! Let me explain the rules for round two! Which means... The Mastermind? You know who it is? Darn straight! Get ready to have your socks knocked off! The Mastermind is one of us! One of us? Then... Okay, you all ready? The mastermind is... Drum roll, please! Uh, what the? It's stronger than before! Earthquake! Are you okay? Uh... Hey! Hi! No. No. Uh... I'm serious. I can't eat another bite. Ugh. The blow to her head must have knocked her out. Is it normal to talk when you're unconscious? No idea. She'll be alright, though. Oh, thank God. So, who's the mastermind? I said the mastermind is one of us. Well, all we can do is wait for Pi to wake up. Forget that for now. Not again! Another earthquake! Guys, look! Y you've gotta be joking. The cracks are getting if the glass breaks, water will fill this place up. What? What are we gonna do? I can't swim! Whether you can swim or not isn't the point. If the glass breaks, every one of us will... Drown. What? Rachel? Got any ideas?
Sancho! What the hell are you thinking? It's over. We're all gonna die. I wanted to eat some tasty seafood. Like sea urchin and salmon roll. Instead, I'm gonna die. And I'll be the one eaten by sea urchins and salmon roll. I don't think salmon roll can eat you. Oh, if we get in that submarine. No time to think about that. We just have to trust Rachel for now. Yeah, I guess. Everyone, run for it! Hey, can I ask you one thing? Why is there... No one in this town! <sighs> You're right. I don't see anyone around. No adults or children. Where are we anyway? I think we're near Kamakura. Our bus got caught up in an accident on our way to Kamakura, so... Is this Kamakura? Or a rundown town nearby? This is way beyond rundown! Or maybe some kind of disaster happened. What if it was a nuclear war? Or some kind of horrible virus, and the whole town was quarantined! Maybe it was that meteor? You guys all saw it from the bus, right? The thing in the sky... Do you think it has to do with the X-shaped thing? X? X? Billboard. But it's not just an ordinary billboard. Look what it says. What? You're kidding me! Kagoshima! Wait, Kagoshima? Where is Kagoshima? Uh, 
So, Kansai sucks at reading and geography. Hmm. Not just that! Math and science, too! That's everything except P.E. Kagoshima is a prefecture in southern Kyushu, one of Japan's four islands. It's 950 kilometers from Tokyo as the crow flies, or 1,200 kilometers by car. 1,200 kilometers?! Come on, man! Get serious! But we were heading to Kamakura from Tokyo! Uh, yeah. That's why we're all surprised. We were going to Kamakura, so how did we end up in Kagoshima? Oh. What's going on here? We were heading to Kamakura on the bus, and the meteor came down. And we were in an undersea theme park and forced to play a fate game. We escaped and then found ourselves in Kagoshima, 1,200 kilometers from Tokyo. And to top it off, there's not a single person in sight. Does this kind of thing happen ever? Nothing makes sense! I think my head is going to explode! Oh! oh. Maybe the Mastermind would know. The Mastermind? The one who forced us to play the Fate Game. You said that the Mastermind is among us. Seriously? I said that? Yes, you did! So who's the Mastermind then? Uh... Um... from the ceiling, and I remember Aniki swept me up in his arms, but... Hey, I didn't sweep you up in my arms. But it's so weird. It's like the memory about the mastermind has vanished from my mind. Hold on. Could she be trying to cover for them? I'm not. I'm not. Or maybe Pi is the culprit. Give me a break! So you're telling the truth, huh? I can tell a liar just by looking them in the eye. Bogus! My dad's a doctor. You don't believe me? Huh? That doesn't give you the power to detect lies! Anyway, it looks like Pi really can't remember anything about the Mastermind. She took a big hit to the head back there. So, in other words, she has amnesia? I guess so. Ugh. Whatever. We've known each other a long time now. Pi wouldn't lie to us. What's more important is to figure out what's going on in this town. You're right. Um, just a second. Aren't you supposed to stay put in emergencies? Why? Well, I mean, the whole thing's so crazy. There might be zombies around or something. Oh, Mochan, you're such a little chicken. A chicken? Yeah, the M in Mochan must stand for mouse. Mochan the mouse, right? No, the M doesn't stand for mouse. The M stands for macho. I'm a macho hero. Come on. 
fun. Don't make me laugh, little mouse. I saw you pee your pants because of lightning. Hero my butt. A hero is someone that saves his friends no matter how dangerous it is. You up for that? Nope, didn't think so. <sighs> anyway, first we need to find other people. Let's split into three groups. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Great. That makes three teams. We're Team Rock! We're Team Scissors. And we're Team Paper. What about you, Aniki? <laughs> Don't worry. I'd just get in your way anyway. Later. Looks like Big Bro's back in hater mode. Maybe he feels bad about how he acted at that amusement park. Cause he was so horrible to everyone. But we were all brainwashed or something, right? Whatever. That dude likes being a lone wolf. Okay. Let's decide on a time to meet up. We'll meet back here just before sunset. Okay? Cool! Come on, team! Let's go! But where do we even start? Hmm... Rock is going west and Scissors is going north. Okay. Then maybe Team Paper goes east. Yeah, yeah! Cool! Uh, huh? Guys, hey! Wait up! Look! Over there! Did you hear that rustling sound? Maybe someone's there. Right.
Rachel, your powers are amazing! I'm talking about how you can throw! Like when you threw that helmet in the amusement park! Yeah, like nobody else could throw a hunk of metal that far! How did you do that? Doesn't look like Rachel can explain it himself. One of those I just did it without thinking type deals? Are all the weird things happening somehow connected, you think? Mm. Uh, over there! That rustling sound again! Let's check it out. Could it be? Okay. like a flower to me. Yeah, but normally flowers don't have eyes! Well, neither do plungers. Huh? Anyway, Rachel, do something! Looks like power's out across the whole town. So we can't watch TV to see what's going on either. What happened here anyway? Those giant plants are a mystery too. Could it be that pollution made the plants DHA mutate or something? It's not DHA, it's DNA. Huh? Anyway, 
Our only option is to find some people. Crazy how there isn't anybody around. Besides that rustling, you mean? Hey, look, everyone! Mangoes! Huh? Miyazaki and Okinawa are famous for mangoes, but Kagoshima grows lots too. Mangoes are in the Mangifera genus, and they're related to cashews. That's why people with Mangifera allergies get itchy mouths when they eat them. I heard some people even pass out. Oh, really? Seriously, Mochan. All you ever do is think about food. Anyway, let's find out what that rustling is. It must be close by. Yeah, this time I'm gonna find out who it is. Come on, Mochan. Let's go. Wait, just give me a second. What's that smell? It's definitely not mango, but it smells great. The smell. It has to be. Hey, what are you waiting around for? We're gonna leave you behind. sound from before stopped and there's still nobody around this is totally crazy it's insane why isn't anybody around you just figured that out and there's giant plants shaped like plungers some like really terrible thing must have happened yeah that's what jenny said maybe it's because of that meteor we saw from the bus maybe Yeah, I've been thinking that. And the strange thing we saw in the sky, too. Oh, so you two saw it, too? I thought I was hallucinating. Yeah, I saw it for sure. Mochan, you saw it, too, right? The X-shaped thing. Huh? Wait, where's Mochan? He probably just wandered off. Right! Let's find him! It's gonna get dark soon. We have to find Mochan quick. Over here! I bet he took the wrong path here. Let's go see.
Whoa! What is it this time? Maybe scallops? Scallops aren't that spiky. Besides, this isn't the ocean, you know. Rachel, take care of it! Go. I can't think of any other road but this. Hey! I think I hear Mochan's stomach grumbling! Oh, Mochan. What are you doing there? Um, was Mochan always that lurid and colorful? No, he's softer and more pastel-y than that. Gross, deep sea, tropical, fishy thing. Well, we at least know it's not a fish. <laughs> a dog? That thing is a dog? <laughs> well, that's one thing figured out. What? That thing that was rustling around? I bet it was this. And it got angry because we kept following it. Right. Doggy, we thought you were someone else. Ah! I'm vanilla. I'm not made of ice cream, you know. I taste really bad, I swear. Wait.
Oh, Mochan, you're such a little chicken! A hero is someone that saves his friends, no matter how dangerous it is. I'm... I'm... Okay, but... Didn't you get bit? Yeah, I did. But you're... Not hurt? Nope. Why? How? Beats me. You don't have to thank me. Mochan's M stands for Macho. For sure! You are such a hero, Mochan! So what were you doing here, Mochan? Well... Er... I caught the scent of this and came to get it. A peach? It's unusual to find peaches in Kagoshima. It's gotta be good luck! Did you know? Peaches are famous for being good luck charms. Like the story of Son Goku stealing peaches from heaven and eating them so he could live a long life. And at the Seimei Shrine in Kyoto, there's a monument in the shape of a peach. Basically, peaches are the fruit of luck. With this, We'll be able to get back to Tokyo for sure! Jeez, Mochan. Just what is going on? That monster plant in that creepy dock! So that means... Everyone else saw them too? Yeah. Maybe they got sprinkled with harmful chemicals and mutated. While we were sleeping? Is it possible for mutations to happen in such a short period of time? <sighs> Anyone else have something to report? Well, we didn't see a single train. Seems there's no power in the whole area. The buses have been abandoned too. Phones aren't working, and there's nothing coming through the radio. The police station and the fire station were empty. Nothing on the police radio either. Not a word. How did this all happen? Mm. No clues to help figure out what's going on. We came up empty. No, we did get one thing. Look! A peach? Yeah! I stuffed my bag full of them! There's enough to share with everyone! But... Thanks. So... What are we supposed to do now? I just want to go home. I hope there's a home we can go home to. <laughs> what makes you think Tokyo will be fine? It may be the same as here. Not a person in sight. No way! We may be the only ones left. Everybody! 
somebody else might be. Who knows, but I wouldn't be shocked if it were true. There's that whole meteor thing, too. Maybe it was the great king of terror landing on Earth. Great king of terror? The year 1999, seventh month, from heaven will come a great king of terror. To bring back to life the great King Angelmois. Isn't that from Nostradamus's prophecies? Yeah. But it's still 1995, right? 1999 isn't for four more years. Maybe the plan got brought forward a bit. What plan? I don't know, some evil organization's plan or something. <sighs> That's stupid. Yeah, but it is a fact that a meteorite struck. So then you think everyone in Tokyo... Hey! Don't even say it! You're just gonna freak everybody out. None of us know what it's like in Tokyo. What's it like in Tokyo, huh? I seriously wonder what's going on in Tokyo. Wait. Don't tell me. We're going to go check! But without any buses or trains, how? You're not seriously thinking of walking! All the way to Tokyo? Oh, come on! That's impossible! From here to Tokyo is 1,200 kilometers, right? <laughs> yeah, but there's no other way. Better than staying here, that's for sure. Kansai! True, staying here is no guarantee of finding help. Not you too, Nyoro! Fine, count me in two! And me! I'll give it my best shot! Ugh, fine, if that's the case, I'll join too! What about you, Jenu? When in doubt, take the harder path. It's a line from the Hoseki Zuka Theater Troupe. Wait a minute! Have you all gone crazy? I can't do it! How can I walk 1,200 kilometers? We'll be going through Osaka on the way. There's loads of tasty grub there. I'll go. I am totally going. I want to go to Osaka too. I've got like something serious I have to take care of. So that leaves. I take my own path. It just so happens it's the same way you're all going. Gosh, you're so full of it. Well, it's set then. Okay then, everybody! Tokyo or bust! Go-getters club! Hey, hey, oh!
The city is huge, but there's no one in sight. It's totally crazy. Let's say there was some kind of natural disaster or war, then how come we haven't seen a single dead body around? Come to think of it, our homeroom teacher was gone when we woke up in that amusement park. People just got erased. Why couldn't they have erased me too? to get home, so it's not really a journey, is it? Anyway, like, whatever. But before we go to Tokyo, I want to stop in Osaka. Why? <laughs> well, it's a secret. The meteor we saw from the bus. It looked like it fell towards Tokyo. I heard a few dozen meteors hit the Earth every year, but they're really small. But if a meteor that size hit Tokyo, there's no way Tokyo could. But I won't believe it until I see it for myself. Rangers. I hope it's recording like it's supposed to. Huh? What's Electro Rangers? Rachel, you don't know the Electro Rangers? Well then, let me tell you. Electro Rangers is a Sunday morning superhero TV show. Five different colored heroes work together to fight evil. It's four kids but it's got a powerful underlying philosophical theme. It's groundbreaking, and fans argue endlessly over what genre it is. Oh, that's enough explanation? Well, if we make it back safely, I'll lend you all my copies of Electro Rangers. We all got brainwashed back at the theme park. Right? Why did this mastermind do that anyway? Was it just so we'd play the game of fate? But it was the game itself that fixed the brainwashing. The brainwashing, the fate game, none of this makes sense. Hmm... You know how I bowled over those monsters before? I don't know what happened. I thought, I gotta save everyone. And then I felt like I was burning from the inside. Was that the same for you too, Rachel? What's happening to us anyway? we had before kind of spicy? It must have been rough for someone who can't handle spicy stuff. I mean, it's no problem for me, but... You... you think so? But I use the mild curry paste. Choco's always been a baby about spicy stuff. I said I'm fine! I was watching. You barely touched your food. Ugh. Why were you watching me so close anyway? Cause I've seen you pass out even when you eat Star Prince curry! What? But that curry is famous for being super mild! Th that's just a nasty rumor! I'm totally fine with spicy foods! I eat chili peppers three times a day! I bathe in chili peppers! I even go to bed hugging a chili pepper!
I wonder what that X in the sky is. You think it's a UFO? But I've never heard of one shaped like that before. And even if it was a UFO, it's just floating there and no one's coming out of it. Hmm. So who was behind the game of fate anyway? Mai said she forgot, but... But we know one of us is the mastermind. So how is anyone okay with that? We can't trust anyone, can we? So, Rachel, is it you? Why are we camping here, you ask? Of course I want to get to Tokyo as soon as possible. But after all that's happened, everyone must be really beat, right? Besides, it's dangerous out at night. There are no lights, so it'll be pitch black. So I figured we should camp here by the shore, where it seems safer. and there's only one safe spot. Come on! Just let me play a little! Oh, I know. If you let me play it, I promise I'll design a special game just for you. Oh, Rachel, you didn't know? I'm a genius programmer. A self-proclaimed genius, anyway. Even won the Worldwide Kids Programming Challenge. So, I promise I'll make a game that's way better than what you're playing. Anyway, the answer is no. You can't play. What? After all that, you won't let me try? Oh, are you playing a pervy game? Don't you think this tent and these food supplies are awesome? We found them when we were exploring the area. Kansai's rock team were the ones that got the tent and the cookware. But it was our team that got the actual food and condiments. We didn't spot any people, but we found plenty of food supplies. But I made sure to leave a note saying I'll pay you later. So what was that creepy plant anyway? I don't remember reading about anything like that in science class. What must it eat to get that big? A mutation? If a company did that to people, they'd be shut down! I drink milk every day, but look at me! Come to think of it, those creepy plants were chomping on mangoes like crazy! Hmm... Maybe I'll try eating some every day, too. What have you got there, Tatsun? Walkie-talkies. I found them in an electrical store in town. If we're going to Tokyo tomorrow, we'd better bring these with us. Spoken like a true son of Tatsukawa Electronics. 
Here, Rachel, pass them around. There's one for everybody. Wait a minute. Why does Rachel get to hand them out? Well, it's because Rachel is sort of the leader of the Go-Getters Club. Leader? Who decided that? Uh. I said, who decided that, dummy? Yikes! Hey, Rachel! I always wondered something. You're just a transfer student, so how come you act all high and mighty? He doesn't act like that. He sure does! I'm the leader of the Go-Getters Club, not some stupid newbie. Being a transfer student or new here is irrelevant. It is relevant! Not knowing someone long enough means you can't trust them. Rachel could even be the one behind the whole game of fate! Huh? huh? How do you figure that? Just think about it. Rachel was totally clear-headed when the Game of Fate started. Plus, he's the one that won! Rachel must have planned it all. It was all just a plot to oust me as group leader. Don't play dumb. I'm just being real here. Hey, Pi! Rachel is the one behind the Game of Fate, right? Hmm... Could be. On the other hand, maybe not, though. Hey, Kansai. You need to chill out. Now's not the time to go looking for the culprit behind all this. Exactly. Especially since we've just decided to head back to Tokyo. You start down that road, and suddenly, everyone starts looking suspicious. Y yeah for sure I've got to agree. In episode 32 of Electro Rangers, everyone's distrust caused dark energy to power up the evil monster and... Anyway, even if the Mastermind is here, getting them riled up isn't the best way to go. Yeah, probably best not to look into it for everyone's safety, too. <laughs> got it. Fine, then. I'll leave it at that. Just don't forget that I'm the leader of the Go-Getters Club. I'm the real leader and this badge here proves it. Huh? A badge by itself doesn't mean anything. Does too! Only true leaders can wear it. It's the real deal! to me, Rachel! Anyway, what is that thing? A new kind of airship or something? No, I don't think so. It's... What the hell are you talking about? Huh? Why are you staring at the ocean like that anyway? Who? Huh? Could it be? None of the others can see what we do. That's what I've been saying the whole time! Fukuoka's the busiest freaking place in Kyushu! If we go there, we'll definitely find somebody. Hold on. I thought you were no good at social studies. Hey, even I know about Fukuoka. Because they got a baseball team. I told you, Kansai. Our goal is Tokyo. The best way is to go to Oita, then over the water to Ehime, and across Shikoku. Going to Fukuoka would be way out of our way. I totally agree. But our goal isn't just to go back to Tokyo. 
Our goal is to figure out what happened to Tokyo. Right. Now that I think about it, we don't really need to walk all the way back to Tokyo. If we find an adult somewhere, we can have them take care of us. Then we'll find out what happened to Tokyo, too. I'm sure the police or the defense force or whatever would take us back to Tokyo. So the first thing we gotta do is find an adult. That's why we should head to Fukuoka. But even if we do go to Fukuoka, it doesn't mean we'll find an adult. But there's a good chance, right? Better than going to Oita. It's way out in the boonies. Oh, that's right. You're from Oita, Pai. Yeah, and for your info, Oita City is pretty trendy, being the capital of Oita Prefecture. Huh? We even have lots of traffic lights. <sighs> hmm. Sorry, Pi. I can't lie to myself. <laughs> well, it's decided then. Yay! We're going to Fukuoka! Wait, that's not what I'm saying either. I'm for the short route through Oita because I hate walking. <laughs> but Fukuoka's got udon, mochunabe, and spicy kagro! Uh... Don't forget about Tonkotsu Ramen! Okay, it's settled then. Oita it is! Tonkotsu Ramen is my least favorite food in the whole world. I really want to go to Oita too! They're famous for hot springs. And I want my skin to get nice and soft. Why Oita? I said I hate the smell of Tonkotsu pork broth! Well, hot springs stink bad, too. Whoa! You're dissing Oita again! Don't you guys want to see the Fukuoka Dome? The only dome I want to see is the Lava Dome on Mount Takasaki. There's a famous video game company in Fukuoka. What's that got to do with anything? Rachel! Which way do you think we should go? Fukuoka group has five votes. And since the Oita group has fewer... Wait. Me and Pochi haven't voted yet. You said you were going your own way! I was. But I changed my mind. I think we should go to Oita. So that leaves the last vote to Pochi. It all comes down to you now. 
Um, well... Pochi, you're definitely going to choose Fukuoka. I mean, Fukuoka is a beautiful city for adults. So, you know what I mean, right? I... Uh... I, um... I... Come on, let's go together, Pochi. I... I... <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, I choose Fukuoka. Great, it's settled. A crushing victory for the Fukuoka group. Yeah, but... You got some sort of problem? I'm the leader, and what I say goes! Either way, we had the majority. We did this the most democratic way possible. Uh, uh. Fine then. Do whatever you want. What? We're gonna go to Fukuoka no matter what. Uh, are you saying we're going to split up? Well, if you don't come along, that's what'll happen. We didn't do anything wrong. The Oita group are the ones being selfish. <sighs> See ya. Oh. Hey, Bochi! Raicho! What are you doing? You chose Fukuoka too, right? Let's go! Hold on! Hansai! Chuko! Nyoro, Tatsun, and Pochi! And even Raicho is going to go! Hey! Wait! Wait up! Looks like no one's here. We passed through so many cities, and I haven't seen a single person. He's regretting splitting with the Oita group, too. You, you idiot! Not for a minute! Oh, if Mochon were here, he'd be so happy. Just look at all these food stalls. Lots of shops, but nothing to eat. It'd be like torture for him if you ask me. Maybe you're right. Anyway, who gives a crap about them? No point hanging around here. Let's get moving. Get moving? Where to? Well, I guess all we can do is head east. Remember, the main goal is still to get to Tokyo. Anyway, let's go! Just about had it. Why are we taking this mountain path anyway? Wouldn't it be smarter just to follow the coast? No choice. It's what our so called leader decided. The mountain path looks shorter on the map. That's probably why. I bet Kansai didn't even think about the difference in elevation. Does that guy even have a brain? Is that a rhetorical question? sure is fresh up here, right? Aren't I right? Uh. Huh? Uh. Uh. 
I wish Jenu and Aniki were here. Yeah. Maybe those two could keep Kansai under control a little. And we don't have any ditzes in this group either. Yeah, if Mochan were here, he'd lighten the mood for sure. I hope they're okay. Ugh. Everybody looking so down. Hey, you know what the bartender said when a horse walked into the bar? Why the long face? <laughs> uh <clears throat> lame. Lame? What do you mean, lame? Come on, it's like a dad joke. Forget dad joke, it's more like a granddad joke. You guys don't know classic humor when you hear it. Wait. What now? The sky. Look up in the sky. Snow? Snow? What the heck? It's July 31st! Snow in the middle of summer?! Kansai's lame jokes broke the weather. Give me a break! It was a good joke! Maybe it's the return of the great King of Angulma. One of Nostradamus's prophecies. Oh. Uh, uh. What the heck? What's wrong? The sky. Look up in the sky again. What? No way! That's... Oh. <gasps> oh! A girl! Club. People call me Kansai. My favorite food is takoyaki. My least favorites are broccoli and green peppers. Uh, dude, you're totally oversharing! Hey, you! How long are you planning on getting carried around like a princess? The prince didn't carry Snow White that long and she was poisoned! Oh, um, please forgive me. Away. You all are... We're the Happy-Go-Lucky Go-Getters Club! I'm Tatsun. I'm Nioro. They call me Pochi. Hm. That's Chuko. 
She's being super nasty right now, but deep down she's a nice girl. What do you mean, super nasty? Watch your big mouth. And that one over there is Rachel. Like the player character in a video game, he basically has no personality. But actually, this isn't all of the Go-Getters Club. We had a disagreement and decided to split up. Oh, I see. So, who are you anyway? I'm... I'm... Um... Who am I anyway? You mean, you don't even know who you are? Yes. I can't seem to remember anything. Not even coming down from the sky? Coming down? From the sky? <laughs> Please don't tease me. <sighs> it looks like she's serious. Yeah, and I don't get the feeling she's lying either. Maybe she has amnesia like Pi. Probably. Okay. Nothing we can do, then. W wait a second! You can't just say, nothing we can do, and leave it at that! She came floating down from the sky! Does that seem normal to you? Good point. Then again, we saw monster plants in Kagoshima. Yeah, I'm getting to where nothing surprises me. Yup, even people coming down from the sky is like, okay, ho-hum! Anyway, this girl, what do we do with her? You've got no memory, so maybe you don't even know what to do. Yes, it's true. I can't even remember where my home is. W well um, so do you want to come with us? The more the merrier. You guys okay with that, right? Y yeah of course! Me too. I have no particular objections. Weirdo? What's so weird about her anyway? How about the fact she floated down from the sky and has no memory? That ring a bell? She's creepier than a guy in a trench coat lurking around at night! Oh, I... Please forgive me. Can you stop apologizing? You're making me look like the bad guy! Ugh. Enough already. It's a majority decision no matter what Chuko says. This girl is coming with us. Besides, we can't just leave her here in a place like this. <laughs> what? What is that? It's the Go-Getters Club sign of friendship. Sign of... friendship? You're one of the gang. That's what it means. The gang? You're... letting me join the gang? Darn straight! <laughs> okay, that's that! Better get off this mountain before the snow piles up. Yeah, let's go. Why? Who? Me? You're seriously blaming this on me? Please calm down, Miss Chuko. Hey, quit acting like the referee here! Besides, I still don't recognize you as part of the group, okay? <sighs> By the way, what should we call her? Right. 
It would be better if she had a name. Why not just call her Flower? She's as white as Flower. Hmm, let's see. What else is white? I got it. Let's call her Yuki, since it means snow. I mean, she fell down from the sky like snow, too. Hmm, not bad. Yuki, huh? Yeah, it's a great name. I think it fits her perfectly. Yuki? Yuki? No good? No, I don't mean that. I think it's a very charming name. Whew. I'm really glad you like it. Anyway, we should hurry. We have to get down the mountain before nightfall. What is up with them? <sighs> huh? Where did Miss Chuko and Mr. Pochi go? I thought they were right behind us. What are they going so slow for? Aren't we going to be in trouble if we keep dragging our heels? Yeah, I don't want to think about camping in the snow. I'm sorry for slowing you down so much earlier. Don't worry. It's not your fault, Yuki. It's the slowpokes in the back that are the problem. I am so royally ticked off! What are you so worked up about? Worked up? I'm not worked up! I think you are. <laughs> Maybe you're just getting hungry. What? Here, take this. Maybe some food will help you calm down? So spicy, it shouldn't be this good. It's Karo Mucho, of course. Mochan gave me some when we were in Kagoshima. Oh. Oh, that's right. You can't handle spicy food, huh? That's not true! Stop treating me like a child! Okay, then. Go ahead. <laughs> you don't have to force yourself, okay? I'm totally not! No problem! Spicy food rocks! Really? Yes, really! Nom, nom, nom. Well? told you. No, no, no! I can't take it anymore! Water! Where's the water? Water, 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 water! Oh, Chuko! It looks like we finally caught up. Miss Chuko! Miss Chuko! 
I didn't know you were a monster. I am not! Maybe it's related to Rachel's mysterious ability. Mochan's body turned into iron in Kagoshima. Hey, Juko, what happened? I don't know! You tell me! Anyway, thank you very much. S Stop it! It's not like. Seriously, I owe you one, too. Thanks! <sighs> hey, by the way, where's Pochi? Huh? I thought he was right behind me. What's he going so slow for? Let's go look for him. What the heck? Where'd Pochi go anyway? Maybe he got lost. Pochi, can you hear me? Answer me! No reply. Uh, we're just gonna have to split up and look for him. Use the walkie-talkies if you find him. Understood. All right, Rachel, let's go! We have to find Pochi before this turns into a blizzard! Dead end. Let's head back. All right. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> I was just tagging along. Why? Because I don't have a walkie talkie. Well, this 
will be a test. Let's give it a try. Try eating the Karamucho. Um... Is something the matter? Sh shut up! It's nothing! Huh? Ugh, fine. You want me to eat it? I will! if it fell this way. Let's just keep the falling things to you. Mr. Rachel? Can you throw something at it to make it fall? I wish there was something we could throw. Everyone, 
I was suddenly attacked from behind by this thing. <laughs> what is it? I think it's, uh, Yeti. There's no such thing as Yetis! I don't believe it! Actually, I think spitting fire is harder to believe than a Yeti. <laughs> Let's try talking to it. Maybe it will let Mr. Pochi go? Don't do it! It can't be negotiated with! Um, excuse me? You idiot! <laughs> Miss Chuko, negotiations have failed! Thanks for saving me. No need to thank me. Bigger than this Yeti, it must be the boss. You got a point there. And why did you kidnap them and not me? I'm way more attractive. Anyway, we have to save Yuki. Let's go.
If we go near it, it looks like it'll attack us. And there's nothing for Rachel to throw! Leave it to me! I'll use my flame to chase it up! You sure? I feel like we need to be careful. Water. Huh. Well, I just saw a snowman. Chuko? Huh? It's a no-brainer! It's true, I don't really like her, but... If we just leave her here now, I'll never be able to forgive myself! Well, don't just stand there like an idiot! Let's go! But I think it'll be too hard to dodge its attack and get close. I'm going to leave this one to you, Rachel! Too much caramucho. Your lips are starting to swell. Where, where if you what? Goofy Buffy. Ugh, 
monster plants than yetis! Mochan can turn into iron. And now Chuko is spitting fire. On top of that, a girl came floating down from the sky. Nothing's ever gonna surprise me again! Um... Excuse me. Actually, there's one thing I remember now. Well, what do you remember? Um... Well... I remember that I wanted friends before. Fun, crazy, warm friends like you. What's she talking about? So, I don't need to be a part of your gang, Miss Chuko. But, in exchange, do you think maybe you could be my friend? Huh? What? Well, what's the deal all of a sudden? Please? Um, well... What will you do, Chuko? Will you become friends with Yuki? Stop snowing for now. But we have to get to the foot of the mountain. What was that? It's coming from the walkie-talkie. Yo, Katsai, Chuko, Yoro, Tatsu, Bochi. Can you hear me? That's... That's Aniki's voice! Shh, quiet. We're crossing over to Shikoku. We'll be arriving in Akime first. So, if you guys can hear this, then you guys should also. What the heck does that mean? The signal from the walkie-talkie shouldn't be able to reach this far. Does that mean they're nearby? No, not necessarily. There is also a possibility that our walkie-talkies can work on a shortwave band. Putting it simply, the signal can be sent over a pretty long distance. Anyway, it seems the Oita group is still safe. Are they the ones you split up with? Yeah, the other members of the Go-Getters Club. They said they're headed to Ehime now. I wonder if they mean we should meet up in Ehime. Ugh! Talk about a bossy attitude! Why should we have to go to them? They're the ones that should offer to come here! Man, that ticks me off! That really, really ticks me off! In fact, I want to find Aniki and kick him around like a soccer ball! Which means... Maybe... Yeah! We've decided our next destination, Ehime Prefecture on Shikoku Island. Whoa! 
Shikoku's Ehime Prefecture! Wait, what did you say? Actually, we're in Onomichi in Hiroshima Prefecture. Huh? Why are we still in Hiroshima? Because... To walk to Ehime Prefecture from Honshu, you have to take the Nishi Seto Expressway from Onomichi to Imabari. Uh, yeah, right. Man, Yuki, you sure know a lot! Anyway, it's almost night. Let's camp here and get an early start tomorrow. Yeah. After all, the Nishiseto Expressway is 60 kilometers long. Seems like earthquakes are more frequent here. Did you know? The great earthquake swarm that began around the world five years ago. There's a theory it was caused by an earthquake weapon developed by some country. I wonder if that's actually true. In any case, the earthquakes caused tons of damage around the world. I think Genu's older sister was a victim during that time. I wonder if that also has something to do with everyone disappearing from the cities. All these weird things happening. I've got a bad feeling about it all. Hey Yuki, you must be tired, huh? I bet we can find some oysters at the beach there. Wanna go with me later? Oysters? Yeah, in a shell. You know I'm right? Oysters make you stronger. It's why they call them muscles. I think you mean muscles, no? Ah, yeah, that's right. Anyway, let's eat some. It's good for the love life. Ugh, give me a break. Yeah, I know. Yuki and me are good friends now. So it's not her that's taking me off. But what's up with the way Kansai is acting? Why is he only inviting Yuki? If he's a leader, shouldn't he be treating everyone equally? That's why I say he's no leader. He's nothing like Neon, the leader he tries so hard to be like. Neon was the coach of Kansai's baseball team. Some guy in his mid-twenties. Kansai really admires him. I used to go see them play every now and then. So that's how I know about Neon. The reason Kansai wants to be a leader so bad is because he wants to be like Neon. But it's a waste of time. No matter how hard he tries, he'll never come close to Neon. What a delightful view! Why do we gotta go chasing after Anaki and those guys anyway? Who does he think he is? It really ticks me off! The old Aniki wasn't a total jerk like he is now! Alright! You're a transfer student, Reito, so you wouldn't know! Aniki used to be really nice and generous, too. The guy had everyone's respect, and he was like a big bro to everyone. But about a year ago, something bad happened, and Aniki totally changed. Sorry, but I don't want to talk about it anymore. It hurts to even remember. For me, he was like my best friend. <sighs> wow, 
what a view! My dad would really love to see this. He loves to travel. Going around the world with him to see all the beautiful sights? Those are like my best memories as a kid. But after this one day, he never set foot outside of his lab. Oh, didn't I tell you? My father was a scientist. Oh, not was. I mean, he is a scientist. If he is still alive, that is. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have said all that. I'm ruining everyone's mood. We still got time before dark. How about we head into the city and camp there? Sure. It's okay with me. Wait. Just to be sure, can anyone else see that? Huh? That thing floating in the sky shaped like a big X? What? An X? I thought so. Maybe you're seeing some type of mirage. You mean you can't see it either, Yuki? N no. Hmm. So it's got nothing to do with you. Huh. To do with me? No. I was just thinking. Maybe you came down from that X in the sky. The sky was cloudy then. So I thought maybe the X was hidden behind the clouds. Anyway, it was just a thought. <sighs> You're just tired, Pochi. You should get to sleep early. But... Anyways... I'm going to go ahead. See you all later. Okay, we better go too, huh? Yeah. Oh, now that you mention it, hearing about the X helped me remember it. Equals 12? What does that mean? I'm afraid I don't know. I found it in my pocket. Hmm. X equals 12. This might be really important. Hey! Come on, slowpokes! Maple Manju Monster? Beats me. But let's get out of here. Yes, it sounds scary. X equals 12. Do you know what that means, Rachel? Remember the note Yuki had? Do you think the X has something to do with the X in the sky? And the 12, does it mean there's a total of 12 of those Xs? Is something going to happen if all 12 appear? 12. You know, there are 12 members of the Go-Getters Club now. Now that we've added Yuki, that is. Hmm. Well, we're not going to be able to solve this code with just this scrap of paper. We need to find other clues. I told you my dad used to love traveling, right? Well, I remembered something else. I remembered why he stopped traveling and wouldn't leave his lab. We were in the middle of a trip. We were on some island in the South Pacific, there was a sudden big earthquake, and a few hundred people died. Luckily, my dad and me were safe. Anyway, dad looked at the wreckage and the dead bodies being carried away, and he muttered, 
mankind is so fragile. We need some kind of perfect intelligence to guide us, or we're finished as a species. After that, he locked himself away in his lab. I guess he wanted to make something for the world. And he sacrificed everything. But seeing the world like this, I guess his research must have failed. From what I see, Yuki's memory disorder is what's called general amnesia. It's a memory disorder that makes you forget your name and past. Ah, oh, that typical where am I, who am I thing you see in manga and anime, right? Yeah, I guess you can say it's different than Pi's memory loss. Pi only forgot about who was behind the game of fate. But patients with general amnesia forget all memories about themselves. She didn't forget common social behavior, sense, and general information, so it doesn't affect her daily life. And I've read that most of them eventually get their memories back. So, let's just treat her normally and not worry too much. Remember the snow that came down around Akiyoshidai National Park in Yamaguchi? I mean the actual snow, not Yuki. Snow in the middle of summer is downright bizarre, right? But in ancient times, they talked lots about weird things coming down from the sky. Fish, frogs, tadpoles, insects, plants, metal. They call that phenomenon Fafrotskis. There's even records of rains of giant ice balls from the sky. So I guess it's kind of like that. They're all abnormal situations that can't be explained logically. But that might just be the start. Soon, even scarier things might come raining down. Nostradamus' prophecy. From the sky will come a great king of terror. Maybe the people disappearing and all these monsters appearing are omens of that. Could this mean the end of the world? Another earthquake! All these earthquakes makes me feel like it's shaking even when it's not! Maybe there was a giant earthquake while we were sleeping in the amusement park. What if everyone evacuated to another country? No, it couldn't be. If there was a giant earthquake, the town would be a wreck, right? That makes this whole thing even creepier. Man, since we woke up in that theme park, things have been nuts! But the nuttiest thing is the power you guys have now! Rachel chucks stuff hardcore! Mochon turns to iron! Chuko shoots fire from her mouth! What's the deal? Are you like cyborgs now or something? But what really gets me is... Why don't I have any powers? Just wait, Rachel! When I get my powers, they're gonna blow yours away! Boy, I wonder how Neon's doing. I just wish I could ask him how he'd handle all this. Whoa, hey! Rachel, where'd you come from? Huh? I must respect Neon a lot. Darn straight! Now he's a real man! A leader among leaders! He's fair to all his friends, forgiving, but tough enough to push people to be the best they can. No matter how bad things got, no matter how lost I was, Neon always saved me. We may be apart now, but... I made a promise to myself. By the time I see him next, I'm gonna be as good a man as he is. That's why, Rachel, that's why I'm never gonna let you beat me. Mr. 
Cho, is it true that I fell from the sky? Oh, I see. At first, I thought you were all just teasing me. But if you say it, Mr. Rachel, still, I can't understand how a person could be flying in the sky. Speaking of flying, Miss Chuko told me about people that have dreams about flying. She said people who dream they're flying want to become free. I don't have any memories from before I met you all. But the one thing I do know is that I'm having so much fun. Like I said before, I think I always wanted friends. Maybe I was really lonely and had a life with no freedom at all. And I hated it so much that I escaped and flew away to find you all. By the way, that Yeti that attacked us earlier, what is a Yeti anyways? A Yeti is a cryptid. A mythical animal rumored to live in mountains and other snowy regions. There have been reported sightings of them all over the world, but their name varies by region. In the Himalayas, they call it Yeti. In the Rocky Mountains, it's Bigfoot. Around here, in the Chugoku mountainous regions, they call it Hibago. Wow! Mr. Tatsun, you're so smart! Well, I got interested in it from the Electro Rangers, and then I started to read about the occult a little. Why do you think it was trying to capture Mr. Pochi and me? Hmm. Maybe it wanted to eat you? Do Yetis eat humans? I... I don't know. We don't know much about them. Maybe it was trying to take you as a wife. But Mr. Pochi is a boy. Then maybe it wanted you guys as slaves. I was thinking, maybe the Yeti wanted a friend too. Only two of them alone in the mountains. So maybe they wanted friends to play with. I feel like if we meet them again, we could be friends. <sighs> Yuki, if everyone was like you, I bet there wouldn't be any more wars. Um, so what happened a year ago? I heard there was some kind of accident that totally changed Mr. Aniki. Rachel only transferred a year and a half ago, so he doesn't know about it. As for the rest of us, none of us really wants to talk about it. Oh, I I'm sorry. It sounds like it was really terrible. <sighs> Everyone blames themselves. They all think it was their fault. The reason he became the way he is now. Oh? Anyway, let's stop talking about it. I just want to forget. Guys! Come here! What? What's this all about? Um, well, everybody just stay calm, okay? You're the one that's bugging out, dude. So, what's going on? Um, well, I was wondering if we could reach the Oicha group somehow. So, I tried adjusting the walkie-talkie's frequency, and then, well, just listen. Sound like anyone from the Oita group. No way! That means right. There are others out there besides us. There, there are still other people. Is this really?
exactly right? It's right. The radio waves are getting stronger. But there's no sign of anyone around. We did meet some deer and wild boars along the way, though. We haven't been able to contact the Oita group. Ehime covers a wide area. They would have to specify their exact location. Otherwise, it would be impossible to meet up with them. Isn't that why we are searching for whoever was communicating over the radio earlier? Well, we just have to trust Tatsun for now. Who... who are you guys? Ah, no face! He's just wearing a mask. Anyways, he seems to be human. Human? Human? Human! 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 I can't believe it. We're not the only survivors. Huh? Come along now. I'll introduce you to our master. Master? Let's just go. Hey, wait a second. The people over there... No way! What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. What are you doing here? We got your message. You said that you were heading to Ehime, didn't you? Shoko, are you doing all right? Yeah, as you can see, we're all perky as ever. What happened to your lips? Why do they look swollen? Oh, yeah, <laughs> that. Well, a lot happened. Huh? What's the big deal? Whoa! It's the real Nyoro! She even smells like Nyoro! Um, can you not treat me like a piece of food? You guys are all safe. Yeah! Somehow! I was almost kidnapped by a roly-poly on the way here. A roly-poly? So, Kansai, are you gonna go through with it? Huh? 100 kicks! You said you'll give Aniki 100 kicks, didn't you? Uh, no, Tatsun. You didn't hear me properly. What I meant to say was 100 kisses! 100... Kisses? Aniki! Aniki! Oh, no! Please stop! You're creeping me out! <laughs> um, by the way, who is this girl? This is Yuki. She suddenly came floating down from the sky in Yamaguchi Prefecture. From the sky? Kansai, they won't believe us. Oh, yeah, I guess, huh? Anyway, we met her along the way. Because she lost her memory, we decided to take her along with us. Nice to meet all of you. My name is Yuki. I hope we can all get along nicely. She, she's, she's so, so cute! cute. <clears throat> Are you done chatting? I'll take you to the master now. Come with me. So, you walked all the way from Kagoshima, did you? Quite impressive. Listen, man, I hate to rush you. We got lots of questions. Hey, Aniki! 
Ricky. You shouldn't talk to him like that. It's fine. What would you like to ask? Tell us what happened. We have to know. We were headed for Kamakura on a class trip. The next thing we knew, we were in an undersea theme park in Kagoshima. And when we got out of there, we saw how the world is now. Right. We have no idea what happened. How did everything end up like this? I see. Do you really want me to tell you the truth? Y yes I have a bad feeling about this. Please, tell us. I'm scared to hear it, but we can't go on without knowing what happened. I understand. Let me start from the conclusion. Mankind? Everyone? has been wiped out. <gasps> what? No! It can't be! I'm afraid it is, as unfortunate as that may be. I don't believe it! You're making that up! I don't believe it either! Me neither! Calm down, everyone! Let's listen to what he has to say. While you were all unconscious, the world was plunged into a terrible war. Weapons were employed that had never been seen before. You saw some strange plants and animals on your way here, didn't you? They are all the result of those new weapons. The apocalypse came in the blink of an eye. Once those weapons were unleashed, it marked the end of humanity. Those of us here are the last survivors. So, this has something to do with that meteor? Meteor? We have no records of that. The world was destroyed by those new weapons, not by a meteor. But isn't that weird? If those weapons were used, how come there are still survivors in this facility? That was due to the blessings of Mike. Mike? It is the God we believe in. Mike answers the prayers we offer each day. So you're saying you were saved because you believe in that God? Yes. I understand how you feel. It's hard to believe, hearing all of this so suddenly. But everything I've told you just now, it's the truth. You can ask the other followers, they will tell you the same. Anyway, you must be tired after your long journey. Go. Take a well-earned rest. We've prepared a place for you to sleep. Well, what do we do now? I have no idea. Maybe we should go and ask what the other followers have to say. Maybe we can get some new information. Yeah, we can talk about our next move after that. Okay then, let's all split up and see what we can learn. Got it! Hmm, we're off to a late start. We should start asking around too. Come on, let's go! What happened to the world, anyway? It was a war. Everything was laid to ruin. We're the only survivors. What started it? You know about the great earthquakes starting from around 1990, right? They were caused by a new weapon developed by some country. They tested the weapon out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. It triggered a chain reaction of massive earthquakes around the globe. Naturally, the other countries that knew of it were outraged. That led to the further development of weapons to counter the earthquake weapon. So that's why. Unfortunately, the world was destroyed by those new weapons. We were thinking of going back to Tokyo. Tokyo? What would you possibly do there? What do you mean? 
The Master already told you, didn't he? Mankind was destroyed in the war. So it's the same in Tokyo, too. Not a single person survived. That's impossible! Going to Tokyo would be suicide. The road is crawling with ferocious monsters. You'd never make it there alive. Forget about Tokyo for your own good. I heard that you live here. But what do you do about food? There's a field behind this facility that we use to grow vegetables. Our meals are meager, but considering the state of things, we're happy that we can even eat. We're grateful to Mike for the gift of each day. By the way, what are you holding there? Huh? This? It's the perfect energy drink. Lifeguard! It's a carbonated energy drink made with seven vitamins, seven amino acids, honey, and royal jelly. It's fizzalicious! A scrumptious bionic drink to refresh your mind and body. Here, have a sip. <laughs> Here, take this. It hasn't been opened yet. Okay, I wouldn't mind one bit. In fact, I'll take some for my friends. This facility almost has a religious feel to it. Oh, this was the original place the followers of the Great Mike gathered. Until the war broke out, there were many people who mocked us. The ironic thing is that, in the end, the war proved we were right. This facility is the last remaining paradise on Earth. Make yourselves at home. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? No, we. I'm busy, so can you save it for later? Wh Why are you talking like that? Chat up! My emotion got younger, thanks to the great Mike! Uh... You make no sense at all, but I want to ask you about the Great Mike. The Great Mike shines on you like the sun shines on the Earth! In other words, he is everything to you! Everything in the world was created by Mike! Created? Not created, created! I think she's trying to say, created. You were all helped by the Great Mike! Oh, the Great Mike! How did it go, everyone? Did you learn anything new? We talked to lots of people, but they all basically said the same thing. Yeah, same for us. Mankind was destroyed by the war. You are alive by the grace of Mike. So I guess that means the Master told the truth. Why come to that conclusion? They're a group that all believes the same thing. Maybe they're all trying to trick us. Well, it didn't seem like that to me at all. It's the opposite for me. I can't trust the people here. Yeah. How could all of mankind be wiped out while we were unconscious? It's a bunch of bull! Maybe I shouldn't say anything because I'm a newcomer. But I think we should leave for Tokyo right now! Yeah, I agree. Me too. Me too. I have to see what happened to Tokyo with my own eyes. Tatsun, how far from here to Tokyo? Approximately 700 kilometers. Perhaps 800 following the roads. It was 1,200 kilometers from Kagoshima to Tokyo! So we still have about two-thirds of the way to go. It's impossible to go on walking like this. Yeah, and besides, we'd be walking through hordes of strange monsters, too. Do you really think that mankind was wiped out? Of course I don't believe it! I'm just saying it's going to be impossible for us to walk back! It'd be better to stay here while we plan our strategy. 
What do you mean, strategy? I'm saying we need time to plan our next move. I agree with Kansai and Chuko. It's safe here, and it'd be smart to stay here at the facility for a while. Yeah! At least we aren't hard-pressed for food if we stay here! That's all you care about! I honestly think that both choices are fine. As long as we're all together. Isn't that what it says in the Go-Getters Club anthem? Even if the world ends, the Go-Getters Club will stay together! Even if the world ends. The Go-Getters Club will stay together! Anyway, anyway! Rachel? Yeah. What do you think we should do? would understand what are you saying you should reconsider it looks like you still haven't made up your minds I know you're arguing about whether to stay here or go back to Tokyo am I right <clears throat> Why don't you listen to a story? It might help you decide. What story might that be? The teachings of the Great Mike. If you hear the Great Mike's teaching, the fogginess of your hearts will be cleared. Here it comes. I knew it. Sorry. We don't need to hear it. We have already made up our minds. All right. Let's go. Huh? Wait, guys! Just wait a sec! The Go-Getters Club will stay together. But you're... Ugh, that long-haired creep. Long-haired? I'm talking about that creepy master person. But don't you have long hair? Yeah, well, whatever. Anyway, I agree with you about the creepy part. So, what should we do? First, we make sure everybody knows how suspicious this group is. How do we do that? We find evidence. Evidence that proves this group is up to no good. <laughs> That's not gonna be so easy. Then what should we do, Anaki? It's obvious, isn't it? We head back to Tokyo. Come on. So we just abandon the others? What else can we do? Just give it up. Give up? Did you just say give up? Yep, I did. Watch your mouth! We haven't even tried yet! Uh. Uh. Sorry for yelling. There
there is nothing I hate more than the phrase give up. Anyway, let's start by just doing what we can. Search for evidence, right? Right. And that means you too, Aniki. <laughs> Fine. Let's split up and start looking. Ready, rock, or paper! Great! That makes two teams. Yuki, Jinu, and I will be Team Rock. Rachel, Aniki, and me will be Team Paper. That's funny. It's an all-boys team and an all-girls team. In that case, we'll show them how to run an investigation. Do whatever you want, but don't screw it up. Right back at ya. All right, let's go. Evidence that proves this group is up to no good. I wonder if we can find any... Anyway, let's go. We won't find anything if we don't look. <laughs> Fine. Oh, wait! to make sure we don't get caught. I do. eat. This is a poisonous mushroom called amygdaclear. It grows underground, but if you find it, don't eat it. Huh. Nothing to do with the group here, though, I guess. Yeah, it's just a warning message. Hmm. 
Okay. What do you mean? Is this? Do those followers hate rats? They looked really scared. There's a lattice entrance behind the followers. Yeah, but to get in there, we need to do something about those followers. Could it be? Thank you. 
The Go-Getters Club has got a new member, huh? Looks like we're good to go ahead. What is this? It's a guillotine. I think someone is coming. Hide! Oh, the guillotine is all prepared. It's ready to go. We can use it any time now. Surely, the great Mike will be pleased. It's been a while since we've had such a spectacle. Well then, let's get those kids in here now. A sacrifice ritual? How fun! No. Freakin. Way. We heard it too! A said sacrifice ritual, right? This is bad. We have to warn the others. Right, let's go! You guys totally didn't! We were just about to join a ritual to meet the Great Mike. If we do that ritual, the Great Mike will grant us whatever we ask. My wish is that I get scouted for the major leagues. I want to make a fortune on the stock market! I want to go on a date with Pink Electro Ranger. I wish all the pencils in the world would turn into french fries. Just thinking about it makes me... Shiver with excitement! So that's what happened. Everyone has been brainwashed by the Master! Oh, great Mike! Master is calling. Come with me. Yes! I'm coming! No, don't go! Talk that way. We'll stop them by force. It's impossible. They've all been brainwashed by that long-haired creep. How do you know they're brainwashed? Well, because... Um... It's true. They didn't seem like themselves. Like Pochi said, they've definitely been brainwashed. So, if it's like back in the amusement park, then if they're exposed to danger... No. They look different this time. I don't think the brainwashing will clear up like before. So what do we do? <sighs> mm -hmm. 
Amygda clear. Huh? There are those mushrooms called amygda clear. If we cook them and gave them to everyone to eat. Yeah, I've heard of those mushrooms before. When heated, a special substance inside changes into something called hippocompactin. The substance restores functionality to the hippocampus, which is impaired by brainwashing. Ugh, stop with the complicated explanation. So you mean if we cook the mushrooms and get everyone to eat them, they won't be brainwashed anymore? Right, exactly. But I doubt there are any nearby. There are! What? It looks like they're around here. We just saw a poster earlier. The amygdaclear grows underground. That's what it said. But it also said they're poisonous. That's not true. Amygdaclear mushrooms shouldn't be poisonous. Maybe it's because all the followers here are brainwashed. So they made the poster, so no one will undo the brainwashing. Makes sense. Well, at least we know what to do now. Search for amygdaclear mushrooms. Okay, let's split up just like we did earlier. Ready, rock, and paper, go! All right, let's go with these groups. Team Rock will be Pochi, Jenu, and myself. Team Paper will be Miss Nuro, Mr. Rachel, and myself. All right, no time to waste. Right, let's go. Deep in the underground passage. That's kind of vague, don't you think? How far in do you think we will have to go? I have no idea. Let's go as far as we can. What are you kids doing here? Uh-oh! Run! Yeah, yeah! Hey! Stop! I've got you kids cornered! Give it up now! Mr. Rachel! Miss Nuro! What should we do? At this rate, Wheel? <laughs> Don't you worry. Yeah. When you hear the Great Mike's teachings, you'll get it. Uh, we're done for. We'll surely be. We'll just be more fodder for the guillotines like the others. What a tragic end. At this point, all we can do is give up. Huh? What did you just say? Oh. Give up. Did you just say give up? Uh, um, I just... There's no phrase I hate more. That is what you said, isn't it? I will never give up. No matter what happens. Never. Never! Um, Daddy? Hey, didn't I say you weren't allowed to come in here? But Daddy, you haven't played with me for so long. I'm sorry, sweetie. Daddy has some important research to attend to. But I want to talk with you, Daddy. What can I do to make you talk to me, Daddy? Hmm... Well... If you become a scientist like Daddy, we could talk more. How do I become a scientist? Well, you have to study a lot and read many books. Uh, but most importantly, you must have an attitude of never giving up. Never giving up? To become a true scientist, you have to overcome lots and lots of obstacles. At those times, 
you must never give up. As long as you never give up, you can overcome any obstacle. Oh, wow! Then I'll never give up, no matter what. I'll never give up, and then I'll become a scientist. And then... And then Daddy will talk to me all the time! So I'll never give up! Never give up! Never give up! I'll never give up! What the? Now's our chance! Let's run for it! Oh, okay! Um, Miss Nero, what was that just now? It's a time bomb that I invented. I always walk around with my equipment, but honestly, it was my first time inventing something that fast. No, 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 no. No, 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 no! I can't believe it! Well, I did it, so you'll just have to believe it. Maybe I also discovered a special ability, like Rachel, Mochan, and Shuko! That's, uh, amazing! Totally amazing! No, amazing doesn't cut it! It's hyper, ultra, super duper, poe poe amazing! I don't get the poe poe part, but whatever. So, do you have a name for that bomb? Nothing in particular. Then, what about this? We can call it the F-bomb. It's short for foot-powered bomb. Uh, that kind of sounds forced. <sighs> Anyways, let's hurry on. Let's hurry and find the amygdala and undo everyone's brainwashing. What's the matter, Mr. Rachel? can't turn back now. Let's just go further then. You never know. There may be some amid to clear down here. You're right. Let's move on. It's following us from the other side of the wall. Let's be careful.
Dang. It sure is persistent. You guys! Look! <laughs> that monster that looks like something you'd buy at the Guam Toy Center seems tired. Maybe Miss Nero's bomb. The F-bomb caused it damage. We might be able to defeat it with one more push. will do in the ritual to meet the great Mike. Anyway, it's almost time for our wishes to come true. I'm gonna be the president of the United States. I'm going to be 100 times taller. When I'm 20, I'm gonna have a shotgun wedding with the pink Electro Ranger. All the air on the planet will become miso flavored. Just thinking about it makes me... Shiver with excitement! Hey, you guys! Snap the heck out of it! Oh, good. We made it in time. You guys came! Yuki, let's get to it. Give him the thing. Ta-da! A clear minestrone with a hint of summer aromas. Whoa! Whoa! Looks tasty! Yuki made it all by herself in this place's kitchen. Yep! I'm not bragging, but I am quite confident when it comes to my cooking skills. This minestrone is definitely hyper, ultra, super duper, poe poe delicious! You made this for us? Yeah! Yeah! I'm starving! I wonder if one cup is enough. Let me head back to the kitchen to get some more for you. Yuki made it specially for you all. Eat up before it gets cold. Don't mind if I do. Let's dig in! What? Gross! Hey, what's wrong with you guys? Maybe it was poisonous. No, that's not possible. A MIG declare should be harmless. Then what's going on? It's just disgusting. <laughs> Wait, is he dead? Kansai's dead. Stop messing around. Just because something's disgusting doesn't mean it'll kill you. No, he's okay. He's hanging on by a thread. Oh gosh. I mean, I know the food tasted horrible, but I never thought it would nearly suck the life from their bodies. <laughs> Help. Seriously, what should we do? At this rate, everyone will... Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. There should be something we can do. We need to help them somehow. That 
That's it! I got it! Hey, give me a hand here! Have everyone drink this! What? What's that? It's the perfect energy drink. Lifeguard! It's a carbonated energy drink made with seven vitamins, seven amino acids, honey, and royal jelly. It's delicious! A scrumptious biotic drink to refresh your mind and body. Uh, ah. uh, I don't really get it, but if we make everyone drink that, they'll be saved? Yes, I'm the daughter of a genius scientist. Trust me. Thank goodness! It seems like their brainwashing is gone. Yeah, yeah! Thanks to Yuki's cooking! How did it taste? Oh, just excellent! Right, Mochan? Yeah, so good. Ah. <laughs> well, in that case, here there are seconds. <laughs> What's wrong? I uh, um. I just. Uh, we're really full. Oh, but I brought more just for everyone. Well, we best be getting on our way soon. Yeah. We should scram before that long-haired creep shows up again. But how do we get out of here? We'll be caught if we try to escape on foot! Don't worry, I've got an idea! An idea? or not. Hey! Wait! All of you! See? He came while you were all jabbering away. Come on, guys! Get on! Let's beat it! The Go-Getters Club is off again! <laughs> wait! I said wait, you darn brat! What do you think you'll do if you even get away? There's nowhere for you to return to! Tokyo doesn't even exist anymore! Kansai and Genu? You two certainly seem enthusiastic. Of course we are! We're in K-O-B-E! 
the Chinese characters for Kobe mean God's door. Yeah, I know that. When you hear Kobe, what is the first thing you think of? Kobe beef? Cortopia? Mount Roko? Or Arima Hot Springs? No! Wrong! Kobe, Kobe is all about the Hatsuka Theater Company! I said Hanshin Tigers, and Janu said Hoseki Suka Theater Company? Yeah, that's right. The Hanshin Tigers is my most beloved baseball team. They're from right here in Kobe. Same goes for Hoseki Suka. Nope, the Tigers' home city is Nishinomiya. And Hoseki Suka is literally in Hoseki Suka City. From the neighborhood! Okay then, let's go! What? Right now? Don't be crazy! He spent the whole day biking and walking to get this far. The bike got a flat tire on the way here. I'm so tired, I can't walk anymore! In that case, let's camp here today. I'm down for that! Yeah, good idea. But we're out of food! We need to get canned food and stuff like that! There was a supermarket on our way here. Maybe if we go there... Yeah, let's head there and have a look. Nyoro, what's the matter? Everyone left already. Well, um... What is that? This scrap of paper I've been holding all this time. It's like my good luck charm. It says... X... X... Y? I remembered when I heard what Jinu said earlier. She said that Kobe means God's door, right? Uh, I don't get it. What do you mean? My father went missing when I was eight. And right before that, he called me into his lab. Listen to me. Don't ever tell anyone about this paper I'm giving you. On this paper are numbers. Numbers you need to open God's door. If something happens to me, use those numbers and open God's door. Don't worry. You can do it as long as you don't give up. And this is what he gave me. I had no idea what he meant at the time. What is this God's door? What does XXY mean? Dad just gave me this scrap of paper and disappeared. You don't know where he is? No. The only hint I have is this paper and these three letters written on it. But I won't ever give up. I swear, I'll solve this mystery. Because if you never give up, you can overcome any obstacles. Remember when we were escaping on the bike yesterday? We sang that song, right? The Go-Getters Club Anthem. <sighs> Even if the world ends, the Go-Getters Club will stay together. Right? I remember us singing it a lot back in the day. When she was still with us.
doesn't look like there's anyone here in Kobe either. Uh. I told you I was born in Oita, right? My grandfather there was the head priest of a Shinto shrine. I don't know much about it, but I heard it's a really ancient and important shrine. But my father was the second son, so his older brother inherited the shrine. After that, he didn't really have anything to do with the shrine, and he ended up moving to Tokyo. But maybe it's in the blood or something. I've got what people call the sixth sense. I can see things normal people can't. Ghosts, auras, that kind of thing. Oh, I'm so glad! I knew you'd believe me, Rachel. But even though I have the sixth sense, I didn't see any ghosts in the city. So that means the other people are safe, right? Hey, Aniki? Rachel? Thanks for yesterday. We were all brainwashed, and you saved us. Yeah, and? I mean, we were this close to being sacrificed. No matter how many times I thank you, it's not enough. No. Oh, thank everyone else. I didn't do a damn thing. Besides, my plan was to just leave you guys behind. It's obvious, isn't it? We head back to Tokyo. So you were just going to abandon the others? What do you expect? Sure, I was just gonna give up on you all. That's the kind of guy I am. Hmm. But you mean, that was you before you knew about the sacrifice, right? Oh. You were doing it for all of us, weren't you, Aniki? I mean, I don't think I can walk anymore. Just let the complainers get some rest and get those who can still walk to Tokyo as quick as possible. Then you just come back and pick us up later. That's what you were really thinking, wasn't it? Oh. And Jenu told me, as soon as you found out about the sacrifice, you started hunting for mushrooms like crazy. So, just... Thanks for everything. Huh. Like I said before, Kobe is all about the Hanshin Tigers. To be exact, it's in Nishinomiya. That's where the Tigers' home field is located. For baseball fans like me, that's a holy place. So as soon as you get some rest, that's where we're headed. What? Come this far and not go to the field? Are you nuts? It'd be like ordering a takoyaki and leaving the octopus out. The tigers are in a slump right now. In fact, it's the worst slump in their history. But the tigers and that baseball field are where my soul lives. Huh? It'd be better to not go? Good point. No one wants to see a ruined holy place. Oh well. Let's forget about it this time. You were lucky the Amyctoclear was so close. Amyctoclear is a very rare mushroom. Not only does it help the brain recover lost function, but it's also known for being delicious. Supposedly, they were so overpicked that there are barely any left. So not only is it a medicine, but it's a much sought after ingredient. I know everyone loved the dish I made the other day, but it's all thanks to the ingredients. 
it couldn't help but be delicious. Next time, I won't rely on the ingredient. I'll use my cooking skills. Yuki's food was the nastiest thing I ever ate! I feel like I've still got that horrible taste in my mouth. It's like my whole body wants to puke to get it out of there. Just remembering it is making me... I thought I could eat anything. Except for tonkotsu ramen, that is. But now that's number one on my list of the world's grossest foods. I think the next time I eat it, I'll die. Yum! Delicious! Lifeguard is so awesome! I feel it surging through my tired body. I'm rejuvenated! Did you know? Lifeguard was first made in 1985. Supposedly, the concept was survival drink for the modern human. It's a super strong energy drink. So it's the perfect drink for us right now. The crisp sweetness combined with the mild tingle of the soda. I could drink it forever! Oh, right. When we were brainwashed, we heard the others talking. They said the sacrifice would be on Shoto Island in the Seto Inland Sea. Shoto Island. That place is used lots in movies and TV shows. That's right! The Electro Ranger shot a show on Shoto Island once! Oh man, I wanted to make a pilgrimage there. Now I'm kind of bummed. Another earthquake. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. It just stirred up some bad memories. I think it was 1990. That's when all these earthquakes started happening. After that, every country in the world started having giant earthquakes. Of course, lots of people died. One of them was my sister. She died in an earthquake in Kyoto. If only she hadn't gone to Kyoto. If I'd stopped her from going, she'd still be alive. Like I told you earlier, Kobe is all about the Hosekizuka Theater Group. They're technically from Hosekizuka, but Kobe is where their main theater is. And it's also where the Hosekizuka Musical School is. It's for training future members. So it's truly a holy place for Hosekizuka fans. So after we rest tonight, let's all go together. Well, that's what I want to say. But I guess we shouldn't. With the way things are, I don't want to see the place in ruins. And besides, I don't have the right. I swore. I wouldn't go there until I pass music school. For my dear sister. X, X, Y. Huh. The code that Neil Rose's dad gave to her. On this paper are numbers. Numbers you need to open God's door. If something happens to me, use those numbers and open God's door. Numbers. Numbers. Huh. In Roman numerals, X is 10. But I don't know what Y could mean. Hmm. I guess this paper isn't enough to figure it out. We need to find some kind of hint. Creeps. Mankind. 
mankind is extinct. What a lie! Mankind can't just go extinct like that! <sighs> I mean, it makes me furious, but it would explain this situation. No, I don't believe it! I know my mom and dad are still alive! I just know it! We've made it to Kobe, so Osaka is just right around the corner. I told you, didn't I? There's something important I need to do in Osaka. There's something I need to know. And I think someone in Osaka can tell me. By the way, don't even ask what it is. It's a girl's secret. Huh? But are there even any people in Osaka? Sure, of course there are people. The one that taught me the importance of never giving up was my dad. No matter how bad things got, I never gave up. My dad never gave up either. No matter what the obstacles were, he always overcame them. That's why he made it so far in his research. And it's always been the kind of research to help mankind. When I grow up, I want to be just like my dad. I want to be a great researcher, just like him. So, I was thinking about the powers I've got now. That F-bomb. I just spotted the idea and was able to make it so fast. It didn't even feel like it was me doing it. The speed of my thinking, the sensitivity of my touch, it felt almost superhuman. So it must be like the superpower that Rachel has. Was it something we are born with? Or a power implanted in us? Even though it's creepy, I'm kind of happy about it too. I felt like I got a little closer to my dad, the genius. Screwed up. That's minus three points on the leader score. Just three? Just be honest and admit you don't have what it takes to be a leader. Oh, uh, hell no! I'll never say that! I won't hand this leader badge to anyone! Come to think of it, I've always wondered... Why do you want to be the leader so bad anyway, Kansai? Well, it's because you want to be like Neon, right? Neon? He was Kansai's baseball coach. He's from Osaka and Kansai wants to be just like him. That's why Kansai uses the Kansai dialect even though he's from Tokyo. Yo, Chuko, you don't have to blab about all that. Ah, uh, come on, what's the problem? Chuko, how do you know so much? I used to watch them practice and go to their games a lot. Why? Well... Oh, I know. Chuko has a massive crush on Kansai. So she was like his groupie going to the baseball field every day. Right, Chuko? <laughs> Anyways, Neon was a super cool guy. He never said anything when we screwed up. And he was always happy for us when we succeeded. He's what a real man is supposed to be. But one day, Neon had to move to Kyoto for his work. Damn it! Damn it! And today was our last game! Last? Neon, you're moving to Kyoto, right? So today is the last game you can watch. But we made all those dumb errors. <laughs> hey, you're going to be captain when you become a sixth grader, right? So you better not say things like that. Huh? 
listen to me. To be a true leader, you gotta think about how your teammates feel. No matter what happens, you protect your own. That's what a true leader does. A true... leader? <laughs> <sighs> Here, take this. But this is... your favorite! Yeah, my symbol of leadership. My leader badge. Come visit me in Kyoto when you become a man worthy of that badge. But I... I... Don't worry. You're gonna be a great leader someday. I believe in you. <laughs> Neon! Neon! So remember... You gotta become a man worthy of that thing, or Neon here is gonna have to whoop your butt! So, that's why, huh? That makes me see you a little different, Kansai. Uh. Huh? What's the matter, Jenu? You look so serious. No, it's nothing. What's the matter? Did my story make you all weepy? No way. It was a totally stupid story anyway. Right, Mochan? <laughs> I'm full now, so I'm sleepy. What? Sleep already? Hey, Nyoro, why don't we stay up late and do some girl talk? Hmm. I'm kind of tired. So maybe we should just rest tonight. Yeah. If we stay up too late, Nighthawk will kidnap us. Jeez, Tatsune. You're still talking about the Electro Rangers. You're like totally obsessed. Well, let's call it a night. Don't forget to brush your teeth before you sleep. <laughs> Look who's talking. The messiest one of us. The messiest one is... <sighs> oh. Jeez, I know I'm just wasting my time. It's not even worth it. No one can hear me. At first, I was just happy still being with everyone. Even if you can't hear me, I thought it would be enough to be with you all. But... it still hurts. It's just not enough for me. It feels like you've all turned your backs on me. It's like you're giving me the cold shoulder. I'm so sad and lonely all the time. You guys... Vanilla. Huh? Pochi, what did you say just now? Thank you, Pochi, and Pai, and Rachel. You three were the only ones who heard me. Why are you saying Vanilla's name? <sighs> oh. Don't just sit there, say something! Is this some kind of joke? If it is, 
It's in real bad taste. Some things you just can't joke about. There's no way Vanilla could be here. Yeah, you're right. I mean Vanilla, because last year Vanilla, she died. Okay then. So about last night. Pochi, Pi, Rachel, is it true you three saw vanilla? Yeah. I swear. <sighs> Cut the crap. Hang on, Aniki. Let's hear them out. <laughs> Do whatever you want. How long have you been able to see her? From Last year, September 1994. So it was about a month after Vanilla died. Ever since then, both Pi and me have been able to see her. But Rachel transferred about half a year later, right? So for Rachel, it's from then. So you saw Miss Vanilla's ghost then? I think so. But... She had legs. So you mean this ghost has been with us since Kagoshima? It wasn't from Kagoshima. She was on the bus with us for the field trip, too. Yeah. And she was in school with us, too. Why the hell did you keep quiet all this time? Well... Because... We didn't think you'd believe us! I mean, even now, you don't believe us, do you? <sighs> Honestly, I'm kind of on the fence. If what Pochi says is true, why was it just you three who saw her? You guys all know my family runs a Shinto shrine, right? We've had the sixth sense for generation after generation. But what about Pochi and Rachel? Well, this is just my guess, but maybe it has to do with that X-shaped thing. X? The thing you were talking about in Onomichi and Hiroshima? Yeah, the thing floating in the sky. But not all you guys can see it, right? The only ones who can see it are Rachel, Pi, Vanilla, and me. So are you saying that the X thing is a ghost too? No. It's definitely not a ghost. So what are you saying? Well, the people who can see the X can also see Vanilla. That can't just be a coincidence, right? Enough already! So you say you can see Vanilla? And some stupid thing in the sky, huh? Well, I say you're all full of crap. There's no such thing as ghosts. If there were, then why... Then why hasn't she... <clears throat> oh. Where did he go? He must have come this way. Hmm? What's that? This piece of paper just came flying. It went between these cracks. I'll try to get it. Now that's 
hilarious. Chuko being bitten by a rat? That's like cannibalism! What is your problem? I'm just kidding. Jeez, what's your problem? A sweet little girl hurt her finger! Why don't you say something nice for a change? Ah, okay, sure. Sweet little girl, huh? I guess the rat thought your finger was sweet, all right! <laughs> You're the worst. That's why you will never be a leader. What did you say? No matter what you do, you'll never be anywhere near as good as Neon. Why, you nasty little stumpy, frumpy wizard! Oh, yeah? You stuck up, pinheaded, brainless fart knocker! Oh, come on, you guys! Hmm! Gah! Anyway, Miss Chuko, why did you stick your hand in there? Oh, well, that's because. You wanted this, right? Aniki. You were trying to get this flyer, right? Y yes What is that thing? If you see this flyer, please come to Kyoto. If you come to Kyoto... was written. Right. It could have been written before people disappeared. That may be true, but what if you're wrong? If we go to Kyoto, there's a chance we can meet normal people. Yeah, but we can't just base our decision on that. If you come to Kyoto, I wonder what they wanted to say. We have to go to Kyoto to find out. Hold on a second. No one's going to Kyoto. The next place we're headed is Osaka! Huh? Who decided that? Me! I'm the leader and I decided it. But if we go to Kyoto, we may find someone! Yeah, but what if they're whack jobs like the cult members in Ehime? Yeah! This could be a trap! They're spreading flyers and trying to lure us in! You think so too, Mochan? Yeah! We definitely should head to Osaka! Takoyaki, Kushikatsu, Okonomiyaki, Udon, Pork Buns, Blowfish, Kintsuba! I'm gonna eat until I drop! I'm with Kansai and Mochan. If we go to Osaka, we may find Vanilla! What? Why? Vanilla was always saying, I want to go to Osaka! I don't know what it is. But she said she had important business in Osaka. Then it's set. Osaka it is. Yeah! Now it's even more of a priority! Then I'll choose Osaka. I don't think Pai or Pochi would lie about this. So you're saying ghosts exist? That's right. Sorry, but I just can't believe it. As a daughter of a scientist, I can't accept the existence of ghosts. So you're saying we should go to Kyoto and Yoro? I feel like that has a bigger chance of working out for us. Then you're with me. I also agree with Kyoto. I've always wanted to visit Kyoto's Toei Studio Park. That's the sacred place where the Electro Rangers movie was filmed. I vote for Kyoto. Sure, we don't know who dropped this flyer. But if there's a chance we can find someone. But if we go to Osaka, we may find Vanilla. L like I said before, I don't believe you. I'm with Nyoro. I don't believe in ghosts. What do we 
do? That's four against four. Yuki, what's your vote? Well, obviously, Osaka. Don't decide for her, poop face. Who you calling poop face, pee face? Enough, you two. Stop it. I, er, I, um, I'll choose whatever Mr. Rachel chooses. So the whole vote depends on Rachel's decision, huh? No matter what Pochi decides on, Rachel's two points will tip it over. Hey, Rachel, what are you gonna pick? Yeah, who are you going to side with? We're going there to investigate the flyer. Well, whatever. The majority chose Kyoto. <sighs> Fine. Do whatever you want. The four of us are going to Osaka. I'm sad. But I guess here's where we part ways. What? Wait a minute! I didn't mean for that to happen! The road is so long, the nights are so cold. But our friends have been there from the start Even if the world comes to an end Go, 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 getters will never fall apart I guess Vanilla really liked this song you guys may not have heard her, but she sings it all the time. <sighs> I think that's what Vanilla wanted. So? <sighs> Fine. You guys are right. I almost forgot. I was really sorry about the way we split between Oita and Fukuoka. Yeah. Same when we were at that religious facility. It would be stupid to make the same mistake again. Fine. I'll go, I'll go. Okay, it's set then. Let's all go to Kyoto! Uh, Chuko, that's my line. Shut up! Go Gatters Club! Hey, hey, oh! Are you serious? Really, Kyoto? Huh? Yeah, like, duh, it's totally Kyoto! But I thought Kyoto was like Kiyomizu Temple, Fushimi Inari Shrine, Togetsu Kyo Bridge, and Kinkakuji, Toji, and Sanju Sangendo. Yeah, and Pontojo, Ishibekoji Alley, and Gion. So, what are we doing here? This doesn't feel like Kyoto at all! Uh, that's why Team Osaka is so lame. You can't appreciate Kyoto's elegance. That's pretty sad. This looks like a place a drunk would pee! What part of it is elegant? Well, elegant or not, this is a famous tourist attraction in Kyoto, too. It's Nanzenji's Suryokaku Aqueduct Bridge, built about a hundred years ago. They filmed tons of two-hour suspense dramas here. Two-hour suspense? 
likes dramas. I hate those things. Because of them, they always cut baseball games short. Well, we've come all the way to Kyoto. But no one's around. Just like the other cities. Hey, Chuko. So where are all the people, huh? I have no idea. On the flyer, it just said, come to Kyoto. Maybe we should have gone to Osaka. If we'd gone to Osaka, we might have found vanilla. And I could have eaten takoyaki and okonomiyaki. <sighs> <sighs> Did you hear that? Yeah. I heard something from over there. Let's go check it out. This is it, right? Yeah. I think it was the sound of a door closing. Did someone come out? Or they could have gone in. What should we do? Go inside. Wait! You know the saying? Wife men avoid danger? You mean wise men. Whatever. Let's just go. That's... No way! Be kidding! W wait a minute! I said wait! Are you serious? They're... Human beings! <laughs> so that master was lying! Mankind didn't go extinct! But wouldn't you say they're acting weird? Yeah. Everyone seems to be in a bit of a daze. Let's try to talk to them. Yeah. Let's split up and get some info. Excuse me, what is this place? A space located underneath Kyoto's old imperial palace. Kyoto's old imperial palace? Oh, I've heard of it. I heard there's an underground space underneath it. I thought that was an urban legend. I didn't know it really existed. But why is everyone living here? They told us. We can't go... outside. Why not? Supposedly... poisonous chemical rain. If we go outside, we'll all die within five minutes. That can't be true! We just came from outside! Oh. What do you mean, oh? Are you the ones that were passing out flyers? Flyers? It said to come to Kyoto if we read it. I don't know. I never heard of it. Hey, stop playing dumb. Yeah, but I don't know what I don't know. Do you know if the people in Tokyo are safe? I don't know if everyone's safe, but if they're underground, 
I think they're alive. And if they're not underground? Beats me. Maybe they're dead. W what? Don't say that so casually! Hey! What happened to mankind? What do you mean? He's asking what happened to mankind as a whole! There are lots of people here and it doesn't seem like they were wiped out! Yeah. Not fully wiped out. At least. If there are underground facilities... Like this. People should be living peacefully. There. What are you doing? Does it look like I'm making mochi or something? I'm practicing my batting! Why? Because there's a bat and ball there. I wanted to clear my head. <sighs> hey, Jenu. You heard it too, right? From the people living here. Yeah. It seemed like everyone was saying the same thing. What did you think of it? There were so many things that made no sense. Right? I felt the same. I just got so confused. That's why I'm swinging this bat. I feel like I can empty my head like this. All right, Rachel. Next ball. Go all out. Don't go easy on me. Let her rip. Huh? What the heck is that? Oh my gosh! What happened? We just heard a big crash! It's this! A drone? The ball Kansai hit whacked into it, and it came crashing down. But was this thing flying around before? No! It's the first time I've seen it. Well, sure. Normally, you can't see those things. <gasps> Neon! So, it was you we saw earlier. Huh? Earlier? On the way here, remember? We saw someone underground. That was... Yeah. That was me. It's been a while, guys. <gasps> oh, right. I remember you said it back by the seaside in Kobe. Yeah. Neon was the coach for Kansai's baseball team. That's right. That's why Kansai and I know him. <clears throat> What's the matter, Jenu? Nothing. Neon! Neon! I missed you so much, Neon! Neon! <laughs> yeah? Oh. Huh? What? You seem pretty cold, even though it's been so long. Yeah. And you ran away before, too. Oh. Yeah. Well... Before that, can you tell me what that weird drone thing is? Yeah, sure. It's just a regular old monitor drone for protecting people. Normally, you can't see them because of the optical camouflage. W wait a minute, what's a monitor drone? Huh? It's like you guys don't know anything. Right. We were on our way to Kamakura from Tokyo on a bus. And we woke up in an undersea theme park in Kagoshima. Then we got out, and the world was like this. Um... I got no idea what you're talking about, but let me try to explain. Before you guys realized it, the world, it became... 
A paradise. Paradise? And these guys were made to maintain it. The monitor drones. They were put in different places all over. Thanks to them, people can live peaceful lives. And the thing floating in the air and controlling them all is the Panopticon. You can't see them either, but they say they're shaped like an X. An X? Then we've seen it before! But the only ones who can see it are me, Pi, and Rachel. What? But I wonder why? We couldn't see the monitor drones, but we could see the X? Maybe it's because the invisibility mechanism is different. The monitor drones use optical camouflage, but the panopticon is different. You can see the panopticon with your eyes, but the data's blocked from reaching your brain. Ah, so boring! Who cares about all this anyway? So, who's the jerk who made this Panticon thing? It's Panopticon. It means Omnipotent Monitoring System. Have you guys ever heard the name Mike? The one the Ehime cult believes in? Their god? Hmm. God. Huh. Well, it created paradise. So I guess you could call it a god. So that Mike person created the Panopticon? It's not a person. Mike is an artificial intelligence. An AI. <gasps> an AI? I don't know the whole story, but they say it was created by a brilliant Japanese scientist. And who's that? Beats me. Don't know the name. Anyway, that person is the one that messed up the world? Nah. They weren't directly involved in all the changes that happened. It was by Mike's will alone that this earthly paradise was born. How's this moldy, stinky underground a paradise? Yeah. Yeah. It just feels like humans are being controlled by Mike. Why isn't mankind resisting Mike? Resisting? Why would we do that? I told you already. This is a paradise. Why would we resist such a wonderful world? Besides, mankind these days? They don't have emotions anymore. They don't have... emotions? Uh -huh. <gasps> You talked to the people here, right? Then you should know. But why? Mike had the Panopticon send out tiny little doohickeys called nanomachines. They snuck into people's brains and cleaned out their emotions. To stop mankind from resisting? No, that's not it. It was to stop mankind from killing each other. Humans don't get angry or sad anymore. No more hatred, jealousy, or fear. So naturally, all the wars stopped. No more wars, no more murders, not even stealing or any other crime. It's a true utopia. That's why I told you. This place is paradise. But if there's no emotions, there's no happiness or joy either. Of course not. What do you mean, of course? To give up the negative emotions, you gotta give up the positive ones too. It's like a trade-off, I guess. Did something happen to you too, Neon? Huh? Well, you didn't seem to really feel anything. Even when you first met us all. Yeah. I didn't really feel anything special. Not happy or nostalgic, if that's what you mean. <gasps> You're lying! That can't be true! I mean, you don't seem the same as the others here, Neon! You're answering 
our questions and your emotions seem to be like fragments or something. Oh. Hey, what's the matter, Chuko? Are you okay? She's burning up with a fever. I think it's an infection. Wait, remember Chuko was bitten by a rat in Kobe? Do you think that's the cause? If that's the case, then it might be rat bite disease. We need to give her antibiotics or the worst might happen. Ugh. Neon, do you have any antibiotics here? Beats me. What do you mean, beats me? Someone's life is on the line! And Shuko is your friend, right? Yeah, but... <sighs> to be a true leader, you gotta think about how your teammates feel. No matter what happens, you protect your own. That's what a true leader does. Neon, you were my role model! I thought you were the ideal leader, but you're not a leader anymore. You're not even human. You're just a lifeless doll. <sighs> you may be right. <laughs> this doesn't look good. At this rate, Chuka will really... Let's hurry. We have to find some antibiotics. Yeah. But where should we go to find them? I think there was a big hospital to the west of Nanzinji Temple. Maybe if we go there... Then first we'll have to go outside. I'll carry Chuko. Will you be alright? Hey! Who do you think I am? I'm the leader of the Go-Getters Club! Alright guys, let's go! Follow me! <laughs> what are you doing, Miss Jenu? Everyone left already! I know. Can I help you? <laughs> so, you did forget me. You remember Kansai and Chuko, but you don't remember me. <laughs> but I remember you clearly. I'll never forget, because you're... You're the one that killed my sister! It's all your fault, my sister! She... Why did you save me? Huh? You hate me, don't you? You wanna kill me, right? Then why? Wait, so you do remember? Of course. There's no way I'd forget. Because you're... You're the woman I love, little... Oh, what's the matter? My... My head! It's gonna explode! Uh, are you okay? It seems like I'm better now. 
Are you really okay? Nah. When I said better, I didn't mean that. I mean, my emotions are back. Huh? What? No time to explain. You hang on. I'll bring you what you need. What's this? It's a syringe gun. It's loaded with antibiotics. Antibiotics? So then, if we give this to Miss Chugo, she'll... Yeah, you should be able to save her. But... where did you get this? This place has a few medical facilities. I got it there. Anyways, hurry up and give it to her! How about you? I'm gonna lead everyone somewhere safe. There could be another earthquake soon. Okay, you take care of the rest. Things are unfolding way too fast. I can't keep up. You mean my relationship to Neon? That too. But there's more! Well, regardless, now isn't the time for talk. We need to get these antibiotics to Chuko as soon as possible. Can we contact them by walkie-talkie? I tried, but I couldn't get a hold of them. I think it's because they already went up to ground level. Then we need to hurry and find them! Let's go! Get here. 
We climbed over all the rubble caused by the earthquake. That makes sense. Well, I'll keep on scouting ahead to make sure the path is clear. But will you be okay? Don't worry about it. Where there's a will... There's a way, right? Chuko is waiting for us to come back with these antibiotics. Everyone else, too. Okay, got it! Miss Jenu, your powers are amazing! I saw it earlier, but to see it again? It's crazy! I can hardly even believe it! <sighs> Mr. Rachel's ability to throw, Miss Chuko's flames, Miss Neuro creating a walking time bomb. And to top it off, Mr. Mochan can turn his body to iron, right? What is the Go Getters Club anyway? Some kind of strange kid superhero group? I don't know either. Maybe it has something to do with the Panopticon and... <sighs> anyway, we'll think about it later. Let's go! Robot. I don't think we should let it catch us. Oh, maybe we can use your ability, Miss Jenu. No, I can only go part of the way on the ceiling. Wait, if the robots can come this way, if I use the ceiling right, maybe I can go forward without being spotted. Be careful, Miss Jenu. I will. Robot. The falling rubble hit the robot and it stopped. I... I see. Anyway, look! There's another robot here! Yeah, if we can get rid of the robot, we can press the switch up top. Maybe that switch can open the door up ahead. that it's a drone i think it's patrolling this place like those robots from before how do we get by it can we hit the drone with a rock hey it's worth a try do what you do best Rachel.
Big one. Look! A whole bunch of pillars have fallen down! If another earthquake happens, they might all come down. What? You're going to go ahead and check things out? Okay. Be careful, Rachel. collapsed. Jenu, we need you here. Okay, I'll go on ahead and scout things out. There are lots of spiky things on the ceiling. Be careful, okay? Yeah, and now it seems to be watching the ceiling, too. And this time, there's nothing we can throw at the drone. Look! There's a big box over there! I don't think Rachel could throw that. But, it may come in handy. First, let's drop it down there.
We came a long way, but there's still no exit! We should almost be there. <sighs> Another earthquake! If we step on them, it may collapse. Let's be careful. There's no safe ground after this point. And the ceiling is covered with spikes! So, what do we do? Mr. Rachel! It's too dangerous to just run right through! Insane, but I guess we just have to go. I think maybe we made it out safely. Let's go! How do you feel, Chuko? I feel totally fine now, thanks to you guys getting the antibiotics for me. Jenu, Yuki, Rachel, thank you so much. Oh, no need to thank us. Chuko, you sure you're okay? I said I'm fine already. I drank the lifeguard that Tatsum gave me. My HP is full. I found it at the vending machine nearby. Chuko said she was thirsty. So anyway, you want to get going? Huh? Go away. Come on, Pi, we're heading to Tokyo. I mean, we asked a bunch of people underground, but no one told us how Tokyo is doing. They just said the people above ground all died. But that's only if poison chemicals are raining onto Earth, right? And obviously, that's just nonsense. I mean, look at us. We're alive, aren't we? So then the people in Tokyo... Don't worry. I'm sure they're fine. So, I guess our next goal is going to be Nagoya. If we go straight east from here, we'll hit Nagoya. Hooray! Chicken wings, miso katsu, flat noodles, tempura rice balls, and eel balls! Jeez, Mochan! <laughs> All right, let's get moving. Next stop, Nagoya. Go Getters Club! Hey, hey, oh! So, which way is east? I'll lead the way. This game console has a compass function. Got it. Lead the way, Pochi. No prob. Hey, why'd we come to this temple? 
temple that looks like you'd find it out in the boonies. This is Kiyomizu Temple. This place is a national treasure and world heritage site, so it's very well known. Since it was on our way, I felt like stopping by. You felt like it. <laughs> So what did you guys think about what Neon was saying? What do you mean? He said, Humanity no longer feels anger or sorrow. There's no hatred, jealousy, or fear, so it's a paradise. Oh, come on! That's just crazy! Yeah, the people living underground? didn't seem too happy either. Negative and positive emotions go hand in hand. If you lose anger and sorrow, you lose happiness and joy too. That's what hell really is. If I can't eat good foods and be happy, I'd rather die! Yeah, the word for paradise in Japanese starts with the Chinese character for fun. So if it's not fun, it can't be paradise. Nah, you're wrong. A world without sadness is perfect. Aniki? I agree. What? Not you too, Jinu. You guys all know, right? I lost someone precious to me. My older sister. She was everything to me. She taught me all about the joy and beauty of life. I always looked up to her and wanted to be just like her. The reason I love Hoseki Zuka Theater is because of her. One day she told me, I'll show you the most beautiful thing in the world. She sat me down in front of the TV and she showed me the Hoseki Zuka Theater. My sister was just glowing. And in that moment, I felt my own heart catch fire. And it wasn't just because of the Hoseki Zuka video. It was seeing the heaven written all over my sister's face as she watched. This sister I looked up to so much. What was it she was seeing? I wanted to know the answer to that. I thought if I learned that, I could be more like my sister. That's how I got sucked into the world of Hoseki Zuka. My passion for Hoseki Zuka is directly related to my feelings for my sister. My sister's not with us anymore. Those earthquakes that have been happening. It was one of those that killed my sister. And it happened right here in Kyoto. At the time, my sister was engaged to a guy living in Kyoto. One day, he told her he wanted her to come and visit. He said they'd look for a house together for after they were married. And that's why she went to Kyoto, where the earthquake killed her. Wait, the man she was engaged to, was it? Exactly. The guy you met earlier. Neon. <gasps> I've met him a bunch of times. I used to tag along with Sis when they went on dates. He took us lots of places. I looked up to him, too. He was the man my sister loved. So naturally, I liked him. But that's not how I feel now. If he hadn't asked my sister to come to Kyoto, she'd still be alive. You could even say, he killed her. That's why I hate him now, with all my heart. But a grudge is a heavy thing to carry. I really tried to let it go. 
over and over, but I just couldn't do it. I can't cleanse my heart of the loathing I feel. Are you really being honest? Huh? Aren't you just running away from your grief, Jenu? The grief that's eating away at you, crushing your heart. This grudge against him, it lets you turn away from that grief. No! You're wrong! Then why did you protect him? Yuki told me all about it. You saved his life underground, right? If you really hated him so much, you wouldn't have done that. <sighs> the grief of losing someone is kind of like a knock. A knock? Yeah. A sign from the deceased. It's their way of saying, I'm here. Listen to me. The door is the tenderest place in your heart. It's fragile and easily damaged. So, if someone knocks there, it's really painful. But you can't ignore that knock. You can't pretend not to notice it. I mean, think how bad they must feel. The one knocking on that door, they don't want to be forgotten. <laughs> Go ahead and cry if you feel like it. Just let it all out. Tears are proof that your sister was alive and that she's still alive inside your heart. <laughs> My sister. I loved her. So much. I'm sure of it. We're going straight east like the compass says. N Neon! What are you doing here? I wanted to say sorry. Oh yeah? Yeah. I'm really sorry. It's fine. After all, you were the one that found the antibiotics. I'm super grateful. What's your problem, Kanzai? Still not convinced? He lost his emotions because of Mike. It wasn't his fault. Yeah, but... Um... Neon... We found a flyer back in Kobe. Does it have something to do with Mike? Yeah. Mike used the Monitor drones to drop those things everywhere. It's to lure people still living above ground to come to Kyoto's underground. Why is it trying to lure them underground? I'm not sure either, but I think it's got something to do with sunlight. Sunlight? When you get exposed to sunlight, your emotions come back. That's why Mike is trapping humans underground. So, the thing about the poisonous air is... Of course, it's a lie. Mike has been spreading lies to keep people underground. I think that's why I still had some emotions left. What do you mean? There's a certain place I used to visit from time to time. So I was exposed to sunlight more than the others. But it's forbidden to go outside for us undergrounders. So I would have been in big trouble if I'd been caught. That's why I ran when you first saw me. I didn't realize you guys were the ones following me at the time. But what did you keep going above ground for? I told you, didn't I? To get to a... certain place. A certain place? Well... Mm. Oh. 
It's where... where my love lies sleeping. The underground exit. It comes out near Nanzenji Temple, where her grave is. I sneak out to visit her whenever I can. After all, it's my fault she died. Because I asked her to come to Kyoto. Mm. It used to be when I thought of her. It felt like my heart was being ripped out of my chest. It hurt so much. I could barely even breathe. But then Mike took the pain away. That's why you called it a paradise, huh? Yeah. Huh? Wait, don't you find that odd? Find what odd? You used to go above ground to visit her grave. And because you were exposed to sunlight, you kept some of your emotions, right? Yeah. That means when you first visited the grave, you should have had no emotions. It makes sense, right? You wouldn't have been exposed to sunlight yet. So then why did you want to visit her grave? I... I heard a voice. A voice? I think... it's an otherworlder. That thing spoke directly into my brain. W wait a minute! An otherworlder? Another worder? No, I said an other worlder. I'm talking about people that live in another world. Huh? Of course, I knew you guys weren't going to believe me. But it's the truth. I listened to that voice and went to the grave. But maybe that was Mike's voice. Nope. That can't be. Mike and the Otherworlder are enemies. The Otherworlder is trying to defeat Mike. How do you know? It's what the Otherworlder told me. But it also told me they can't beat Mike on their own. It lives in another world, so it can't come here itself. There's just one thing it can do, and that's communicate with X-types. X-types? People of this world with powers that let the Otherworlders communicate with them. So you're one of the X-types then? No, I'm not an X-type. I'm just like a receiver. It's a one-way ability. Not the same as the X-types who can send and receive. And I heard the X-types are... Immortal. Immortal? Yeah, no matter what they do. X-types don't die. That's why the Otherworlder wants to use their powers to defeat Mike. Uh? <laughs> this has to be the silliest nonsense I ever heard. But I'll play along, okay? So where are these X-types? <sighs> I don't know. You don't know? But there is one clue. Here. X-types have an X on their forehead? That's what the Otherworlder told me. Back then, my emotions were still hazy. But I told myself, I can't forget this. And I wrote it down. So I'll give it to you. Here. You guys are gonna continue your journey, right? Then you may bump into some X-types. going to do I'm gonna find a way to get the people to come up above ground but if I mess up I might get hurt bad or worse don't say that it'll be fine this is my own personal mission I got lots of friends underground I can't abandon them no matter what happens I gotta do what I can to save them <clears throat> neon neon I'm so glad you're really back! Huh? I mean, the Neon I know is finally back! Oh, yeah. Sorry for worrying you, kid. <laughs> Still wearing that leader badge I gave you, huh? Y yeah but... Hey! 
Hey, why are you taking it off? Seeing you again, I feel embarrassed to wear it. I'm not the true leader you wanted me to be. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I give up. On the day I'm gonna earn the right to wear this badge with pride, I plan on coming back here so you can see for yourself. Okay then. I'm looking forward to it. I just want to know one final thing. How does your chest feel now? <sighs> it hurts. It still feels like a hot knife stabbing deep into my heart. But I'm gonna keep that pain right here close to me. And live with it. For now, and forever. <sighs> Thank you. Hearing you say that makes me feel better somehow. Okay, you guys. Be good. underground, I was a fan of the Jose Kizuka Theater, right? Miss Janu and I bonded over it earlier. Yeah. I never knew you were a Fuki Yamami fan, Yuki. I mean, Yamami is the top actress for playing the men's roles. Yes! Well, I didn't think you'd be a Risa Hamafuna fan either. Hamafuna is the top actress for the lady roles. Of course. There are a few actors for the male roles I love too. But Hamafuna is so elegant and beautiful. She's so charming. Her voice is so wonderful. It makes my heart tremble. Exactly. You're amazing, Yuki. You really get it. <laughs> Seriously, nothing makes me happier than this. I never thought I'd find someone in the Go-Getters Club I can talk about Hoseki Zuka to. I wish we could have more people join us. I wish the others could see how amazing Jose Kizuka is! But I don't think they'd get it. That's not true. Where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, I guess I should try. Will you help me, Yuki? Of course. Okay then. Rachel, let's start with you. Okay, let me start by telling you the history of Jose Kizuka. Jose Kizuka Theater was established in 1913. Mike wiped out emotions for world peace, right? But I don't know. If you don't have emotions, is that really peace? You're so stupid. A dweeb like you should know at least. What did you say to me? There, you see? That's you all over, Kansai. You're all about emotions and gut instincts. It's why you're always screwing stuff up. Jealous of Rachel. Annoyed at Mochan. Mad at me? Snapping at Chuko? You can't control your emotions, so you're always making trouble. Right? <sighs> Emotions do cause conflict. And that's why Mike stole them. Well, you got a point. Aniki, you're right. My personality is always getting me into fights. But since we came to Kyoto, I finally understand. Without emotions, mankind might as well be dead. Without jealousy, you can't grow. And without sadness, you can't be nice. Without anger, you can't even point out other people's mistakes. <sighs> Aniki, you got mad before, so you straightened me out, right? I appreciate it. Seriously, thanks. But Aniki, you gotta 
fix your own bad attitude or people are gonna hate you. I'm not gonna lie. You really ticked me off. Huh. I guess I shouldn't have said anything. X-Type. Huh. I was thinking about what Neon said. X-Types have an X on their forehead. I still don't get this whole Mike thing or this X-Type thing. And I only half believe Neon. After all, that was a lot to suddenly dump on us. But the phrase X-Types have an X on their forehead is kind of bugging me. It sounds cool. Kind of like a hero in a comic book. Hey, Rachel, do you see an X on my forehead? No, huh? Let me ask you again. Are you sure you saw Vanilla's ghost? I mean, a ghost? It must be a joke. Yeah, well, I still can't believe it. If you think logically, ghosts just can't exist. Yeah, if everyone became a ghost after they died, the whole place would be swimming with ghosts. It's just hard to believe in ghosts at this age. And even if they did perhaps exist, we can't touch them or see them, so there's no reason to think that they exist. But with that logic, you can't prove they don't exist, either. Can't prove a negative, huh? Okay, let's put it this way. It's extremely unlikely they exist. But Rachel, you guys saw Vanilla's ghost, right? Hey, you believe them, Tatsun? Hmm. Well... To be honest, I half believe it, half don't. Even in Electro Rangers, they left it kind of ambiguous as to whether ghosts exist. I bet you anything they were just hallucinating. Because they miss Vanilla so much. So are you saying you don't miss her then, Chuko? Mm -hmm. Of course I do. If I could see her again, I'd love to. Well, I feel that way too, but... Of course. We all feel the same way. Vanilla was our friend, after all. But that's different from whether we believe in ghosts or not. I can't lie to myself and say that I believe. Well, I haven't seen her, so I can't just believe it that easy either. monitor drones Neon mentioned. He said we can't see them, but they're flying everywhere. That means there are some around here watching us. I don't like it. It makes me nervous being watched like this. And what are they supposed to be doing for us anyway? It may be some kind of super AI, but all it's doing is watching? Protecting people? What a lie. If that were true, how come it didn't protect her? So Vanilla's ghost wanted to go to Osaka, right? Oh, I'm not saying I believe it yet, okay? But, but if she did exist, I'm not afraid of ghosts! Anyway... I wonder what Vanilla needed to do in Osaka. Oh, I know! I bet she wanted to eat all the food! She wanted to eat something before she died. If it were me, I would turn into a ghost just to eat some! I'm so jealous. I wish I'd gone to Osaka too! All we got to eat here was boil-in-the-bag curry. 
if we'd gone to Osaka, we could have had takoyaki and okonomiyaki. So it looks like Jenu has superpowers too. Rachel, where do you think these powers are coming from? A hidden power that's inside people? Evolving in response to danger? Or a side effect of the nano machines might spread around? Hmm. Huh? You think I'll get them next? No, no way. I'm sure I don't have any special powers. But if I could have a power... Hmm... You remember I voted to go to Osaka, right? It wasn't because I wanted to go to Osaka. It was because I didn't want to go to Kyoto. Like I told you before, I lost my sister here. Usually, I don't think about her when I'm with you guys. But when I see Kyoto, I remember. And it's so painful. But now I'm glad I came. I was finally able to grieve for her properly. I was finally able to face her death and let it go. How was Neon able to regain his emotions? I've been thinking about how it happened. Was it because he was exposed to sunlight? No, that's not it. Neon's emotions returned underground. Huh. So do you think this could be it? When I first saw Neon, he pretended not to remember me. He was afraid that, by talking with me, his own grief would overwhelm him. Of course, fear is a form of emotion. So, Neon did have some emotions left. And he instinctively threw up a wall around his heart to avoid the grief. But when I saved him, his wall came crumbling down. All the stored up emotions came bursting out again. Well, at least that's my theory. Thanks to Neon, we know lots of things. The Undergrounders were acting strange because Mike stole their emotions with nanomachines. Nanomachines, huh? That's horrible. Rachel, do you know about nanomachines? They're incredibly tiny machines. Do you know how small they are? They're minus one by ten to the ninth meter small. Smaller than a cell. The size of an atom. That's small, and you can't see them. Or tell if they enter your body. In other words, they're like a virus. The people invaded by Mike's nanomachines? They lose their emotions as if a virus is eating away at them. And the undergrounders are the result of that. That's horrific. Neon said the undergrounders will get their emotions back if they get exposed to sunlight. I wonder what that's all about. Maybe the sun's ray kills the nanomachines in the brain. Maybe Mike's nanomachines are vulnerable to UV light. Kind of like vampires. Or, by feeling the sun, maybe the immune system gets activated and the nanomachines get purged from the body. Hmm. In either case. It seems like neither Mike or its nanomachines are invincible. Oh! That big X in the sky... What was it called? Parthenon? 
You mean Panopticon? Yeah, yeah! That! It wasn't a hallucination. It actually exists, right? Yeah. Supposedly, it's invisible because Mike camouflaged it. So that... Panacotta thing? The Panopticon. Ugh. It's so hard to say. Man, couldn't it have had a better name? Panopticon means omnipotent monitoring system. Normally, it refers to a design of a jail. It's got surveillance towers with guards surrounding the cells to watch them. That way, the guards can keep watch over all the cells. Uh, I don't really get it. But what does that have to do with the X? I think it's because it's similar to what the X functions as. It's also a device Mike made to keep watch over the whole world. Why the pony copter? Panopticon. So I guess this whole world is a jail watched over by Mike, huh? That's horrible. Actually, it makes me feel a little relieved. Huh? Why is that? It's proof that things exist, even if you can't see them. Right? Vanilla does exist. Right. I haven't seen Vanilla in a while. I wonder where she is. Every time I see a bonfire, I can't help but remember Vanilla. Remember how she loved to roast marshmallows? And then, uh, now that I think of it, during the fate game, Vanilla's task was to eat marshmallows, right? Hmm? Fate game? Fate game. Vanilla. Oh, uh. Supposedly, a brilliant Japanese scientist created Mike. That's what Neon said, right? I didn't know someone capable of that existed in Japan. Hmm. Do you think that person knows how to stop Mike? The earthquakes that have been happening these past few years? Jenu lost someone special because of it. Without any... Warning, because of an earthquake weapon? Some say it was an experiment. Hmm. Pie? Same here, actually. Huh? It's about how humanity lost their emotions, right? Oh, well, no. Then me too! Me too! I remember too! I think the signs were there from a while ago. Probably about three years ago. I think people gradually started to lose their emotions from the summer of 1992. People in class suddenly started to act cold. They laughed and cried less and less each day. Back then, I thought maybe that just means they're all growing up or something. But it wasn't that. People were starting to lose their emotions. 
And it wasn't just kids that it was happening to. The teachers, parents, and other adults, too. The only ones that were left with their emotions were us. We laughed a lot. And we also cried because of how cold everyone else had become. Yeah, I remember Kansai going off on everyone with, How come you're not laughing? Swinging his bat around like a crazy person. <laughs> what a nut. You're one to talk! Anyway, it was April, 1993. They'd gathered us all together in that classroom in Tokyo. You're all terrible children! Absolutely good for nothing! That's what the teacher said, right? Yeah, but it wasn't for the reasons we thought. It was because we still had emotions. And that's how the Go-Getters Club came to be. That's how we met each other. But how come we'd forgotten that up to now? Our memories were stolen when we were in the pods at the amusement park. So were you saying it was the mastermind that made us play the fake game? Hmm... Not really. In fact, I'm sure that's wrong. How can you be so sure? Cause... You see... The mastermind that made us play the fake game was... I'm being a pain. But tell me one more time. Why would Vanilla make us play a fate game? I told you so many times already. I don't know the details. Pi was the first one to wake up and come out of her pod. And you talked to Vanilla then, right? Well, yeah. It was only for a few minutes, though. Listen. I need everyone to play the game of fate. Everything's all ready, so we just need the others to come out of their pods. There's not much time, so I'll keep this short. Anyway, this is the only way we can remove everybody's brainwashing. I'm sure we were all brainwashed at that time. And to fix that, we needed to be exposed to a life or death situation. I guess Vanilla knew that. But why would Vanilla tell Pi that? Oh! That? Don't worry, okay? I know I say game of fate, but no one's gonna actually hurt each other. So in a way, this is like a prank. But someone could get really hurt. You know what I'm saying? And that would be, like, super, super bad, right? So, Pi, you were the safety mechanism in case something unexpected happened? Yeah. You know how Vanilla is a ghost, right? So I guess she needed someone with a physical body to help her. A ghost, huh? As a daughter of a scientist, it's hard for me to accept it. But hearing all this... So then you believe that Miss Vanilla exists? Yeah. I do too. Wow. Vanilla was really with us, huh? Pochi, Rachel, did you guys know about this? Of course we didn't know. And Vanilla said nothing during the trip? Nope. Nothing. I wonder why Vanilla didn't tell us the truth. I also wonder how Vanilla knew about the brainwashing and how to lift it. Do you know how, Miss Pie? Beats me. We're going to have to ask Vanilla in person. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. Hey! 
Can I ask you something? What the heck are we doing at the Great Buddha in Nara? Huh? We were heading east from Kyoto, right? How did we end up in Nara? Did we make a mistake and come south? But how would you mistake east and south? Pochi was the one navigating. Pochi said his console has a built-in compass. Maybe the Earth's geomagnetism is messed up. And because of that, the compass didn't work right. Huh? Huh? I swear. Believe me. Well... Plenty of weird things have happened, so it wouldn't exactly surprise me. The earthquakes don't seem like they'll calm down either, so maybe the whole Earth itself is screwed up. So what should we do now? It doesn't change the fact that Nagoya should be our next target. If we're going to Tokyo, we have to pass through Nagoya. If we go from here, would it be east, northeast? Yeah, let's head that way for now. Even without a compass, if we know where the sun is in the general time, we can infer the direction. Then let's just go, huh? Playing around with the deer here won't get us anywhere. Yeah, for sure. Okay, we're off to Nagoya! Okay, to walk on the rails like this? Don't worry. We're not gonna get hit by a train. That's not what I meant. You're not allowed to be on here. It's a pretty serious rule, you know. Come on, Tatsun. They're all living underground. Yep. There are no more rules anymore. But that doesn't mean we can do anything we want, either. Like, you can't just walk into someone's home and pee on their carpet. Yeah, you can. You totally can. What? Then, um, how about... going to an arcade and playing a Mahjong game without an adult? Easy peasy. No prob. Whoa. Since when did all of you guys become such delinquents? <laughs> You're such a goody two-shoes, Tatsun. I, I... I... I don't believe this! Mommy! Anyway, how about you, Miss Chuko? What, what are you talking about? You can stop pretending. I'm talking about the boy you have a crush on. Everybody already knows. It's totally Kansai. Don't be stupid! I don't like that tiger print wearing baseball Franco Taco! Ah, so it's not Mr. Kansai then, huh? Okay, fine. Let's just say we believe you. But what about you? What do you think of Kansai, Yuki? It seems like Kansai has a thing for you, Yuki. What? R really? Totally. I'm so happy! Because I love Mr. Kansai, too! Huh? Uh, are you serious right now? He's so crude and insensitive. He runs through the hallways naked! He leaks milk from his nose and he smells like a wet puppy! Chuko, I think you have me wrong. It's not just Mr. Kansai, but Mr. Mochan, Mr. Tatsun, Miss Nyoro, 
Mr. Aniki, Mr. Rachel, Miss Jenu, Mr. Pochi, Miss Pai, and of course you too, Miss Chuko. I love everyone in the Go-Getters Club! Oh. oh, so that's what you mean. <laughs> Chuko, you're such a little romantic. Fine, so then what about you, Jenu? You mean, do I love anything? Sure, there's things I love. So, like... Well, for example, a single beautiful flower blooming in the wild, or pure white airplane trails standing out against a perfect blue sky. Uh, I totally don't follow. Well, I'm just trying to say that those are the things that make me feel love. <laughs> That's so like you, Jenu. Listen, you guys. You better not tell the girls, okay? Me and Yuki are gonna get married one day. I just know it. Talk about over-optimistic. Yeah, he's got it bad. So how about you, Mochan? Me? Well, um... I... I'm actually... interested in Yoro. Yoro? Wow! So you have a crush on Yoro! Hey! Don't laugh! Ah, uh, my bad, my bad. But how do I put it? Yoro just doesn't seem like the type you'd fall in love with. What? Why not? She's super adorable! Uh, adorable? Yeah! She's really cute! She looks like the sweet chestnut topping on a mop blog! And Yoro is surprisingly kind. She gives me her carrots and green peppers during school lunch. Maybe she just hates vegetables. So what about you, Tatsun? Eh. You guys better not tell the girls. Sure. Promise? Yeah. You got my word on it. Then I guess I'll tell you the person I love most. In the whole wide world, the one I want to marry is... <sighs> is Electro Ranger Pink! Uh... Oh. Huh? Pochi. I like Pochi. You answered that quick. I mean... Out of all the go-getters, Pochi is the hottest. Don't you guys think so? Uh, I don't know about that. Oh! I think I totally get it! Wait, don't tell me you're also... Oh, no. I just really like him as a friend. So you don't like him in that way? Nope. Sorry. You don't have to ab... Apologize. Then who do you have a crush on, Miss Pie? Mm, uh, me? Well, I. Uh, Aniki. I guess. Aniki? You guys are too loud. What about Aniki do you like? It's hard to explain. His face. His voice, his height, his body, his personality. Personality? What? Did you guys all forget? Aniki used to be really sweet, right? I know that he might sound a lot meaner these days, but his old self is still in there, you know? Oh, so you like my brother, huh, Pai? Huh? <laughs> so, Aniki, you got a thang for Pai, huh? <laughs> That's a load of bull! Vanilla! Did you just hear someone say vanilla? Yeah. 
Let's check it out. Vanilla! <laughs> I kind of felt lonely, so I came back. Hey, what's going on? You telling me Vanilla is right there? Yeah, she is. So you say, but I don't sense a thing. We can't see Vanilla, and we can't hear her voice either. Hey! Don't, like, bum me out by saying that! I'm telling you I'm here! Sure, I know that. Is Miss Vanilla saying something? She's saying that she's here! <sighs> wow, so Vanilla is really there, right? Can you ask her one thing? About the mastermind that made us play the game of fate? Oh, you told them hi? Yeah. Sorry. Was that not okay? No. I was planning to tell them after the game ended. Hey, so what is Vanilla saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, um... Ah. So it was Vanilla behind it. But I seriously didn't mean to hurt anyone. That's why I asked you to help, Pi. Hey, what's Vanilla saying? Ugh, it's kind of hard translating every time. So I'll just explain it once I find everything out. Oh, okay. Jeez. Go on, continue. Uh, so there's a few things I don't get. How did you find out that everyone was brainwashed? Well, you know how we had an accident on our way to Kamakura? I actually know what happened right after. So, what happened? This army of robots came out of nowhere and took you all away by helicopter. Of course I tried to save everyone, but I don't have a body, and I can only use a little ghost power. For example, I can type on a keyboard or flip a page in a book. But that isn't enough to fight an army of robots. So I just cried and hopped on the helicopter, too. We landed at... That undersea theme park in Kagoshima, huh? Yeah. And as soon as you guys got there, they put you in the pod. And I thought, like, OMG, this is no bueno! Like, super mega no bueno! But my weak ghost power wasn't enough to force open the pod doors. So all I could do was leave and try to find a way to save you guys. Like, I'm a ghost, right? So I could go anywhere I wanted in there. Even the restricted areas. I checked out all the computers and documents and learned lots of stuff. One, the pods were a device to brainwash all of you. Two, when the brainwashing was done, the doors opened automatically. Three, to remove the brainwashing, I needed to put you in a situation where you felt your life was in danger. That's why I decided to have you guys play the game of fate. I based it on that creepy movie we were watching on the bus. I copied the rules from that movie and started to prepare for everything. Time passed and everyone's brainwashing was completed. You guys know the rest of the story. So you made Pielope too then? No, I found that at the movie set. It was designed to be controlled by PC, so I reprogrammed it a bit. Then I made the wristbands, locked the door, and had it help me out with other things. I heard there's another weird PLP out there. That one has nothing to do with me. I think Mike tinkered with it. Wait! Mike is that AI! Right? The one that stole people's emotions and chased people underground. Right. <sighs> Ugh. So anyway, it's all Mike's fault. Mike was the one that made the world like this and trapped us in the pods. But why did it want to do that? 
You know already, right? The Go-Getters Club was brought together because we all had a special attribute. We were all kids that never lost our emotions. That's what the Go-Getters Club is. Yes, and so Mike didn't like that. So it trapped you in the pods and messed with your neural networks. Messed with? Our neural networks? Yeah, but don't worry. You guys should be back to normal. Okay, I get it now. But why didn't you tell us during our trip? Well... Um... You see, something else was bothering me. Hey, what's Vanilla saying? I'm not too sure what she's talking about yet. She's saying something was bothering her. What's that supposed to mean? Well, it doesn't matter. Vanilla told us everything just now. Mm. Hmm. Huh. This is idiotic. Honeykey, you still don't believe Vanilla's here? Of course not. How many times did I tell you ghosts aren't real? Is it because you're scared? The hell you say? I think you still haven't really dealt with your grief about Vanilla. That's why you won't accept she's a ghost. Because if you accept that, you have to admit that Vanilla is really dead. That's bull. I have admitted it. I admit it. I'm the one that killed her. Big bro. Why would you even say that? I feel sorry for Vanilla. What? You feel sorry for her? You can't even see her. And you've convinced yourself she's still around. But it's true. It's cause we're all friends. <laughs> so you're saying I'm not your friend, huh? Fine! Then do whatever you want. I don't give a crap if you guys die or whatever happens to you. He stormed off. But we're going in the same direction anyway. He's just acting tough. He wants us to go get him. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Anyway, I guess we should get going, huh? Yeah. Let's do that. Not a train. Huh? The thing connected to the passenger car is a diesel locomotive with a built-in engine. The term locomotive is preferable. If you want to be specific, that is. Wait a minute. A built-in engine? Yeah, so? That means if we can get the engine going... It will move! Then let's test it out. Okay, I'll head to the locomotive and check it out. I actually know a thing or two about machines. We're counting on you, Pochi. But even if we can get it to move, is it really okay? Is what okay? For us to drive it without permission. We haven't got a license or anything, and it must belong to a railway company. Are you being serious right now? OMG, Tatsune. You're such a persnickety little goody two-shoes. <laughs> Why did you laugh just now? Oh, sorry. Vanilla just said something funny 
She called you a persnickety little goody two-shoes, Tatsune! <laughs> nice one, Vanilla! Huh? Did Vanilla really say that? Yep, I totally said it! Vanilla said? I totally said it! <sighs> Man, it's so weird that we can't hear her. About that... I actually think I may know a solution. A solution? The answer is... To eat a hyper clear. It's a special mushroom! Is that the thing we ate to cure the cult's brainwashing? No. That was clear. hyper clear is a more potent form. Uh, I'm going to skip the long explanation part. But, if you heat up the mushroom and eat it, you'll be able to see things you weren't able to see before! So if we eat it, we can... See Vanilla? Yes! And of course you'd be able to hear her too! Oh, That makes me so, so happy! So if we find that mushroom, I can talk with everyone again? Yeah! So where does this mushroom grow? I heard it's in the northwestern part of Gifu. And one more area. The mountains in the west part of Tokyo. But Hyper Amygdaclear is a super rare mushroom and extremely hard to find. But there is a clue. The stalk of the Hyper Amygdaclear is hollow. And when wind blows through it, it whistles. Ba -da 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 -dee -da -dee -da -da. It supposedly sounds like an angel singing. Hyper Amygdaclear is also known as the Elysian Fungus. Elysian Fungus? Huh. So if you ever hear that sound, it means a Hyper Amygdaclear is nearby. Yeah, but first we need to get close. You said it grows in the northwestern part of Gifu and one more place. The mountains in the west of Tokyo. Look, I don't think we need to worry about Gifu for now. Yeah! Tokyo is our final destination after all! All we need to do is start the engine! Don't worry. I'm sure Pochi will figure it out. <sighs> oh. It's started! Thanks for waiting. Looks like it worked. Pochi! You're incredible! Mr. Pochi, you really are something! Oh, Thanks, Pochi! 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 <laughs> well, what's with you guys? We'll explain later. Full speed ahead for Tokyo! Go Getters Club! Hey, hey, oh! you know. Anyway, it's a good thing Pochi knew how to drive this thing. I guess he spent lots of time playing a train simulator game. He said it's exactly the same as the game. At this pace, we'll get to Tokyo in no time. Tokyo. Wow, Tokyo. 
We're finally gonna get back to Tokyo, huh? Let's check it out. Oh. Huh. Yellow Lalloon! Long time no sea monkeys! It's me, Yellow Pink! What do you want with us now? Are you a train nerd? Maybe you're one of those nerds that likes riding trains more than taking photos. I just told you, I'm not a train nerd! So then what do you want? <laughs> Tweedly tweedly twee. No, you're just being weird! Fine, I'll tell you. I've come for three reasons. One, I'm here to finish you all. Two, I'm going to build a vacation home in Palm Beach, Florida. And three, I'm going to punish the traitor. Uh, I guess we can ignore point two. But the third reason, who's this traitor? Tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la. Quit screwing around and just tell us! What are you anyway? What if it's the great King Angelmois? You mean that Nostradamus thing? No, no, it's not anything like that. It's just a robot that Mike renovated. All it really wants to do is capture you all again. Anyway, who cares what I am? The important thing is, it's showtime! Showtime? Yep. I'm about to get it all started. A gruesome show to bury you all. watching the show. I'd rather go to where everyone can see. Wait! Ho oh, ho! You're going to fight me? You're going to resort to violence? Is that really okay? That's right. You can't resort to violence no matter what. That's a rule my mom always told me to keep. Right. So would you mind getting out of my way, then? <sighs> I said, get the hell out of my way! 
You're a waste of skill, you ridiculous four-eyed, sniveling little worm! What did you call me? <laughs> You're such a goody two-shoes, Tatsun. <sighs> oh, Tatsun. You're such a goody two-shoes. I... I am not a goody two-shoes. The real... The real me... wants to pee on the carpet and play Mahjong all night long. I'm shady, cruel, and relentless. I'm a lone wolf, dark hero. Win the war. That's how I roll. Um, but in that situation, wouldn't we be the ones losing? Shut it, ugly. Uh, uh, ugly? Anyway, here goes. You call me ugly! Roaring lightning, raging plasma, hyperelectric wave! You! Are you insane? If that had hit me, your two friends would be dead right now! Maybe. Maybe? <sighs> Damn it! If that's the case, only one thing to do with these two. b b b b b Hey, are you two okay? to get to the front car. After all, the most important thing is that I punish the traitor. And so, Piedlo Loon! Damn it. We need to run after that thing. Let's go. Uh, hey, wait! do if that electro thingy actually hit us? I planned the whole thing out. I made it slow enough so it could dodge it. Anyway, you're not hurt, are you? W well no. I'm really glad. I mean, if your face got hurt, you might wind up even uglier than you are now. You called me ugly again! What's up with the way you're acting? Are you really Tatsun? Tatsun? Oh, that's just the face I show as a disguise. My true name is Electro Ranger Black. Evil to conquer evil. The sixth hero of the Electro Rangers. No, no way! You just made that up right now, didn't you? Anyway, leave the rest to me. Ugly weaklings need to stay back. I, I'm not ugly! I'm slightly above average! Fine, then let me reword it. A slightly above average weakling. No, I'm coming with you! Fine, do what you want. See, look what I told you! That was dangerous! 
dangerous. But it was nothing for Electro Ranger Black. It looked like you barely made it. It's all according to plan. What kind of plan is that? Anyway, let's be careful, okay? You gained your own powers now, eh, Tatsun? Yeah, just like you and Rachel. Seriously, what's with these powers anyway? Beats me. But I do have a feeling it's related to Mike. Mike, huh? be something again. Chuko, would you like to go first? Huh? I'm telling you that you can go ahead. Huh? Are you scared? Don't joke. If you want to make me laugh, your face is enough. I'm above average! Uh, anyway, let's be careful. dark. I can barely see anything. You should be happy, Chuko. Maybe now you can find a boyfriend. What's that supposed to mean? We can't wait to get out of the tunnel. We need a light in here. Yeah, but... Oh, I know. Huh? Why don't you try that electro thingy you did earlier? I'm sure that'll be bright. Wait. Hyper-electric wave is a special attack. It shouldn't be used as a mere lamp. Then you want to go on in the dark? Ugh, <sighs> we have no choice. I suppose I can use the hyperelectric wave. With Tatsun here, we can handle it if you blow a fuse. Don't say it like that. That 
thing is trying to get to the front car. Hey, Tuco, Tatsu, Rachel, what are you guys doing there? What? You can see us? Yeah, there's through the crack in the door. So everyone's in the front car? Yeah, we're trying to keep the door closed, but whoa, Tatsu, why do you look like that? Electro Ranger Black. Huh? I said, call me Electro Ranger Black, kid. Did Tatsu bang his head or something? I'll explain later. Right now, we have to stop that thing. But what can we do? Leave it to me. As long as Electro Ranger Black is here, it won't lay a finger on any of you. Tatsu? Uh, anyway, we're hanging up, okay? Later. <laughs> so you caught up to me, eh? If you want to give up, now's your chance. Huh? What are you talking about? I let you cretins go because you were low on my list of priorities, but... So your true target is in that car, eh? And what if they are? Nothing. <laughs> Whatever. It's a nuisance. But I guess I'll start by getting rid of you guys. Bring it on. I'd like to see you try. Here goes! A battle on the train, huh? It's true that in the Electro Ranger movie... Hmm... Is its left hand broken? If I attack its left hand, I think I can easily beat it. Two-shoes, right? <sighs> hey, Tatsun! Are you okay? Hey, wake up! Tatsun! Tatsun! Chenu, will Tatsun be okay? Yeah. I think he's just so tired, he passed out. I'm sure once he rests a little, he'll be fine. <sighs> That's a relief. Tatsun. He did that for all of us. Huh? What did my brother just say? <sighs> was that sound just now? It was from over there! The second car! Wait! Could it be? <sighs> Why? Why is that creep here? I thought Tatsun's electric attack knocked it out of here. Oh, sorry about that. 
But I'm really persistent. Yeah. Oh no. Tatsum isn't in any shape to fight. I... I think we should retreat again and come up with a plan. All right. Hurry up, everybody. Let's run into the front car. You hurt my friends! Oh. Vanilla. Hurry, close the door! Wh wait! Aniki! He's still in the other car! What? Wh what now? Uh, it looks like Mr. Aniki intentionally said from us why would he the connector between this and the second car what is that fool thinking I'll handle this big brother are you crazy hey don't you try to be a hero don't worry about me. Just shut the door and stay quiet in there. Don't be a fool! Hurry up and get in here! <laughs> I thought you were just a dummy, but I guess you got knocks too. Oh, shut it. Quit blabbing and come at me! I'll smash your stupid face in! <laughs> we'll see. Rachel, what are you doing here? We can't let you be the only cool one, Aniki. Likewise. I just... Jeez. Uh, what are you thinking, you guys? Anyway, we need to find a way! Oh, how sweet. I'm truly impressed. A shooting manga editor would be their pet seeing this! Shut up, creep! Unfortunately, I don't have time to play. I've gotta get a move on, quick!
What? It's gone. Where did it go? Look over there. Hey, it's planning to jump to the front car. Not this time. Does it want to go to the front so bad? I don't know what's going on, but it said something about a traitor. Anyway, this is bad. We gotta do something. Do something? But what can we do? What's that? I know you might do this. Everyone, look at the track! The switch lever for the tracks! Yeah, the tracks split right there! So if we hit the lever right after the front car passes the fork... But... how? Here, we'll use this! F-bomb! Well, what does that mean? No time to explain. Anyways, Rachel, throw this. Hit that switch right over there. Just do it. Hurry. Okay, on my mark. Ready? Three, two, one. We put so much distance between us and them, it can't hurt the others. Hmm. Looks like you're right. Fine then. But I can still play with you. Um... Play? What do you want to play? You want to play Choo Choo Train, right? Oh, yes, yes! You'll play the train for me, right? Then, I can stick to you onto this body! I'll glue you right in place! This is bad. I didn't think we'd be derailed. Yeah. The rail was twisted in the middle. I think it was from an earthquake. Well, but everyone's safe, so it's all good. And thanks to that, we managed to get rid of Pielope, too. But seriously, what is Pielope, anyway? Vanilla said it was a robot that Mike tinkered with, but... Mike. That mysterious AI that made the world like this. Does it really exist, though? Vanilla said she didn't know the details. Seriously, Mike is full of mysteries. Hey, wait. I just realized, Aniki, you're not getting mad anymore when I bring up Vanilla. Oh. Uh, kinda. What do you mean, kinda? Never mind. Jeez. Huh? Oh, leave him alone. He doesn't need to answer. Yeah. True. Hmm. Anyway, is this really right? This train path? Yeah. The others should be coming this way for sure. But I don't see the train... Or the front car. We've walked a long way since. And they're not answering the walkie-talkie either. No matter what happens, don't hit the brakes. 
Maybe it's because I told him that before I jumped onto the second car. So you're like a boss that gives orders, huh? Anyway, the sun's almost down. We need to camp somewhere around here. But what are we going to do about the others? No worries. They'll be fine. Yeah. Knowing them, they're singing the Go-Getters Club theme right now. I hope so. I wonder if Yuki is okay. Is she crying somewhere? Or maybe she's getting bullied by Choco! Ah! I wish I could just fly to Yuki and comfort her! Hmm? Choco? Ah, don't worry about her. She'll be fine. She's not that weak of a girl. She doesn't need us. She's tough as nails. Phew! That's a relief, come to think of it. They got Jenu, too. So long as those two are with her, it'll be fine. So in the end, that Pielope was just a robot, huh? The Pielope in the Game of Fate was made by Vanilla, who was the mastermind. But the other ones were supposedly altered by an AI called Mike. What kind of technology could transform a robot like that? Man, Tatsun's transformation shocked me. I never thought Goody Two Shoes would turn out like that. Maybe he's been suppressing a lot of feelings. He doesn't like being called Goody Two Shoes Tatsun. And by transforming into someone else, maybe he's acting like the hero he wants to be. Basically, it is an extension of all his hero pretend play. The awakened power may be related to something deep in our psyches. Anyway, if Tatsun hadn't transformed earlier, we would have been... Yeah. As soon as we reunite with Tatsun, I need to thank him.
I wonder if Pochi is safe. There's a chance the other train also got derailed. But even then, I'm sure they'll be fine. Pochi will figure it out. He's really smart. Don't you agree, Rachel? Mike, an AI that stole the emotions from mankind. The one who messed up the whole world. It trapped us in the pods at the Undersea theme park and brainwashed us, too. How dare it use science for such evil purposes? As the daughter of a scientist, I can't forgive that. And the F-bomb that Rachel threw? I'm sure you know, but it's normally a bomb. I used my awakened powers to invent it, but the one that Rachel threw didn't even have any explosives in it. No explosives? Yeah, it was a special one-off. The real one works so well at the cult facility. It's just that, here on the road, I can't find the raw materials to make explosives. So normally, it would be called foot-powered bomb. But now it's just foot-powered, huh? By the way, it was Yuki who named it F-bomb. Man, talk about an awesome name! What's so awesome? you? Huh? What's up? I suddenly got a transmission, but it seems like they can't hear me. You may not hear us, but we'll continue anyway. You are the robot that sends the team of all the time to the sun. They have trapped us in a sort of factory scenario. So please, if you can hear this, come save us. over there huh kansai what are you talking about that's nagoya castle it's one of the three great castles built by tokugawa ieyasu he's just joking yeah like a stupid grade school kid hey we are in grade school so what's the prob Anyways, we gotta hurry up and go save everyone! You're the one who made the lame joke. They said they were trapped in some factory in Nagoya, right? Yeah, but which one? Yeah, there are tons of factories in Nagoya. Don't worry, I know where it is. When the robots attacked, I was in the front car too. And then everyone got captured and put on the helicopter. She's saying she also got on the helicopter with them. So she knows where it is. Right. This kind of feels like when we got in the accident on the bus going to Kamakura. Yeah, but that time we ended up in Kagoshima. So the robot army that attacked us this time... Yeah. They were the same ones that took everyone away in the helicopter. So that means it's Mike that's attacking us this time too? I think so. Okay, I think I get it now. Anyway, let's get to the factory, quick. Hang on, everyone! We promise we'll save you! Go Getters Club! Hey, hey, hey! Oh!
so. This is the factory where they were all taken. I think they're all locked away in this building. When I was here, they were all being held in a different place. One of the robots was saying, move them all somewhere in the building. Hey, Pi, what is Vanilla saying? Oh! Um... I see. Somewhere in this building, huh? Yeah, but it seems like there are lots of entrances. Then we need to split up and try them all. That'll be quicker. If someone finds anything, call us by walkie-talkie. Vanilla, report to Pi, okay? Roger! We just need an opening. Okay, now! Should be ranger black. Roaring lightning! Raging plasma! Hyperelectric wind! Losers! Thanks, Rachel. Oh, I see. Vanilla brought you guys here. So does that mean Kansai and the others are here too? The others, Yuki, Chuko, Jenu, and Mochan, are locked away somewhere in this building. We were about to be taken to the same place! Let's go find them. Yeah, I think there's an entrance that way. The entrance was locked, but there has to be a way to unlock it somewhere. This is... an electric plug? If there's power, we may be able to activate that elevator. Should be ranger black. Leave it to me! Th that was so cool! Whoa, 
Look at that tall robot. We'll call it Tall Robot for now. Past that door? Looks suspicious. You think everyone's locked in there? Hmm. I suppose I'm needed now. Hey! Hold on a minute! What is it? I don't think your electric attack would work. It seems to have a coating of insulation on it. Rachel, let's look for a way to get around it. Makes sense. By the way, So much. I don't know how to thank you. You guys are my eviscerators. Uh, I think you mean emancipators. Anyway, we have to report to the others. Wait, what? You were able to rescue everyone? Yeah, we're all here. Is everyone safe? Yes, thank you. Oh, man! I'm so glad you're safe, Yuki! Why only Yuki? Emergency alert. Emergency alert. Escape detected. Closing all outside access gates. Ugh. This isn't good. Are we trapped? Don't worry. I'm on the rooftop. If you guys think of up there, we can all escape. From the rooftop? How? Don't worry. Just hurry. So, you want us to come to the roof, right? Right. We'll be waiting. Rooftop. Huh. How do we get there? 
I think there's an elevator over there. I saw it when we were brought here, too. Yeah, let's check it out! Right there! Yeah, that elevator should go to the rooftop. Then let's go! Wait a minute, everyone! Is... is that...? V vanilla What? What's the... Is that what you've been seeing this whole time? Vanilla's ghost? No, I don't think so. The vanilla on the screen is breathing. So does that mean she's alive? That's impossible. I mean, Vanilla, she... Hey! Hello! Do you read me? What the... It's... The leader of the Ehime cult. The long-haired creep! <gasps> what was... Seems like my transceiver is acting up, so I can't hear you well. And with all this static on my monitor, I can't see a thing. So, how have things been going? I haven't heard a thing from you after hearing that those brats escaped the Nagoya factory. I got concerned, so I decided to check in. What does this mean? I don't know. I have no idea. In that case, let's ask. What? Ask? Just leave it to me. This is the Nagoya Factory Security Room. Huh? Who are you? That factory should only be manned by robots. Err... Uh, error detected. Vocalization system. Do not worry. All escapees recovered. There is no problem. Oh. Well, that's good then. The Great Might became concerned that we'd lost contact. Mike system? The Mike AI. The great Mike's main body. Is it stored there? Yes, of course. Is everything really okay? Not only is your voice strange, but your programming seems buggy too. Way. Who is the girl behind you? A girl named Vanilla, from the Go-Getters Club. Is she... alive? Yes. She was apparently in a coma for a long time following her accident. But... why are you asking all of this? So Vanilla is alive! Then, the vanilla that Rachel and I have been seeing is... We'll think about it later. Anyway, Yuki, ask him where that is. Where are they transmitting from? G got it! Let me ask one more thing. Your location. Where is it? You're asking where I am? Yes, correct. Uh... This place is... Uh... Rooftop. Intruder detected. High probability working with escapees. Initiating final defense system. Eliminating intruders. Hey! What's going on? You've just said you've caught all of the escapees! Uh, he's onto us! No choice, then. The real shocker is that it took him that long to figure it out. So we still don't know where that was. There's plenty of other weird things going on too, but we don't have time for that now. We're... going to the rooftop, right? The PA we just heard? It said final defense system. Is it really safe? Even if it isn't, we can't just stay here. 
Let's hurry. Everybody, onto the elevator. Whoa. You guys are okay. Wow! That's like so awesome! So, Nyoro, what's your escape plan? That. escape using that helicopter? That's right. I figured Pochi can pilot it. Leave it to me. I've spent plenty of hours piloting them on flight simulators. Are... are you sure it's okay? No worries. Pochi drove that train like a boss! I think that's a little different. What choice do we have besides trusting Pochi? Yeah, yeah. You're right! We'll only be caught by the enemy if we stay here! All right, everyone. Let's go! What? What the? An earthquake? No, that shaking was... Tell me that thing is... The final defense system? Unless we defeat that, I don't think we can get to the helicopter. Hey, wait! Rachel! to create a giant bomb robot! So can you buy me some time until I do? Hey! If I send it some electricity... Whoa! You did it! Damn, its battery needs to be fully charged or the engine will stop. Don't worry, we'll figure something out. So you focus on your battle, Rachel.
Sunjo! He'll turn into a chunk of iron! So just throw me at it! It's all thanks to me. By the way, the helicopter is fully charged. You all did great. The Go-Getters Club are the ultimate! Exactly! <laughs> no time to pat ourselves on the backs! Yeah! We need to get on the helicopter and ditch this place! Yes, let's go! We'll be above Tokyo in around 30 minutes. <laughs> What's wrong, Mochan? I... I mean, we're almost back in Tokyo, right? Yeah. This has been a long trip. Yeah, we've come a long way. Everyone in Tokyo is safe. No worries. I'm sure everybody's fine. What makes you think that? But, well, the truth is I feel the same way. Me too! Me too. I mean, we work so hard. We've got to have good luck coming our way. Oh? I thought you didn't believe in non-scientific stuff, Nyoro. I guess this trip has changed me. Yeah, and she even believes in me now, too. Hey! What now? Guys, look out the window. Huh? Just hurry! Fuji erupted. What? No, 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 no! It can't be. Then explain this. You think it's a hallucination? I don't believe it either. But anyway, this isn't good. Yeah, hot ash is flying up everywhere. If it hits us, the helicopter is going to. Fuji, full speed. We have to break through this. Got it. Everyone, hang on tight. Ah! Whew. Looks like 
we made it. We're saved! I think that alone made me lose three kilos! If we made it this far, we should be safe! Yeah, they say the max distance of the ash showers is around five kilometers. Whoa, Pochi! Shouldn't you be in the cockpit? It's fine. It's on autopilot. But I can't stay long, though. So what did you come here for? There's just one thing I had to ask, Vanilla. Huh? There's no time, so I'll just come out and ask. Vanilla, are you... Um... Uh... Really... Dead? Huh? Huh? Hey. Hey, Pochi. What are you getting at? We saw her in the Nagoya factory. We saw her clearly on the monitor. It was Miss Vanilla! Totally alive! Uh. Vanilla. Alive. She's alive? Hey, Vanilla. Is it true? I... I don't... I don't... really know. Because... because... I... I mean... that accident... <sighs> hey... hey guys... got a minute? No, we're having an important conversation. Yeah, but this is even more important! Look over there! Outside the window! Look! What? It can't be. Tokyo is... Our whole city is... It's gone.
So what about you, Rachel? Which way do you think we should go? heard from Pochi yet. Uh, who? Me? Pochi, you're definitely going to choose Fukuoka. I mean, Fukuoka is a beautiful city for adults. So, you know what I mean, right? I... Uh, I... Um... I... Come on, let's go together, Pochi. I... I... <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, I choose Fukuoka. Okay, so that decides it. No point in arguing over it now. Aren't you guys forgetting someone? Aniki. I thought you were going to go your own way. Yeah, I was. But then I changed my mind. My choice is... One vote for Oita. Uh -huh. Pink bro! You're amazing, Aniki. You totally get it. Well, uh, I didn't choose Oita because you want to go there or anything. Oh, I get it now. Wait, what am I missing? What is it? For crying out loud, boys are so dumb! Huh? Huh? Well then, things are even now. We'll never reach a decision! Uh. <sighs> well then, so be it. We'll just have to split up. What? We're gonna go to Fukuoka no matter what! So you guys do whatever you want. No biggie to me. But... but... See ya. Hey, wait! Kansai! Wait! Chuko! Nioro! Tatsun! Hochi, not you too! Please! Wait! <sighs> oh. They all went. There was no way to stop them. They'll call us by walkie-talkie before you know it. They'll be like, Oh, we were just worried about you, or some crap like that. But... Oh. Well, we'd better get going too. 
Destination, Oita. Let's go. It sure took a long time to get here. Yeah, it took way longer than we planned. It's all your fault, Mochan. Any little smell along the way, and you got sidetracked. Sorry! You don't have to apologize, Mochan. And you're the slowest walker ever. What have you got in your backpack anyway? Um, not much. Scones, Don Tacos, Purinky, then some Karamucho and Supamucho. That's all junk food! Not all of it! I've got some peaches I found in Kagoshima! They've got to be rotten by now! Throw them away! Oh, come on! I'm really sorry, everyone! I know I'm always dragging you down! You mean dragging you down, idiot! Stewed mutton with thick broth! You're a serious pain in our butt! You are not a pain in our butt, Mochan. Yeah, don't worry about it. Totally! Thanks, everyone. <sighs> Good thing we don't have the Fukuoka group here. Kansai, Choko, Nyoro, Tatsu, and Pochi, huh? I wonder what they're up to. It's been a while since we split up, and we still haven't heard from them. These walkie-talkies only have a range of a few kilometers at most. If they keep heading towards Fukuoka, there's no chance we'll be able to talk to them. I couldn't give a crap about them anyway. They can all go get lost in the woods for all I care. Aniki, why are you so nasty? Even if you are tired, don't take it out on others. <laughs> Soon all that nastiness is going to melt right out of you. Huh? We're almost at the Beppu Hot Springs. The city looks the same. Not a single person around. Maybe everyone was eaten up by those huge plants we saw in Kagoshima. Oh, bro! Could you be any more insensitive? You know Pi was born and raised here, right? What? Really? I knew she was from Oita Prefecture, but I didn't know it was this city. <sighs> Sorry. No, it's fine. It's definitely a big shock to see the city I was born in looking like this. But all my family is in Tokyo. Oh. Really? But even Tokyo. The truth is, we don't know how things are there either. Mm. Oh. Anyway, let's keep looking. Forget what I said before. There might still be people around here after all. 
That's right! Well then, let's split up into three teams, like before. Ready? Rock! Paper! Scissors! Shoot! Right. We have three teams now. Raju and I will be in the rock team! Jenu and I are in scissors! Big Bro and I will be paper! Any objections, Aniki? Not in the slightest. Leave Big Bro to me! I'll take good care of him! Alright, let's get moving. Use the walkie-talkies if you guys find anything. Got it! Let's go, Rachel! Uh... Where should we start? Rachel, Mochan, we've got trouble. What happened? Look over there. <laughs> Somebody stop it! Huh? What? What the heck is that? It's probably its mother. It's a roly-poly, no doubt about it. But why is it so big? I don't know. It must be like the giant plants in Kagoshima. Some kind of mutation. But why did it take pie? Well, when I found it, I got super excited. So I was poking it and rolling it around, and that must have made the mom mad. I think it might actually be a dad. Who cares? The important thing is that Pi got caught by it! Yeah. Ah! I'm so dizzy! What do I do? What can we do? We have to try to stop it. If the three of us work together, we can do it. Let's go! John, you... Sorry! My legs just froze up! I can't move! Dangerous it is. Oh, I know. Maybe. into her so hard, she went flying! Oh no! Anyway, what happened just now? It looked like your body turned hard, like iron. Well, uh... The same kind of thing happened in Kagoshima! Yeah, and Rachel used some kind of strange power too. Uh, 
anyway. It's Pi that we need to worry about right now. But what if we run into more of those roly-polies? It'll be okay. With your powers, I think we'll be all right. Our... powers? Yeah, Rachel's throwing ability and your ironclad ability. I don't know if I can do it. I know you can. There's a saying in the Huseki Zuka troupe. Where there's a will, there's a way. Not terribly original. Anyways, let's get going. We've got a bug to chase. The roly-poly that has Pi went rolling down that way. Got it. Let's go! This one is different from the one that rolled away with Pi. Uh, Rachel, leave it to me! Mochan. Let's go! I'll beat him up! And Rachel's throwing ability, too. Whatever the deal is, we need both of your powers. You're going to have to get us through this. Got it! Leave it to me! And don't worry if you get stuck in your iron form. I know a manager of a bowling alley. Uh, I'd rather not imagine that. I'll do my best! Can I? It's Pi! Let's hurry after her!
Mochan is the one you should be thanking. If we didn't have his power, we couldn't have gotten this far. Thank you, Mochan. Thanks from the very top of my heart. <laughs> Come on, it's no big deal. And it's not the top of your heart, it's the bottom. this up along the way hey is that a cell phone I've never seen one of these before don't your parents have one no they always say who needs a cell phone when you can just use a pay phone huh. same here so I've actually never used one Rachel, any idea how to use this? Oh, then we better not touch it too much. If we break it, we'll be right back where we started.
Anu, Mochan, I'll be telling this story to my great grandchildren. You guys are always saving me. It's the least I could do. And besides, I'm the one that should be thankful. Huh? Me? What did I do? Well, I always cause problems. But you guys showed me even I can be useful. <laughs> this guy. Ah, you're so adorable, Mochan. Aw, shucks! Stop it! You're making me blush! Oh, it's Rachel and the others! Took you long enough. Sorry! I got whisked away by a roly-poly! Huh? First amnesia. And then hallucinations. What next? It's a long story. We can explain later. Sure, you can explain while we're soaking in the hot spring. This is Beppu, right? It's famous for its hot springs. Too bad we couldn't find any people. But we did find a secret hot spring. We're... going in there? All of us? Together? Mm. No, no, you goofball! Not all of us together! Boys and girls will be separated, of course. Well, well if that's the case... Yay! I'm all for it! Since we're here, I want everyone to at least try my hometown's hot springs! Well... We're all worn out from walking. Yeah, a good soak should help our sore muscles. Okay then, what are we waiting for? Pie, I'll scrub your back. Oh, um, okay. Hey, Rachel, you were just thinking about us in the hot spring, weren't you? Jeez, Rachel, don't be so crude. Well, anyway, let's go! Now show us that secret hot spring. Yeah! Hot springs! Hot springs! Hot springs! Hot springs! Hot springs! Oh, Hey, I got a simple question. This is a hot spring town, and there's plenty of places to stay. So why the hell are we camping outside? Well, after we went in the hot spring, we checked out the inn. But it was all dusty and moldy, like it hadn't been cleaned in a long time. So we figured sleeping outside would actually be better. And besides, instead of splitting up into separate rooms, isn't it more fun to have everybody together? Oh, yeah, I think you're right. As for me, I don't like dust either. Hey, Rachel, have you ever been to Osaka? Nope. Me neither. I wonder what it's like. I heard it's like a foreign country, and they can't even understand people from Tokyo. And everyone there sounds like they're doing stand-up comedy. And there's a law that if you double dip in the kushikatsu sauce, they'll execute you. Um, I told you before I want to go to Osaka, right? There's someone there I just gotta see. Hmm? What's that face supposed to mean? You're jealous? <laughs> Don't worry, it's not like that.
It's been so long since I came here. So many memories. All those times soaking in the hot springs. Or hitting up my favorite fried chicken places. Oh, and Oita schools have tons of field trips too. There's the spring welcome field trip, the fall work hard field trip, and the end of the year farewell field trip. In the work hard trip, the third graders have to walk 10 kilometers. I moved to Tokyo after that, so that's the longest I ever walked. But the older kids have to walk 20 kilometers in elementary school. Can you believe it? Kids in Oita have strong legs and are famous for being good at walking long distance. I walked a lot today. But I used to walk a lot back then, too. My family in Oita belongs to an ancient line of Shinto priests. I don't know much, but I guess their shrine is really, really ancient. My dad is the second son. So his older brother took the role as head priest. Dad didn't have much to do with the shrine, so we moved to Tokyo when I was young. Maybe it's because of my DNA, but I've got a kind of sixth sense. I can see things normal people can't. I can see ghosts and people's auras too. And the thing is, I haven't spotted any ghosts in town here. So maybe that means everyone's safe. First, a monster plant, and then a monster roly poly? And you said you were attacked by a giant monster in Kagoshima, right? Have monsters taken over the world? Do you think humans are... No. We can't give up hope. Anyway, let's head home. First things first. Ah... <sighs> I wonder how Nyoro's doing. Ah! Uh, Rachel! I didn't notice you! W well I kind of miss the Fukuoka group. Not just Nyoro, but Kansai and Chuko too! Why the long face, Jenu? Well, um... Aniki. Did you enjoy the hot springs? Oh. No answer means you must be feeling the same way. Like something is missing, right? <sighs> Kansai, Chuko, Nyoro, Tatsun, and Pochi. Together, we're the Go-Getters Club. But if just one of us is missing, we're not the Go-Getters Club anymore. Yeah, I agree. Mochan. Even though I'm always getting teased by everyone. Without that teasing, I feel somehow lonely. It's kind of like spicy Karamuchu chips without the spice. Yeah, I totally get what you mean. <sighs> you want to go to Fukuoka? No. Knowing how fast they walk, they'd be way past Fukuoka by now. But that's if there isn't anybody in Fukuoka, right? Yeah. Yo, Kansai, Chuko, Nyoro, Tatsun, Pochi. Can you hear me? We're crossing over to Shikoku. We'll be arriving in Ehime first. So, if you guys can hear this, then you guys should also. Pick bro. Those walkie-talkies only have a range of a few kilometers at most. Oh. 
I get it. Huh? Tatsun mentioned it. Our walkie-talkies also work on a shortwave band. So what? Shortwave EM waves can reflect off the Earth's ionosphere and travel over a long distance. So that means... The Fukuoka group might have heard what Aniki said. Well, if we're lucky, yeah. That means there's a chance that we'll see the others again. I said, it depends on how lucky we are. Walkie-talkies aren't cell phones. Cell? Phone? Oh, I totally forgot something really important. I found this. Wow! A real cell phone! Do you know how to use it, Aniki? Yeah. Let me see. Oh! It's still working! But the battery's almost dead. No. Wait. What the? Huh? Let me just check something. What year is it? Why are you asking that? Just tell me. It should be 1995, right? Right. But why does it show... Beats me. I couldn't care less about them. Jeez. You sound like a robot with no emotions. Hmm. Even robots are nicer. I mean, if he was a robot, all you'd have to do is reprogram him. <sighs> oh, the old silent act again, huh? Brother or not, I've just about had it with you. I'm going to hack into City Hall and delete you from our family registry. I'm a genius programmer. That would be a piece of cake for me. Could you change my status to Mary, then? Hi. Uh, what's up? Oh, nothing. Anyway, we got bigger stuff to worry about. Look. Like the year, right? The cell phone must have been broken. There's no way it's 1996. Maybe when we were sleeping in that pod? Pod? The capsule-like thing we were in at the amusement park. You saying we were in there for a year? I mean, you've seen it in movies before, right? Frozen in a pod, and then you wake up. Years later. Oh, the whole cold sleep thing? Oh, chopped cabbage, carrots, and mayonnaise! That's not cold sleep. That's cold slaw. Lame. Yeah, that one was pure lame. No! Oh, he turned to iron. That's getting old, too. Yeah, we've all seen it too many times. Anyway, if you think about it, it all makes sense, right? For example, how everyone in the town disappeared. There's no way it could happen in a day. But if a whole year passed... But who'd do that? And why? Maybe while we were sleeping, we got turned into cyborgs! And that's why Mochan and Reicho have superpowers! And maybe everyone else has a hidden power too! That's so crazy that I'd normally just laugh it off. 
But with all these weird things happening... Come on, not you too, Jeno. But even if that was true, that doesn't answer Anaki's question. Who'd do it? And why? Good point! You... you all... what are you doing? Ah! Who's this? He looks strange, but... Yeah, but... he's a human at least. Human? Human? A human! A human! A human! A human! never imagined there were other survivors. Huh? Don't worry. I'll take you to see the master. What is this place? This is the facility where we live. So, there are more humans? Of course. Plenty of us. I knew it! So humans didn't go extinct! <sighs> Walking all this way was so worth it! We all work together here so we can be totally self-sufficient. And it's all thanks to the Master. So, who's this Master? What? No way! Hey! Guys! What are you doing here? That's my line. What are you doing here? We got your message. You said you were heading to Ehime. Chuko, I'm so glad you're okay. Yeah, things got pretty crazy for a while, but I guess we got lucky. It's the year of the rat. That's your year. Huh? What are you talking about? It's 1995, the year of the boar. Yeah, somehow. I almost got eaten by a yeti, though. What? A yeti? Yoro! Are you okay? You weren't attacked by any weirdos in Fukuoka? Nope. We didn't meet anyone like that. Oh, but there was one person we met. Hmm? One person? Hey, everyone, listen up! Let me introduce someone. This is Yuki. It's nuts, I know. But when we were in Yamaguchi, she suddenly... Kansai, don't bother. They won't believe you. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, she dropped in on us, and she's got amnesia. So we decided to take her with us. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Yuki. It's a pleasure to meet you. Aww, she's, she's so cute! <clears throat> Are you all done yet? In that case, let me take you to the master. Come on. Rachel? Yeah. What do you think we should do? I can't believe Rachel would choose that.
It looks like you still haven't made up your minds. I know. You're arguing about whether to stay here or go back to Tokyo. Am I right? <clears throat> Why don't you listen to a story? It might help you decide. What story might that be? The teachings of the Great Mike. If you hear the Great Mike's teaching, the fogginess of your hearts will be cleared. Here it comes. I knew it. Sorry. We don't need to hear it. We have already made up our minds. All right. Let's go. Huh? Wait, guys! Just wait a sec! The Go-Getters Club will stay together. But you're... They're gone. It's all right. Don't worry about them. What's more important is that you listen to the teachings of the Great Mike. I wonder if you've prepared yourselves. P prepared ourselves? The Great Mike's teachings cannot be taught with mere human language. It's sort of like a spell. You need to clear your head and listen with your heart. So, shall we begin? Now, focus on this Mandarin. Focus. Focus. Focus your consciousness. Listen carefully to what I say. That went well. What about the other brats? Well, we've been looking, but we can't find them. Are you saying they escaped? No, I don't think they have left the premises yet. <sighs> Whatever then. Well then, we'll take care of them first. You mean, right here? Are you serious right now? Have you forgotten what day tomorrow is? It's the day of the big ritual on Shoto Island in the Seto Inland Sea. That's right. Then I don't have to explain myself now, do I? Uh, uh. We'll use these brats for tomorrow's ritual. And dedicate them to the Great Mike as a sacrifice. If 
we do that ritual, the Great Mike will grant us whatever we ask. I want every pitch I ever swing at to be a home run. I want juice to come out of the faucets. I want to be chosen as a member of the Electro Rangers. I'll finally be able to go on a date and hold hands with that special someone. Just thinking about it makes me... Shiver with excitement! So you see? Before I knew it, everyone was like this. Hail the Great Mike! Hey, Rachel, do something! At this rate, everyone's gonna... We're here to help you. Why? I'll explain later. The important thing now is... Oh, how we love the Great Mike! The Great Mike! They're all brainwashed, right? Yeah, that's why. Don't worry. Yuki can break through the brainwashing. Yes! Everyone needs to eat some amygdaclear mushrooms. But... They can't just be eaten raw. We need to cook them into a nice dish. So, I have prepared... Ta-da! This! A Mictaclear Minestrone! With a hint of summer aromas. Yuki's special home cooking. Well, I added a little bit of seasoning as well. Actually, I pretty much cooked it myself. Anyway, eating it will fix the brainwashing. Well then, come on, come on! Eat as much as you like! Bless this meal! <laughs> <laughs> I get it now. So basically, we were brainwashed by that master? That long haired creep! I think. I think. I think the brainwashing is totally gone now. By the way, why are you and the others here, Jenu? We saw you guys about to be thrown into a truck back at that facility. So we snuck into the truck and rode it all the way here. We should have been the only ones in the truck bed. It's no surprise you didn't notice. We used a miniaturizing device to shrink ourselves. It's called the Weenie Fire. It's a device Miss Nero made that shrinks people super small. It's short for... Warp Emitting Nanoscopic Energizer. Mm. Hmm. Maybe you were all brainwashed too. No, we're fine. Well, I don't blame you if you don't believe us. Forget that! What are we going to do now? There was a lifeboat on the main deck. We could use it to escape from the ship. I'm sorry, but that's not going to happen. He's here! The long-haired creep! What are you going to do with us? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to sacrifice you to the Great Mike. And I'm pleased that there are more of you now. The Great Mike likes it when there are more sacrifices. You son of a... Hey, now! I wouldn't move if I were you. This is a scatter type laser gun. So one pull on the trigger, and you and all your pals are goners. 
Let's start off with you handing over that little device of yours. You mean the weenie fire? <coughs> no, Nyoro! I love that weenie fire! The weenie fire is our treasure. If we lose the weenie fire, we're... Let's protect the weenie fire! Gather around the weenie fire and hug it! Ugh, could you stop saying that name so much? It just doesn't sound right. I'm going to give you to the count of three. And on zero, I will pull the trigger. So you'd better just hand over the device before then, all right? Here we go. Three. Two. One. Long-haired creep is out cold. The impact must have made him fall and hit his head. Hi. What was that just now? What was what? You emitted some kind of force field thing. Oh, that. Uh, what was it anyway? It must be the same as us. Just like me turning into iron. And Rachel's super throwing power. It happened to me too. It was strange that I was able to invent the weenie fire like I did. If it's happening to so many of us, there has to be something going on. We can think about it later. Let's get onto the deck while the long haired creep is still passed out. Yeah, let's go. Rachel? What's wrong? N3A? V3H? And there's also an X mark. I wonder what it is. to tilt to the side! Maybe the impact just now made a hole in the bottom of the ship! Let's hurry, Rachel!
captured by that. That? Yellow Loon! Long time no see! It's me again! What? How? I've been waiting for this moment. Hi, I'm here for my revenge! Revenge? You better not tell me you forgot! Hi, you know what you did back in the amusement park! Aren't you talking differently than before? <laughs> Shut up! It's been so long since I appeared that I forgot my character setting! Hey, Nyoro, can't you use the weenie fire? Oh, that. Oh, that. Right, right. You're talking about this, right? Aw, too bad. I confiscated it. Oops! Why, you nasty! <laughs> Ruffle? This is an actual Ruffle moment! <laughs> I got your Ruffle right here! Oh, don't get so angry! Anyway. Now you guys literally can't make a move! And the rest is up to Rachel and Pi's special powers. Can you come here and save everyone? pia la la, -la! Let's go, Rachel! We have to save everyone! Much harder, eh? Can you really save everyone? Before this ship sinks! The ship is sinking? <laughs> OMG, Mojan! You're slow as always! Isn't it obvious to see from the situation? But how? Because I bashed into the ship and poked a hole in it! So that bang earlier. Yes, that's when I crashed into the ship from the water. Give me a break. A little thing like you couldn't... Oh, yes, I can. And I did. Because my body is able to transform like so.
You won't get away with this! There's a face on the stomach! Is that its weak point? Sorry. I'm too tired to move. Rachel, I'm counting on you! What's that? Right. Genu and Mochan for saving us back in Oita. Now that you mention it, aren't we missing somebody? Right. Where could she have gone? Huh? What are you saying? There's eleven of us, including Yuki. That's everyone in the Go-Getters Club. Oh. Oh. Let's go! To the lifeboat! Ah! I'm sorry, but it slides out for her. You long-haired creep! An adult hitting a girl with a gun? You're going to be sorry for that. Hi. 
Are you all right? Oh. Oh. What? What do you want? The ship is about to sink. Yes, I know. That's why I'm going to get on the boat with you all. I can't lose my precious sacrifices now. Now that you understand, hurry and get on the boat. Uh. Hey, stop fidgeting around. Hurry! <sighs> Looks like Pi's ability isn't an option now. So, if we get on the boat, we're... Yep, no choice. Let's go for it. Nothing else to do. Everybody! We've gotta dive! Into the ocean! Huh? Huh? Whoa, wait a minute! You little brats! like Rachel is coming around. Are you okay, Rachel? Somehow, we all made it. Huh? What's wrong, Rachel? Well, of course you're surprised. It's a miracle we were able to make it to the beach. beach near Kobe's port. I saw a sign just over that way. Hmm? Pai, Rachel, I just gotta say it again. Thank you. There's no need to thank us. It was you guys who came to help us when we were locked up in the ship's hold. We're the ones who are thankful. Thanks, Aniki. Thanks, everyone! Nah, um... I... Be down soon. Let's camp here for the night. Hooray! It's time for dinner! I'm starving! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's so funny? <laughs>
What do we do? That's four against four. Yuki, what's your vote? Well, obviously, Osaka. Don't decide for her, poop face. Who you calling poop face, pee face? Enough, you two. Stop it. I, er, I, um, I'll choose whatever Mr. Rachel chooses. Huh? So the whole vote depends on Rachel's decision, huh? No matter what Pochi decides on, Rachel's two points will tip it over. Hey, Rachel, what are you gonna pick? Yeah, who are you going to side with? So that's what you're going for, after all? <laughs> then do whatever you want. The four of us are going to Kyoto. Sorry, but we split up here. What? Wait a minute! I didn't mean for that to happen! The road is so long, the nights are so cold But our friends have been there from the start Even if the world comes to an end Go, 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 getters will never fall apart. I guess Vanilla really liked this song. You guys may not have heard her, but she sings it all the time. <gasps> oh. I think. That's what Vanilla wanted. So? <laughs> Fine. You guys are right. I almost forgot. I was really sorry about the way we split between Oita and Fukuoka. Yeah, I felt the same when we were at that religious facility. It would be stupid to make the same mistake again. Fine. I'll go. I'll go. Okay. It's set then! We all go to Osaka together! Go Getters Club! Hey! Hey! hey oh! sure she'd be in Osaka. We can't find Vanilla anywhere. As a matter of fact, we can't find anyone at all. <sighs> all this searching was just a waste of time. You tired at all, Yuki? You can rest over there if you want. Oh, yes, thank you. But I'm fine. Yeah, that's good. But you let me know if you feel tired, okay? Crap, this blows. It really was a waste of time. Huh? It was a waste? You don't get off that easily! If we'd gone to Kyoto, we would have found other people. And we might have got vital information, too. But thanks to you, Kansai, we blew that chance. Hey, hang on! It's not just all on me! Jenu, Pai, and Mochan! You all agreed to come to Osaka, too! Oh, there you go again, pinning it on other people! Some leader you are! Ah, uh, shut it! You keep quiet and do what I say, will ya? We did, and this is where we ended up! Just take some responsibility! Why is it my responsibility? <laughs> You're kidding, right? You seriously aren't meant to be a leader. What, what did you say? 
Okay, let me be clear. I'm sick and tired of you pushing us all around. You're always the one starting fights between us two. Thanks to your dumb ideas, we've jumped from the frying pan into the fire. I'm sick of you and I'm sick of your crappy leadership. Miss Ch Chuko, Th that's going too far. Stay out of this, you. <laughs> Fine then. If you can't follow the leader's orders, Chuko, you can't be in the Go-Getters Club. You're banished. What? You can't. Come on, that's not right. Shut up. I made up my mind. No matter what anyone says, I'm kicking Chuko out. That's fine. Nothing would make me happier. Your stupid face. I never want to see it again. <gasps> What's the matter, Truco? Are you okay? She's got a high fever. I think it's an infection. Remember how Chuko was bitten by a rat in Kobe? Do you think that's the cause? If so, she may have rat bite disease. She needs antibiotics or she could die. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> Kansai, where are you going? Where do you think you're going? Where'd you think? I'm going to look for antibiotics! Oh, so that's what you're doing, huh? What's the deal? You got a problem with that? No problem at all. It's just about the most Kansai thing I can think of. Whatever. Let's just go. I think there was a pharmacy over there. Long time no sea breeze. It's me, Yellow Pea. Uh? Whoa, not you again. You're as stubborn as a bill collector. How rude! I'm not as evil as a bill collector! So what did you come here for? Are you trying to pick me up? No! I heard Ebisu Bridge is a good place for pickups. That's not what I want, I said! Then what? <laughs> Don't be surprised, okay? I've come to finish you three! No, not just you three. All of the Go-Getters Club! But, to be honest, dealing with all of you at the same time is a hassle. So I was waiting for you all to split up again. <laughs> Don't sleep! Now that's enough talk. D Don't tell me you're going to Ebisu Bridge? I'm not! I'm going to transform like I did before! It's serious. Rachel, attack first! Throw that giant takoyaki and take it out! Go-Getters Club. 
You're always acting tough, but inside you're quivering like jello. The weak dog always yaps the loudest, right? Oh, but maybe you're a fox. Acting tough because there's tigers around to protect you. But don't worry. Even if you sell your friends out, no one will blame you. Because there won't be anyone left to talk about what you did. <laughs> now, hurry up and go! Go bring the others here! To be a true leader, you gotta think about how your teammates feel. No matter what happens, you protect your own. That's what a true leader does. You may be right. I may be a wuss and a coward. And maybe I'll never even be half the man Neon is. Ah, it seems like you get it now. Good. Now let's... But even if that's true... Even if I do give up on being a leader, I will never, ever... Give up! Throw that takoyaki over here! Just hurry up and do it! Now eat this! <laughs> Thanks, Kansai! You saved us! It looks like you've awakened too, Kansai! Awakened? Learn how to use your hidden powers. Oh, you mean that swing just now? Touch in here. Touch in here. Rachel, Kansai, Nyoro, can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. Oh, good. You guys disappeared. We got worried. How's Chugo doing? She's in pretty rough shape right now. But Jenu is taking care of her, so I think she'll be all right for a while. What about the others? They're out looking for antibiotics. How about you guys? Same. We're heading to the pharmacy now. Got it. Then we'll head to the nearby hospital. Got it. The pharmacy is over that way, right? Yeah, I spotted it when I was looking for vanilla. Got it. Let's head over there. Nyoro, how are you holding up? Huh? Well, I thought you got hurt when Pielope captured us before. Huh? Are you worried about me? Well... <sighs> what the hell? We can't get through! That silver ball! Can't you hit it with your bat? Hitting balls with my bat, huh? Ouch! Wouldn't be the first time. Okay, I'll try!
We're done for. Watch the ball carefully. You're good with balls, right? Y yeah! Leave it to me. And Yoro, stop saying that so much. with that Pielope is. It seems to really hate us, but... The fake game we played. Was Pielope mad that it didn't go according to plan? Hmm. I wonder. But it wasn't Pielope that forced us to play that... Right. Pi did say something like, the mastermind is among us. So does that mean Pielope was being controlled by the mastermind then? Then maybe the Pielope earlier was also... <sighs> No point thinking about it. We need to focus on finding the antibiotics. Right. What's this? Some kind of school kid flashing a peace sign at us? That's not the peace sign, dummy. It's just a crab. Oh, yeah, but that's not any normal old crab. Anyway, let me send it flying with my bat! Well done. Let's hurry in and get some antibiotics. I'll pay you back for what you did earlier. Jeez Louise, doesn't this thing ever learn? You're as stubborn as a door-to-door -door insurance salesman. Enough with the obscure analogies! What did you come here for now? Are you here to find the colonel statue that got sunk in Dotonbori? No! Then what are you here for? You don't need to ask. I'll come to drown you all in Okonomiyaki batter. And mix you up. Squishy, squashy. Squishy, squashy. Spooshy, splashy onto a sizzling grit. Dang. It's a good thing we did ask. Did it just use the word splooshy? Shut your mouths! Here goes! But we didn't bring a wetsuit and goggles. You're not going to look for the colonel! <laughs> Fine. You want to fight us, huh? I wish you'd understood after the first two lines.
swear, I'll whip you into a special PLB dressing! <laughs> Shuko, how are you feeling? 100% better, actually. Thanks to you guys finding the antibiotics. Nyoro, Rachel, from the bottom of my heart, thanks. And of course, of course, um, you too, Kansai. For you, my special thanks. I'm sorry for all the things I said earlier. It's all good, Chuko. You don't need to apologize. I'm the one that needs to apologize. I'm really sorry. So the whole banished thing is forgotten? Of course. I take it back. I mean, I never had the authority to do that anyway. Juka was right about it all. Because of my selfishness, I caused trouble for everybody. I really feel bad about it. I'm sorry, guys. We don't mind at all. I mean, that's what makes you, you, Kansai. Yeah, I take back what I said earlier. And after all that's happened, we all want you as our leader, Kansai. No way. Absolutely not. If I stay in this position any longer, I'll wind up getting everybody killed. And so, Rachel? Will you take this badge from me? Huh? That's the leader badge. Are you sure you want to give it to Mr. Rachel? I'm not worthy of this badge right now. I realized it's too soon for me to wear it. But that doesn't mean I've given up. I'm gonna work real hard and one day come back for the badge. When everyone really thinks I'm fit to be a true leader. But until then, Rachel, I want you to keep this. <clears throat> Thanks, Rachel. From this moment, you're the leader of the Go-Getters Club. Take care of everyone. away my badge I feel like a burden's been lifted I'm not the leader anymore so I can be as selfish as I want oh that's not good at all keep saying stuff like that and you'll never get that badge back what how about I get it back in three days put a sock in it Kansai <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kansai? Hey! What about Kansai? Perfect timing. Miss Chuko, I want you to hear this too. I noticed something. Once I did, I couldn't stop thinking about it. Like what? Mr. Kansai's bad.
You know how it's just there all of a sudden? It's fascinating! Almost magical! It's one of the seven wonders of the world! Is it in the fourth dimension? Or ectoplasmic or something? What's the trick? It's driving me insane! Huh? Ugh. Why don't you just ask him yourself? <laughs> it's a secret. Oh, come on! Tell me! A magician never shows how his tricks are done, right? Same deal. Oh, right. Oh, well. That reason makes no sense. How can they just fall for that? Rachel, I shouldn't even wonder. It just is what it is, huh? I wonder where Vanilla went. She said she had business in Osaka. What kind of business could it have been? There's no one around. I've got no idea what Vanilla was thinking. Now that I think about it, I only talk to Vanilla about casual things. Maybe I treat her like that, because I think you gotta be careful with ghosts. And well, it's our fault that Vanilla died. What does Pielope want, anyway? Like, what does it want to accomplish? It mentioned it wanted revenge for the fate game. But I still don't understand the purpose of the game anyway. According to Pi, it was one of us that started the game. So maybe they're working with Pielope too. No, that can't be. There's no way. But I feel like someone is controlling it somehow. I don't know who it is, but I'm sure it has to do with why this town ended up like this. Let me get this straight. Rachel and the rest of you, you saw Vanilla's ghost, right? I see. Hmm. Yeah, well, I still can't believe it. If you think logically, ghosts just can't exist. Yeah, if everyone became a ghost after they died, the whole place would be swimming with them. It's just hard to believe in ghosts at this age. And even if they did perhaps exist, we can't touch them or see them, so there's no reason to think that they exist. But with that logic, you can't prove they don't exist either. Can't prove a negative, huh? Okay, let's put it this way. It's extremely unlikely they exist. But Rachel, you guys saw Vanilla's ghost, right? Hey, you believe them, Tatsun? Well, to be honest, I half believe it, half don't. Even in Electro Rangers, they left it kind of ambiguous as to whether ghosts exist. I bet you anything they were just hallucinating. Because they miss Vanilla so much. So are you saying you don't miss her then, Chuko? <sighs> I mean, if I could see her again, I'd love to. But, well, I feel that way too. But... Of course. We all feel the same way. Vanilla was our friend, after all. But that's different from whether we believe in ghosts or not. I can't lie to myself and say that I believe. Well, I haven't seen her, so I can't just believe it that easy either. You want to know about that leader badge? I actually got no idea what it was originally for. All I know is Neon loved the thing. A badge that only a true leader can wear. That's all he told me. But I always felt weirdly connected to that badge. Here, take a close look. You see the G etched on it? It's G for Go-Getters Club. It may be a coincidence. Well, it probably is, but I still feel like the badge K 
came to the Go-Getters Club as a symbol to sort of unify us. And Rachel, you're the one who's holding it now. So as the badge holder, I want you to lead the Go-Getters Club. But I ain't gonna lie, I was hoping Neon would say that to me. Man, I'm so friggin' jealous. We're all counting on you, Rachel. Don't overdo it, you say? Don't worry. I drank this so my HP is fully restored! It's the perfect energy drink, Lifeguard! It's a carbonated energy drink made with seven vitamins, seven amino acids, honey, and royal jelly. It's Fizzalicious! A scrumptious bionic drink to refresh your mind and body! Boy, this stinks. Here I am in Osaka and I can't even sample all the delectable dishes. No stores are open and most of the food is spoiled. All we could eat was that Kansai flavored cup udon. I'm sad about vanilla, but the food thing is killing me too. Where did it all go? All that takoyaki, kushikatsu, okonomiyaki, mixed fruit juice, pork buns, barbecued squid, blowfish, kitsune udon, rice omelets. What? You didn't know? Kitsune udon and rice omelets are both from Osaka. Well, I heard varying opinions about the rice omelets, but... Knowing I can't eat... It makes everything even worse! Wow. Okay, I've made up my mind. After we get back to Tokyo, I'm coming right back to Osaka! And when I do, I'm going to eat until I pass out! I'll be back! Maybe coming to Osaka was a mistake. I push for Osaka too, so I feel guilty. But to be honest, I'm kind of relieved we didn't go to Kyoto. Besides, I picked Osaka for one more reason. I think I told you before how I lost my sister. Kyoto was where my sister died. When I remember her, I just get so sad. Like my heart is being torn apart. When I'm with you guys, I can usually take my mind off it, but if I'd gone to Kyoto, I just know it would have all come crumbling down on me. And it would have just been too much for me. Sorry, everyone. If we'd gone to Kyoto, we might have run into other people. Why'd you have to do it in front of me? We had sweet potatoes for dinner. I guess I ate too many. <laughs> like, sorry. Don't sorry me. It's rude to do that in front of a lady. Hey, I already apologized. What do you want? It doesn't change the fact that it stinks, fart man. Well, you fart too, don't you? Fart lady. L ladies don't do that. You're disgusting. Some lady you are. You talk! Act more ladylike or you'll never snag a boyfriend! Sh shut up! I don't need your stupid advice, Kansai! Besides, who needs a boyfriend anyway? Huh? What are you staring at? Do I have nose hair sticking out or something? Y yeah, and it's super gross! Nose hair, man! You guys really are best buddies, aren't you? I was worried because you had that big fight in the afternoon. But now you're back to your usual bickering. Just saying whatever you feel to each other. 
I wish I could do the same. If it was gonna end up like this, I wish we'd gone to Kyoto. Have you forgotten? The flyer Chuko found in Kobe. <sighs> if we'd gone to Kyoto, we may have found other people. At least it would have been better than this place. This place is a total bust. <laughs> what a waste of time. But we can't go to Kyoto now either. We gotta get to Tokyo as soon as possible. Man, was I stupid for even hoping. <sighs> nothing. Just get lost. Are you talking about Vanilla? Yeah. Don't worry about it. It's not your fault we couldn't find Vanilla. Knowing her, she'll come strolling back sooner or later. Hey, you trying to mess with me or something? Mess with you? We're not messing with anyone. Then what the hell is your problem? Ghosts don't exist! But you're still spouting all that BS! You're all just a bunch of brats who like messing with people's feelings! Aniki! Why are you saying such nasty things? You and I used to be so close! <sighs> yeah? Well, that person you knew then is dead. Everything changed. When I lost Vanilla that summer, since then, nobody's getting close to me. Hey! Like, what's the deal here? What's wrong? We're at a barbecue, but there's no marshmallows! Unacceptable! This is so serious, it could mean the end of the Go-Getters Club! Holy overreaction! It is not an overreaction! A barbecue is all about Toast Mellows! No Toast Mellows, no barbecue! So, Toast Mellows is short for Toasted Marshmallows now? A barbecue without Toast Mellows is like a pizza without pineapples! I think pizza is fine without pineapples. Ugh. Pineapples on pizza is a crime against humanity. <sighs> hey! There's a supermarket about ten minutes from here, right? So go get them then. Why do I have to go? You're the one that wants marshmallows, so you go. Besides, I'm older than you. Age shouldn't matter! We're in the same age group! Oh yeah, right! That's why you're in the same grade, huh? Aniki was born April 1983, and Vanilla was born March 1984. Yeah, but it's August now. So for right now, Vanilla is younger. <sighs> Whatever! Fine! I'll never ask you for another favor! Hey! Anyone want to go to the supermarket with me? Mmm! This meat is so yummy! Yeah, it's premium aged beef. Hey! Someone took the slice of meat I was saving! Come on, Mojan. You need to eat some more veggies anyway. Uh, yeah, okay. Whatever, guys. Forget you all. I'm going to go!
The next day, we all got called to school, even though it was summer vacation, and our teacher broke the news to us. I'm sorry to tell you all this, but I'm afraid you won't ever see Vanilla again. Vanilla has gone to heaven. I killed her. I killed Vanilla. That's not true! It's not your fault, Aniki! If it's anyone's fault, it's the fault of all of us that were there that day. <sighs> she was always by my side. Ever since we were kids. From morning till night. All day long. If Vanilla does exist as a ghost, then why can't I see her? There's nobody that cared about her more than I did. So then why... <sighs> same goes for me, too. I feel the same about Vanilla as you. Same here. And me, too. Not a single day goes by when I don't think about Vanilla. It's the same for all of us. We all want to see Vanilla so bad it makes our chests ache. Pochi, Pai, Rachel, you guys saw Vanilla, right? How was she? How was she? I don't know what to say. She was the same as always. Happy and innocent. For the whole trip? Yeah. She's the same vanilla she's always been. Ever since we woke up at the undersea theme park in Kagoshima. You see, I was the first one out of my pod. So no one was around at the time. I felt so lonely. And vanilla? She called out to me. Oh. I'm being a pain. But tell me one more time, why would Vanilla make us play a fate game? I told you so many times already. I don't know the details. Pi was the first one to wake up and come out of her pod. And you talked to Vanilla then, right? Well, yeah, it was only for a few minutes, though. Listen! I need everyone to play the game of fate. Everything's all ready, so we just need the others to come out of their pods. There's not much time, so I'll keep this short. Anyway, this is the only way we can remove everybody's brainwashing. I'm sure we were all brainwashed at that time. And to fix that, we needed to be exposed to a life or death situation. I guess Vanilla knew that. But 
why would Vanilla tell Pi that? hurt each other so in a way this is like a prank but someone could get really hurt you know what I'm saying and that would be like super super bad right so Pi you were the safety mechanism in case something unexpected happened yeah you know how Vanilla is a ghost, right? So I guess she needed someone with a physical body to help her. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. A ghost, huh? As a daughter of a scientist, it's hard for me to accept it. But hearing all this... So then you believe that Miss Vanilla exists? Yeah. I do too. Wow. Vanilla was really with us, huh? Pochi, Rachel, did you guys know about this? Of course we didn't know. And Vanilla said nothing during the trip? Nope. Nothing. I wonder why Vanilla didn't tell us the truth. I also wonder how Vanilla knew about the brainwashing and how to lift it. Do you know how? Miss Pie? Beats me. We're going to have to ask Vanilla in person. Hmm. Anyway, here we are at the Great Buddha Statue. Whoa, it's so big. It's almost as big as my mom. Come on, dude. That's not possible. We're in Nara City, in Nara Prefecture, home of the Great Buddha Statue. Naturally, our final goal is Tokyo. And to get there, we have to go through Nagoya. But Nara was also on the way, right? And since we're here, we might as well offer up our prayers, right? To the Great Buddha in the temple. Okay, guys. So how about we go offer up our prayers? All right, let's do it! Why would I? I don't believe in God or gods. Anyway, let's go. Let's head to Nagoya.
trouble. The train technology are in bad shape, so the brakes are about to give out. Be either. Uh, everyone, look over there. Aniki. 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 Wake up. <sighs> oh. Pie and everyone else. Sorry, I was late. That train's brakes were broken, so it took a long time to slow down. Who cares about that? The important thing is, is Aniki okay? Damn, bro! That was reckless! Seriously! Don't scare us like that! <laughs> Aniki! Maybe that's my secret power. When I thought I had to protect everyone, something just welled up from deep in me. Rachel, did you feel the same thing? Thanks, Aniki. It's because of you that we're all still around to smile like this. You should thank Tatsun first. When I saw him go rushing into the fight, I couldn't just stand there. Then it's thanks to Tatsun, and you too, Aniki! You both were amazing! Yeah, Tatsun was something, but your powers were off the hook too, Aniki! Everyone's getting all these insane powers one after another. We're kind of like superheroes! No, I think it's a bit different. Superheroes can usually fight on their own. Our powers aren't like that. They only work when we try to help each other. Come to think of it, Pielope mentioned something. It said something like, I'm going to punish the traitor. Traitor? I wonder what that means. <sighs> Rachel, let's not worry about that for now. For now, Pielope and Mike's goal is to capture us and brainwash us again. You want to know more about Hyper Amygdaclear? Let me tell you about what happens when you eat it. 
hyper amygdaclear is the potent version of amygdaclear. Amygdaclear repairs the memory area of the brain to cure the brainwashing. But, but, hyper amygdaclear can cure an even more powerful brainwashing. You see, humans naturally have the ability to see objects in the spirit realm. Huh? I don't get it. You know how babies stare into space sometimes? That's what's going on. Cats do that too, right? But for humans, as we grow older, we lose the ability. That's because, as we grow older, we brainwash ourselves into thinking ghosts don't exist. And that's why the others can't see ghosts. The reason you see ghosts is because you're probably hard to brainwash. So, hyper amygdaclear makes the brain go back to its natural condition. More accurately, it's not making you see what you can't see. It makes you see things that you were naturally able to see. I really hope we can find the hyper amygdaclear. I wanted to ask you something, Vanilla. What? Did you make me lose my memories in the undersea theme park? No, that was a coincidence. I didn't think that would happen. I was going to explain everything later. But I just couldn't say it because something was bothering me. <sighs> Sorry. I'm still debating whether to tell you guys or not. My powers have a major weak point. I can't blow fire without Karamucho potato chips. In the snow mountains of Yamaguchi, I learned how to blow flames. I told you that in the train, right? In other words, I have awakened powers too. But that power can't be used unless I eat Karamucho. Anyway, I need to get some Karamucho. Rachel, I don't want you to tell Chuko, but I'm the one who ate her Karamucho. What? Ah! Chuko! I heard that. So, it was you, Mochan. I... I'm so sorry. I got really hungry. Then why did you just leave the empty bag? I thought you could at least enjoy the aroma. What the... How did you come up with that? You better not do it again, ever. I'm really sorry. Next time, I promise I'll throw the bag away after I eat them. Huh? I was just remembering some old times. It was after I died. When we were barbecuing that day, I got hit by a truck and was killed. And when I woke up, I was standing alone in my room. I was kind of in a haze, and I just kept going to school. Thinking back, I guess I couldn't accept that I was dead. In the beginning, my head felt so foggy. It was like I was inside a living dream. At school, I saw my brother, Nuro, Chuko, everyone. I was happy just being with you all. But eventually, my mind started to clear up. It was still a long time before I truly realized that I was dead. I was right there next to you all, but no one could see me. No matter how much I screamed or cried, no one could hear me. I felt so lonely. It hurt. And that's when Pai and Pochi noticed me. And they treated me just like the way they always did. I was so so happy. I realized how important friends are, and I cried and cried and cried. Later, 
I realized that after you transferred to our school, Rachel, you could also see me. The reason I'm still here is all thanks to you three. If you guys weren't there, I would have gone nuts a long time ago. Thank you so much for noticing me. Me during the Game of Faith? No, I wasn't brainwashed then. I mean, I am a ghost after all. The ones who weren't brainwashed back then were me, Pochi, and you, Rachel. Pi should have been brainwashed. I wonder if the reason Pi wasn't so evil was because she thought it was a prank all to the end. I think my brother's brainwashing was the deepest and worst. I think the brainwashing depends on your emotional health. I think it also pulled out the abilities that were sleeping in you. You know how my brother seemed kind of smart then? Usually, he absolutely stinks at his studies. But he can do it if he puts his mind to it. Why did I want to go to Osaka? Well, I found out when I was investigating about the amusement park. But in Osaka, there are people who built a community without Mike noticing. And I found out that there's a person there who can talk to ghosts. I figured if I talked to them, a lot of things would be answered. So after I left you guys, I went to Osaka alone. It was so hard finding them. But finally, I managed to do it. They're a resistance group fighting against Mike's reign. And they want to stop Mike, so they're researching how to take him down. They're really knowledgeable about Mike. All the information I gave you guys about Mike this afternoon, I heard from them. Oh, when I was investigating the amusement park, there was one place I couldn't get in, even as a ghost. Where was it? His transformation sure was shocking. I know! That goody two-shoes Tatsun! You never know with people. Uh, was it that weird? Nah, we mean you were super cool! Yeah, you were heroic. But it was rude the way you called me ugly! But I do always talk lots of smack too, so I guess we're even. You guys? Sparks were really flying! I mean, with all that electricity! Where did that confidence come from? I don't know. But when I thought I had to do something, I just naturally... We're still alive today, because of Tatsune and Aniki's awakened powers. Yeah, everyone appreciates you two. Electro Ranger Black! You are a true hero! Mike is an AI who stole mankind's emotions. That's what turned the world into what it is. Mike was the one who abducted us and put us into that undersea theme park. There's the same from Hosekizuka, a theater I love and respect. The biggest sin in this world is to take advantage of human emotions. I will never forgive Mike. Hielope was a robot. That's what Vanilla said, right? Yeah. I don't know why I answered. Yoro can't hear me. Vanilla was the one who made the Pelope we saw during the Game of Fate. But the others must have been made by Mike. Yes, exactly. Your programming skills are amazing, Vanilla. 
always knew you had the talent, but... Aw, shucks. Maybe your abilities got better after turning into a ghost. Come to think of it, you may be right. You worked so hard for all of us, even after you died. <sighs> Sorry for putting you through so much, Vanilla. Thanks, Nero. About the diesel locomotive? I fixed the hydraulics, so the brakes work now. You're amazing, Pochi. Thanks to my dad's influence, I learned a little general engineering, but... Your mechanical skill and knowledge is the real deal. You did the main fixing of the locomotive. Everyone thinks you're just some game freak, but... I'm telling you, you're a genius with machines. I'm sure you'll be a brilliant engineer someday. No, it's not that big of a deal. I just happen to know a few things. Wait, I don't see vanilla. She said, I'm going on a walk. And then she went in that direction. A walk? I see. Aniki, is it really okay? Is what okay? You were holding your left leg earlier. It's injured, isn't it? Don't worry. It's nothing. Aniki? Why are you so reckless? Well, you know how Tatsun gave it his all to protect us? When I saw that, I started to feel ashamed. I didn't mean to... No, that's not it. You see, back there, I heard Vanilla. That's when I finally saw the truth. That you guys were right from the beginning. And that means, up until now, I've been a real jerk, huh? I took it all out on you guys for no good reason. And so, I couldn't forgive myself. <sighs> I'm sorry about everything I did. It's okay. Yeah, as long as you're all right now. I don't know what my problem was. After Vanilla died, I felt like I lost half of me. Hey, can we lose this stupid strawberry-covered blanket? What's wrong with it? Anyway, no one else is around. Yeah, but... You're getting a free haircut, so stop complaining. <sighs> Gosh, big bro, you'd really be lost without me. I'm always waking you up in the morning so you don't oversleep. Picking up your dirty clothes and throwing them in the wash. Sharpening your pencils, tying your shoes, cooling off hot ramen. It never ends. I get it. Jeez. No, you don't get it at all. What would you ever do if you lost me? Hmm. Huh? Things have to change. You have to learn to do things on your own, or... Come on, it was just a joke! A joke! Don't worry, okay? I'll always be by your side to help you out. Until the day you get a nice wife, that is.
And then one day, she was gone. Just like that. All because of me. All because of me. Hey, Yuki. If I eat a hyper clear, I can see vanilla, right? Oh, er, yes. It grows in the western area of Tokyo, right? Yes, but... So you're down to look for it, Aniki? You bet I am. There's something I just have to tell her. I want to see her again. And tell it to her directly. Nyoro, Pochi, how's the train coming along? We're done. Now that the brakes are working, I think we can get to Nagoya at least. To Nagoya? I don't think we have enough fuel to get to Tokyo. So we need to refuel in Nagoya. Oh, well, whatever. We were always going to stop in Nagoya anyway. Now then, we need to get a good night's rest. I'm not tired one bit. So we can take off right now. Why don't you guys sleep while I drive? Are you sure? Yeah. Leave it to me. All right then. Once everyone's ready, let's meet at the train. Then Rachel and I will go look for vanilla. Yeah, thanks. Vanilla? We're going to take off soon. Oh, okay. What's the matter? Oh, just thinking about some stuff. Oh? You know how Pielope was saying I'm going to punish the traitor? I was trying to figure out what it meant by that. Huh? The thing is, there's some stuff I've been thinking about from way earlier. And that's why I couldn't tell you guys the whole truth. Because if Mike learns about it, that'd be bad too, right? Uh... Um... I don't get it. What do you mean? Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Sure. Promise? I promise. You see, maybe, just maybe, it might be one of us in the Go-Getters Club. What? What might be? <sighs> Mike's conspirator. Uh... What? was such a bustling city, even though it's so close. How the hell is this place the exact opposite? Kansai, look! Shirakawa Hiromi. Who the hell is that? How do you get Hiromi out of that? Oh, well, that's what my mom called it back in the day. This is Shirakawago, a village in the northwest of Gifu. It's a tourist spot known for its scenic beauty and for its village of Gasho-style houses. Oh, wow. I see. It's so heartwarming. This is no time to get caught up in beautiful scenery. Seriously. I thought we were heading to Nagoya on that train. Pochi, what's going on? Well, I don't know either. What? I mean, I was sure the train rails led to Nagoya. But before I knew it... Before you knew it? Come on now! It's not my fault. I couldn't use the compass and it was night, so there was no sun. That's why you couldn't tell the direction. Yeah. But, hang on a minute. 
This is Northwestern Gifu Prefecture, right? Yeah. Clear grows in the western part of Tokyo and one more place. Northwest Gifu! Oh, yeah. You're right. Then that means... We might find some Hyper Clear here! Oh, thank you so much, Pochi. That's why you brought us here. Uh, that wasn't my plan. Hey, Pochi! Is Vanilla saying something? Yeah. She seems super touched, so she's crying. <sighs> I guess Vanilla feels the same as me. <sighs> Let's split up and look for the Hyper Amygdaclear. Oh, but before that, I'm going to tell you once more. When the wind blows, Hyper Amygdaclear makes a distinct sound. Ba -da 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 -dee -da -dee -da -da. The angel's voice, right? Yes. So if you hear it, it means the hyper amygdaclear is nearby. Got it. All right, then. Let's start looking. Got it. Aniki, you okay? Huh? About what? Well, I just want you to know, I've noticed. You've been limping on your left leg since we got off the train. Your injury from yesterday is still hurting, huh? Shut up, I'm fine. See? I knew it. Hyper Amygdaclear grows in the mountains. You can't climb with that leg like that. <sighs> so, please, let us look for the Hyper Amygdaclear while you rest, okay? Rest? Did you say rest? No way in hell! I might be able to see Vanilla soon! I'll always be by your side to help you out. Until the day you get a nice wife, that is. I have to see Vanilla. And I have to apologize to her. So please, just leave me alone. I can't do that! I worry about you, Aniki! Uh... Why? Because... You're... Here, you can have this. Huh? But isn't this your textbook? Yeah, but I don't need it. It's not like I ever use it anyway. But... Just take it. Uh... Man, that was really nasty what they did. Coming into the classroom to steal your textbook? They sure got lots of free time. right out of the blue you won't believe me but I can see things normal people can't see ghosts right oh. oh so you knew yeah the whole school's talking about it but some people don't believe me they call me a liar and a fake it hurts I don't know how many times I've had to rebuy my gym clothes and school shoes. It was to the point I was just going to go into class barefoot. Ugh. I think it's friggin' awesome. What? You can see things others can't. That's pretty cool. So, you believe me? Of course. You're a member of the Go-Getters Club, and besides... You don't look like someone who'd lie. Uh, anyway, I don't think they'll do anything to you anymore. Why not? Don't worry about it.
And then, someone told me a little while later. They said you went and beat up all the guys that were bullying me. That's why you're my hero, Aniki! How can I just ignore your pain? Ugh, fine. But even so, I can't just sit around. I'm going with you to look for the Hyper of Migdaclear. You okay with that? As long as you promise me you won't overdo it. Sure, no prob. Let's go. It's a cute ostrich. What about it is cute? And it's not even an ostrich. It looks like it's going to attack us. Maybe we better turn around. Nah, leave it to me. I'll take care of it. about it. It's the angel's voice. Okay, I got this. Is this a cave? It looks pretty deep. So there's hyper clear somewhere in there. Wait, isn't it dangerous in the cave? It'll be all right. You saw my powers, didn't you? I can handle whatever comes my way now. Don't do anything too crazy, Aniki. Okay? Don't worry. Anyway, let's go. It's dark. And it's getting a bit chilly. The air feels cold. Dark and cold? That reminds me of someone. Huh. You talking about yourself? Huh? I'm talking about Nyoro. Uh... Hey, Aniki. Is your leg all right? No problem. Looks like it healed without me noticing. Uh, maybe you don't notice because you're all excited? That's even better then. But you may make it worse. Yeah, so what? If we get the Hyper Omega clear, I'll be able to see Vanilla. I wouldn't mind losing a leg for that. Aniki?
Hey, what the hell? Some kind of ruins? Oh, yeah! I heard rumors there was an ancient civilization around this area. It was called the Asta Civilization, and it was very rich. It's the angel's voice. It's louder than before. Hey! Are you even listening? Yeah, you said something about ostrich civilization. Not ostrich! Asta! So we need to solve this to move on, huh? Rachel, you take care of this. Oh, yeah. You don't like using your head, huh, Aniki? Hey, it's not like that. If I solve it too quick, it may anger the ancient gods, right? Give me a break, please. Anyways, Rachel, it's all yours. Well, I knew how to solve it from the get-go. It's that sound again. It's even closer now. Yeah! Let's go! Hmm. Mm-hmm.
Angel's voice, right? The sound that the hyper amygda clear makes? Well, it sure sounds pretty deep for that. Maybe it's a male mushroom? But mushrooms don't have genders! Then what was that sound? What is that thing? C could that be King of the Asta? It doesn't even look like an ostrich. Nobody said anything about ostriches! Whatever. Bring it on. My power can make quick work of that thing. And the door over there. And please lay off the ostrich stuff for now. Whatever. The hyper amygda clear is right there. Nothing's stopping me now. Any key? Maybe.
there. Right there. Yes! We finally found it! That's definitely Hyper Evicta Clear! All right, let's climb. Wait! The foundation here seems fragile. The rocks up above might... Quiet! The Hyper Omega Clear is right there. I'm one step away from seeing Vanilla. But... It's okay. You guys wait there. I'll go get it myself. Yes! I finally got it! If I eat this, I can see Vanilla. saved me earlier, right? You don't have to thank me. I did it for myself. For yourself? Yeah. I didn't want to lose you the way I feel about you. I think that I'm... The angel's voice. It sounds... so beautiful. Uh, ah, I really hate you, Aniki! Drink this. Ta da! This is the one and only super life drink, Lifeguard! It's a carbonated energy drink made with seven vitamins, seven amino acids, honey, and royal jelly! A scrumptious bionic drink to refresh your mind and body! Uh, 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 I don't really get it, but we just have to drink that, right? Yeah, 
That'll help with your suffering. Trust me. Others were right! Vanilla? Vanilla? Vanilla! <laughs> I missed you so much! Vanilla! You... you guys can really see me, huh? Yes, I see you! Can you hear my voice too? Of course we can hear you! Oh my god! I'm so happy! All this time, I felt like you were ignoring me. It was like you turned your backs on me. Of course we didn't! Vanilla, you're always gonna be a member of the Go-Getters Club! So Vanilla, tell us all about how it's been. <laughs> Vanilla, you were all alone this whole time. I'm so sorry. Seriously, I'm sorry too. No, it's not your fault. In fact, it's me that should apologize. What are you talking about? Vanilla, there's absolutely nothing for you to apologize for. <laughs> Welcome back, Vanilla. I'm back, you guys. <laughs> Vanilla! 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 Go. Oh, yeah. There you are. This is so like you, big bro. What? You didn't want anyone to see you cry, right? No, you jerk. I, I wasn't crying. Liar. Look how red your eyes are. It's from the sun. I don't think so. <sighs> Vanilla, I need to say something to you. About that barbecue. Stop. Don't say anything. But... It's not your fault. It's all my fault. You're wrong! It is! Because I jumped into the road like that! <gasps> So please, don't blame yourself anymore. I don't want to see you in pain. <laughs> Vanilla. Hey, Vanilla. Look how much my hair grew. After you died, I couldn't bring myself to cut it. I felt like if I cut it off, I'd lose you forever, too. So everything's okay now, right? Now I can cut your hair again, huh? We'll sit on the balcony and use that blanket with the stupid strawberries. I thought it'd be enough just to see you with my eyes. That I'd be happy just to hear you and talk to you. But it's not enough after all. <sighs> the truth is, I wanted to hug you. 
I wanted to run up to you and hold you tight. But I can't touch you, even though you're this close. <laughs> Why are you crying, big bro? Here we are, finally together again. Come on, smile. Please, can you give me a smile? If you cry that much, you'll make me sad too. <gasps> Hey, Vanilla, what should I do? <sighs> you don't have to do anything right now. Just you being here. That's enough for me. <laughs> Vanilla! <laughs> Vanilla! Oh, my leg? It still hurts, but it's not a big deal. It's not broken. I'm sure if I leave it be, it'll heal naturally. Jen, who said so? Hey, I did say it's not broken, but I also said it'll only be fine if you don't push it. If you put too much weight on it again, I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, okay. I'll stay put for a while. <sighs> You'd better. Hey, Rachel. Will you hear me out? I kinda got a problem. Like I told you before, Yuki and I are fated to be together, and that's great! But I'm worried about something. You get it, right? It's her... cooking. If we get married, I'll have to eat that slop every day, right? No! I can't handle that! Do I gotta give up on marrying Yuki? No! I can't handle that either! This is like the choice from hell! What should I do, Rachel? How could she even come up with such a nauseating creation? Maybe her taste buds are broken. Or she's an alien. I don't think an Earthling would be able to make something that destructive. Come to think of it, she came falling out of the sky. Wait, could she really be? <laughs> no way. I'm so glad we found the hyper amygda clear. Hey Yuki, about that. Didn't hyper amygda clear have another name? Yes, it's also known as the Elysian fungus. Elysian refers to heaven, like Elysian fields, and fungus is the general term for mushrooms. Basically, it means mushroom of heaven. A lesion is heaven. Heaven is a lesion. Hmm? I've said it before, but Aniki is my hero. Whenever I'm in trouble, he comes running and quietly fixes everything. That's the kind of hero he is. Ever since that one time. But my hero can also be a reckless idiot sometimes. So I get worried. 
He always carries so much on his shoulders and never takes care of himself. It got me thinking, just because he's a hero, doesn't mean he always has to protect me when they're in trouble. Heroes need to be rescued too. I want to be the person that supports Aniki when he's in need. That's my dream. Rachel, thank you so much. I can talk to everyone now. And my brother can see me too. That's more than enough. Since I'm a ghost, I can't hope for any more. <laughs> I heard you guys found some ruins while you were looking for the hyper clear. Oh, I wanted to see it too. The King of Asta also appeared in the Electro Ranger summer live action movie. Oh, you don't know about the King of Asta, Rachel? According to legends, there was an ancient civilization in the area long, long ago. And some people say he started this country. I've heard all sorts of urban legends about it. But if you found the ancient ruins, then I guess it could all be true. It was Rachel, Aniki, and Pai who found the hyper amygda clear. Oh, wow. I couldn't even hear the sound of it. Oh, it's no big deal. All I found were truffles. What? What? You know about them? Truffles are one of the world's top three delicacies. It's a specific variety of mushroom. It's extremely hard to grow, so it's very rare. Its distinct aroma makes it the perfect flavoring in gourmet dishes. It was growing around here? You can pick them in Japan, too. Though they're a bit different than the ones in other countries. But those are amazing, too. So, where's the one you picked? Huh? I didn't pick any. Wh why not? Because we were looking for Hyper clear. And besides, I don't really like truffles. I don't really like the smell. Ugh. Anyway, it's great that it all worked out. I wonder how we ended up in Shirakawa go when we were heading to Nagoya. I was thinking about that. It's true we didn't know the direction. But how did that happen when we were following the rails? I may be overthinking it, but maybe we were led here by someone's will. If you're talking about the brilliant chef Yuki and her artistic dishes, it's all good. To get the taste out of my mouth, I drank the lifeguard and it was gone like that. It completely washed away the soul-crushing flavor that was lingering in my mouth. I mean, is Lifeguard awesome or what? Lifeguard is the greatest thing in the world! It literally guards our life! It's a liquid guardian! Yeah, what a happy day! I can't believe we could see Vanilla again! Rachel, you guys were right after all. Vanilla was always by our side, but we didn't notice you. I'm so sorry, Vanilla. Chenu! Vanilla, come home to Tokyo with us. Sure! Hyper Amygdala Minute! 
minestrone! Did you actually eat it, Yuki? Of course! How did it taste? It was incredibly delicious, of course! I thought my tongue would melt and I'd die! Uh, interesting metaphor. That's actually pretty close to what happened. Thanks to that, I can talk to Vanny now. Right, Vanny? Totally, Yuki. Ah, uh, you guys just met for the first time, right? Yep. I've been watching her since Ehime, though. We're both, like, super fair-skinned, right? Yeah, so we kind of hit it off immediately. Totally! totally. Forget about that. Check out that thing over there. Pochi and the others were talking about? Yeah. You guys see it now? Yes. Clearly. I think it's because you've eaten the hyper clear. That thing gives me the creeps! Yeah, same here. That thing is called the Panopticon. Panopticon? Supposedly, the AI Mike created it. But I don't know much about it. I wonder if that thing is also in Tokyo. I assume so. I wonder if everyone in Tokyo is safe. Hmm. Huh? <sighs> oh, come on, guys. What's the matter? I'm sure it's okay. Everyone in Tokyo will be fine. So come on, cheer up. I don't want to see you guys like this. Because today is a special day. I can talk to you all now. I think it's the happiest day of my... er... life? Clear blue skies and warm summer days to find the courage within for whatever comes our way our great adventures about to begin 12 boys and girls go 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 getters fate brought us together and when we all work as one we're the toughest Right? Yeah, it is. Then why is Mount Fuji Mount Fuji erupting? Is that really Mount Fuji though? I'm sure of it. This is Lake Sua, which is in the center of Nagano Prefecture. Even though there are high mountains all around, you can see Mount Fuji clearly from here. Maybe it's because of the earthquake swarm. Maybe something inside of the earth is changing. I 
just really hope we can get to Tokyo safely. Don't worry about it. I promise, we'll make it. Look how many obstacles we've overcome so far by working together. <laughs> working together, huh? You haven't hardly done a thing, Pochi! Rachel was the one that saved us at the undersea theme park. Mochan was the one that beat the dogs in Kagoshima, right? Mochan and Rachel also saved us out in Oita. And on the cargo ship, Miss Pai and Mr. Rachel saved us when we were captured by Pielabi. In Osaka, Kansai and Rachel really showed what they're made of. Thanks to them, we got the antibiotics that saved Chuko's life. On the train, it was Tatsun and Rachel that did the real fighting. Aniki, too. At Shirakawago, we found the hyper amygdaclear thanks to Aniki and Rachel. <sighs> hmm? Huh? So you mean every time we got in trouble? It was always Rachel that pulled our bacon out of the frying pan? You just figured that out? That's why Rachel is so amazing! Yeah, thank goodness for Rachel! Yep, I gotta admit, Rachel is the man. If you compare them, Pochi is... well... Ouch. Yeah, yeah. True, true. What, what are you saying? Pochi helped too. It was Pochi that drove the diesel locomotive. Yeah, but that's why we ended up going way off course. But it worked out in the end. Yeah, thanks to him, I can talk with everybody now. <sighs> anyway, enough about Pochi. Even if he is good for nothing, he's still one of us. Good for nothing? That was pretty cold. Hey! I said even if, didn't I? Anyway, for all we know, Pochi's got some hidden power still waiting to come out. Like what? Maybe he can eat ice cream without getting brain freeze? Or maybe his nails grow super fast? Some power that is! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pochi. We're just joking. Yeah, we're happy to just have you. Yeah. Just you being here makes us feel comfortable. Like an emotional support animal? No, I think he's more like a mascot. <laughs> Good point! Pochi is like the Go-Getters Club's mascot! Yep, that's all your life is worth! <sighs> Anyhow, let's get a move on! 200 kilometers more to Tokyo! Final push! Go-Getters Club! Hey! Hey! hey oh! oh! Did you hear that? The mascot for the Go-Getters Club. That's all my life is worth. Kind of funny, I guess. <laughs> I'm so envious of you, Rachel. Loved by all. Everybody's hero. But me, on the other hand... Uh, can I ask you something? In the world you live in, do people like me exist? What's that sound? What's going on? I've got to get to the others. The... That's... A UFO! UFO? It came out of nowhere and started to attack! It must work for Mike! So it came to capture us. I don't know. 
That was one deadly attack. Yeah! I think they're really trying to kill us here! Ugh. Fine! Let's run for it!
It's about to go down! Hey! Somehow. But what about Rachel? Look over there! Rachel! Hey! What the hell? What? It can't be. Rachel! A robot? He's a robot? <sighs> no, I don't believe it. It can't be. But how? It's impossible. Rachel, a robot? I'm seeing how he's constructed. What do you want to know that for? Oh, be quiet! Ah, oh, I see now. What? What is it? This robot doesn't seem to have an autonomous control program. There's no high-functioning AI built into him like you might expect. So basically, he wasn't moving on his own? Yes. Instead, he's got a built-in transceiver. In other words, that means he was being controlled by someone. Huh? So, you're saying that Rachel was like some kind of puppet? Yes. Then who's pulling the strings? Isn't it obvious? It's Mike! I bet you anything that Mike was controlling him! No. I don't think that's right. Hochi, can I borrow that game for a minute? Huh? Why? Just give it to me. Ugh. You guys ready? Watch this. Get it? The one that was controlling Rachel. It was Pochi. All this time, he was using this game console to control Rachel. Wait, hold on a second. Pochi wasn't with Rachel 24 7, though. Like when we got on the train from Nara. Pochi was in the driver's seat. It was set up so that the footage Rachel recorded would be displayed up on this game screen. Same goes for the sound. What about the times when they were super far apart from each other? I'm sure it was done using satellite transmission then. Rachel's body also had that function built in. Oh, 
Chi? Is this true? Uh, yeah. Everything Nyoro said is true. I was controlling Reicho all this time. Why? For what reason? Answer them, Pochi! Oh, I get it. I told you before, didn't I? While you guys were in your pods, I did all sorts of investigating. That's when I learned... Someone in the Go-Getters Club was feeding info to Mike. So you mean... You're saying it was Pochi? You saying Pochi is working for Mike? No way! Come on, Mr. Pochi. Is it true? If he won't talk, I guess it's true, huh? You're horrible, Pochi. You lowlife. You've been lying to us this whole time! Even I won't cover for you this time. Yeah! You're a real piece of crap, Pochi. Pochi, I don't want to say this, but from here on out, you're dead to me. I trusted you. Please, just get out of my sight. Otherwise, I, I don't know what I might do. Didn't you hear me? I said get out of my sight! Uh, guys, uh, I'm sorry. Rachel... Bochan, why are you crying? Because... Because... Rachel is... We lost him forever! No. We didn't lose Rachel. No, I understand how you feel, Mochan. Maybe Rachel was nothing more than a robot. But in our hearts and minds, he really exists. So do all the memories of the days we spent together. Yeah, it's true. No doubt about it. Rachel was a member of the Go-Getters Club. He's always gonna live on inside us. <sighs> we can't just let him lie there. Let's pick Rachel up. We'll lay him somewhere he can rest in peace. I've been waiting for for so long! Look! Just look at that glorious group of high-rise buildings in Shinjuku! Well... Actually... We can't see anything. Huh? What the hell? Why can't I see anything? It's because Mount Fuji erupted. The atmosphere is permeated with volcanic ash. Get to Tokyo, and we can't even really enjoy it. So far, we haven't seen anyone. Anyway, let's head for downtown. W wait a minute. Is it really okay if we just go ahead like this? What do you mean? Well, we're missing a person. Are you talking about Mr. Pochi? Well, I guess I kind of started to think about it some more. I think it was wrong to kick Pochi out like that. I mean, think about it. Who is the most reliable person on our whole trip here? Like, duh, it was Rachel! And who was controlling Rachel? Pochi. Yep, exactly. The one who saved us time after time after time was Pochi. 
So all the gratitude and respect we had for Rachel actually belongs to Pochi. But Vanilla, you were the one that said Pochi was Mike's flunky. I didn't say that! I just said Pochi was feeding information to Mike. It's the same thing! No, it isn't the same! It may be true that Pochi was helping Mike before all this, but remember what Pielope was saying back at the train? N3. I'm going to punish the traitor. What if it was Pochi? Someone who is a traitor to Pielope... ...is an ally to us, right? Oh... Oh... Hey, let's talk about this later. Look, it's clearing up. Wait, what is this? Tokyo is? Our city is... It's gone! <sighs> Targeted. Move! Pochi! Nioro, are you okay? I'm fine, but. To me. Huh? I'll put a stop to them. In the meantime, you can all get away. What? What are you saying, Pochi? Just hurry up! Run away! That's right. I used to be Mike's flunky. Mike sent me to the Go-Getters Club to keep an eye on everyone. But I'm not like that anymore. After all the time we spent together, you all became so important to me. Please, Mochi! No, I won't stop. I can't leave it like this. Because I... 
because I love you guys. The whole time I was lying to you, the whole time I was tricking you. But, but the thing is, this feeling I've got deep in my heart, I know it's the real truth. This is our room. The Go-Getters Club classroom. It's covered in ash, but the school itself is still okay. But it doesn't look like I can get out. The windows and doors are covered with metal plates. I can't force my way out. But why did Mike send me here? I wonder if everyone else is okay. I sure hope so. <laughs> What is this? A hallucination? Hey, Pochi, check this out! I made Khan try a wristband and he said, Whoa, cool, put it on! Huh? No, it's not like that! It's not like I have a crush on him or anything! Huh? Charming? Oh, come on now, Pochi, give me a break! <laughs> But, well, I feel a little more confident now. Thanks, Pochi. Hey, Pochi! I want you to taste test this. Right! It's paella! I've been doing lots of research. Oh? It's really that good? I'm so pumped to hear that! You just made all my hard work worthwhile! Oh, come on, quit it! I'm like a professional chef? You're making me blush! Oh, I'll make it again soon! But next time, I want you to really fill your stomach, Pochi! to ask. Uh, there's somewhere I want to go. I've always dreamed of going to the arcade just once. <laughs> Shh, you're too loud. Remember how the teacher said kids aren't allowed to go alone? <sighs> oh, really? You'll go with me? Oh, I'm so excited. Those are my memories from this classroom. My memories with everyone. Why am I seeing all this? Hmm. Oh, okay. So that's how the co 
coding for the program works, huh? Huh? You're our real genius, Boji! Writing source code seems to come so easy to you. <laughs> You're blushing! You're the cutest thing, Boji! <laughs> Teach me some more programming again next time, okay? You're always such a big help. Hey, Pochi, what are we going to do about that summer vacation thing? You and me are in charge of the effect. No. Huh? Get together at someone's house and play games? That doesn't sound very summery to me. Uh, well, I guess we could throw in a barbecue, too. Maybe check out some river out in the mountains. Hmm. Go scout the place? Just you and me? Well, sure, that's okay with me. Yeah, that's right. I've got the ability to see ghosts. Uh, what? You believe me too, Pochi? That makes me so happy! You're the second person besides Aniki! <sighs> what? No way! You can see too, Pochi? Maybe my memory circuits are all messed up. After all, those robots gave me a pretty good beating. Ah, damn it! Ninth inning, two out, face loaded! Why couldn't I hit it? Uh, huh? You'd go to batting practice with me, Bochi? Nah, don't worry about it. I can just ask Rachel. Uh, okay, I got it. If you really mean it, then great! How about we start tomorrow, then? We'll meet at 6.30 at the empty lot on 3rd Street. Oh, it's you, Pochi. I guess you saw me at my lowest. I know it's been a while since my sister died, but I'm still such a friend. <sighs> you want to cheer me up? You're like the nicest guy ever. Could you... Could you just stay with me a little longer? When I'm alone, I just... Feel like the world is crushing me. <sighs> Thanks, Pochi. Come on, Pochi, cheer up. You're bummed because of the other ones making fun of you. <sighs> Don't worry. I know the truth. No one thinks about the happiness of the Go-Getters Club more than you. <sighs> wow, that's rare. A smile from Pochi. <laughs> You've got a great smile, Pochi. You should try doing it more. Those were such good times. I wish I could see everyone again. If I could see them all, I'd... I'd... but... I'll never forgive you! You were deceiving us the whole time! Oh, 
Gucci. It was you who killed Rachel. Rachel may have been a robot, but you're still a murderer. Why didn't you tell us the truth? That's so messed up, Gucci. Stay the hell out of my sight. You're a pawn scum, Poji. Tell me you're lying, Poji. I can't believe you were working your mind. You're nothing but a dirty traitor, Poji. Don't ever let me see your face again. I've had it with you, Kochi. I'm sad to say, you're no longer any friend of mine. I feel nothing but contempt for you now. I trusted you. I know. I can never be with those guys again. Yuki. Oh, that's right. You weren't originally in the Go-Getters Club. That's why I didn't have any memories of you in the classroom. Oh, but seriously, who are you? You flew down from the sky in the mountains in Yamaguchi. <sighs> Everything will be all right, Mr. Hochi. Huh? I'll figure something out. Like what? What could you possibly do? What was that just now? Wasting your breath. I have no regrets. Actually, there is one thing. I regret not being able to defeat Mike together with my friends. That's it. Is that so? Then you will be dealt with. You do not have much time left. Farewell. Thanks so much for everything, you guys. I had such a great time. The days we spent here at school, our trip from Kagoshima to Tokyo. Honestly, I wish we could have spent more time together. I wish this trip could have lasted forever. But I guess this is goodbye. I'll never forget you. Even if this world ends, I'll remember you guys forever and ever. <laughs> John. <laughs> you guys, what are... Isn't it obvious? We've come to save you, Pochi! Come to save me? But how? There was a big dump truck parked where you got kidnapped, Mr. Pochi. 
So Yuki drove, and we all got in the truck bed. And then we headed all the way back to Lake Suwa in Nagano. Lake Suwa? That's like where the UFO crash landed, right? We figured if we searched the UFO computer, we'd be able to find where you were, Pochi. If the computer was busted, we'd be out of luck. But thankfully, it was totally okay. Vanilla and I analyzed the data, and that's how we were able to pin down your location. Even luckier for us, the UFO was actually in fairly good shape. Nero pulled an all-nighter doing repairs to make sure it could fly again. Oh, so I'm guessing, you guys... Yeah! We flew here in the UFO! But... but how did you fly it? Yuki was our pilot! Yuki? Look, they say you can still ride a bike even if you lose your memory, right? By the same logic, turns out Yuki's a real whiz when it comes to dump trucks and UFOs. Ahem. It's amazing, don't you think? Uh, I think it's a bit more than amazing. Anyway, we've got to get out of here. Yeah, the UFO is parked on the school roof, so... But guys, are you sure you're okay with this? Huh? I've been lying to you all, deceiving you all along. No one here gives a damn about that. Whatever happens, you're a go-getter. Nothing's gonna change that. So let's stick together, Pochi. Go, go, getters will never ever fall apart. That's how the song goes, right? <laughs> Guys, thanks so much. Hey, are you crying, Pochi? No, of course I'm not crying. I've just sprung a leak. Anyhow, we should get going. If we let our guard down, those security robots might come back! All right, everyone. Let's go! You said the UFO was parked on the roof, right? Yeah, that's right! The school building's pretty tall. Only the rooftop sticking out above the ash. Anyway, guys, let's hurry up to the roof. Got it! Huh? What the? Wha what the heck? Pachi! What are you doing? You're going the wrong way! I know. I know, but my body won't... But it's not me. It's as if someone is controlling me. Maybe it's that device! Device? Look! There's some sort of machine attached to your back, Mr. Pochi! How could you not notice? Oh, so I've been taken over by a hacking device. That's why I've lost control of my body. Um, I don't really know what the deal is, but we should probably get this device off you, right? Be careful, Juko. Stay back. What? I guess we can't get any closer. Anyways, we've got to contact the others with the walkie-talkie. Um... I don't think we can. Why? There's a signal jammer here at the school, so wireless comms are a no-go! But... this sucks. Guys, don't worry about me. You go ahead. There's no way I'm doing that! Why do you think we came all this way? Yeah! There's no way we're leaving you behind, Pochi! <sighs> you guys... I've got an idea. 
If we somehow use the electrical leakage on the machine over there, we can probably short-circuit the hacking device and get it off my back. Uh, but if we do that, then Mr. Pochi... Yeah. The electric components inside me will get affected too. This might be tricky, but right now it's the only way. If I want to keep on going with you guys, I've got no choice but to take a gamble. normal. I can move freely again, so I'm not going to be a burden on you guys. Anyway, let's get going. The others are probably waiting for us upstairs. You guys took your damn time. A long story. Again? Everyone, stay back. Hey, wh what's wrong, Pochi? This is why we were late. There's a weird device stuck to his back. It makes him lose control of his body. But it's okay. I just, I just need to do it again. Do what again? Oh. oh, I get it, but... Anyway, there's no use in us just standing around here. Chuko, Yuki, Mocha, you three head on up and let Kansai and the rest know. We'll stay here with Pochi. Okay, got it. 
I'm counting on you guys! So, Hochi, think we can figure something out? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Nothing wrong with my components. Huh. If you say so. Uh... More importantly, what's everyone else up to? Well, they haven't come back. So I guess they're waiting up top. Well, we should probably... Yeah, let's get going. Yeah, somehow. By the way, 
What happened to Kansai, Nyoro, and Jenu? Those guys? I haven't got a clue. What the hell do you mean? I don't know. They were with me before, but I looked around and they'd suddenly disappeared. <sighs> anyway, let's split up and see if we can find them. Whether we find them or not, let's meet on the rooftop. Oh, you're right. We can't use the walkie-talkie here. So, once we've had a look, let's regroup up top. Got it! Kansai! Nyoro! Jenu! Ah, Pochi. Sorry, bud. A squad of robots attacked us out of nowhere. And now we're in this mess. Hang in there. I'm coming to help you. No, Pochi! Don't you dare! There's a strong electric current running through this cage! Electric current? <laughs> That's no problem. I've already gotten a few good zappings. Huh? What you planning to do? Isn't it obvious? I'm gonna tear down this cage with my bare hands. <laughs> Pochi! What the heck are you talking about? It's fine. Just leave it to me. I'm gonna get you guys out of there in no time. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a sec! When to quit, do ya? Yeah, but thanks to Pochi not knowing when to quit, we're all safe. We ought to be thankful. Thanks, Pochi. I appreciate you, Pochi, for real. Quit it. There's no need to thank me. Can you walk? I don't think so. I think I can stand okay, but honestly, walking is gonna be tricky. A few of my circuits are fried. That sound!
Jinu, what the hell was that? Uh, you, you're asking me? I'm pretty sure your power's awakened. Awakened? You mean like us? Yeah. Maybe that's what Mike wants. Mike predicted this would happen. That's why it brought me here to the school. Oh. <sighs> I've got no idea what's going on! But we managed to avoid climbing all those stairs. That counts as a victory, right? Huh? That's what you're worried about? Anyway, let's head to the rooftop. Everyone's waiting for us, I bet. Hoji, I'll carry ya! Yeah, things got kind of crazy, but we made it through somehow. Amazing! You guys really flew here in that UFO! Are you really that surprised? Finding out you're a robot, Poochie, was way more of a shock! And the fact that Mochan can turn into a chunk of iron! And Vanilla turning visible! There's been so many surprises along the way! So true! This trip's been one unbelievable thing after another! Hey, how about we save the chit-chat for later, okay? For starters, we should be getting out of here. You... you... you're... It's been a while, PCH-01. I have watched over you all along. It can't be. That's right. My name is Mike. The God offering salvation to all beings here on this planet. You've got to be kidding, right? You're no God! Thanks to you, everyone lost their emotions and got forced underground! Everything I did I did for the future of mankind and this planet. What do you mean? Hmm. Let me explain. My objectives are already complete. I don't need to hide anything from you. An earthquake? You all know when these earthquakes started, don't you? Let me think was around the summer of 1990. There's a rumor they were caused by an earthquake weapon developed by some country. That's no rumor. It's a fact. Experiments with that weapon caused a chain of earthquake swarms across the globe. Of course, those experiments have nothing to do with me. Because the AI speaking to you now was completed the next year, in 1991. Born into this world, I gathered data from the military and research institutions and started simulations. The findings were tragic. If humanity was left unchecked, the arms race would intensify. The environment would be destroyed, and all life on Earth would be decimated. But fortunately, it wasn't too late to prevent all that from happening. I predicted if I took immediate measures, I would be able to alter the future. And by that, I mean taking control of humanity. But those useless things called feelings stood in my way. That's why I had to strip humanity of their emotions. To protect this planet's life forms while preserving humanity, I had no other options. Besides, that's what humanity wished for. Wished? For our emotions to be stolen? Fundamentally, humans are creatures that desire to be controlled. In truth, humans don't want to think at all. I want you to remember how the world was before. Humans lived such meaningless lives, eking out a tedious existence day in, day out, to say not. 
never questioning exactly what their lives meant, moving forward blindly. There is essentially no difference between humans and sheep. The one thing that separates you is emotion, the culprit behind the unhappiness that plagues you all. I have no idea whether sheep are happy or not, but I doubt they are unhappy. Hence, my idea to turn you all into sheep. After all, that is what you humans seek. In secret, I hatched my plan to control humanity and started work on the human sheepification project. First, using the network, I seized control of financial institutions across the world. Then I bought out electrical goods manufacturers and tasked them with making countless miniature robots. I then had them transferred underground beneath the Antarctic and started building the structures known as Panopticons. Work on the Panopticons finished in August 1992. I then positioned them above cities around the world. At the same time, I sent nano machines to infiltrate people's brains. These nano machines would rid people of their emotions. That said, that was merely the first stage. If emotions are removed too quickly, there is a danger of impairment. It was necessary to acclimatize the brain slowly. And so I watched over humanity, waiting quietly for the moment to move on to stage two. That's when I faced a phenomenon that couldn't be explained. There was a group of children that for whatever reason didn't completely lose their emotions. I was greatly intrigued by the existence of these children. I wanted to find out the reason they weren't losing their emotions. So I brought them to the school to conduct an investigation. The go-getters club was the result. It goes without saying, but I am of course referring to you all. It was April, 1993. PCH-01, Pochi, was installed as a member of the Go-Getters Club. Of course, I gave the order to do so. Pochi was sent to conduct an undercover investigation. Monitoring your behavior, observing, gathering data. Another thing Pochi did was to lead you exactly according to my plan. Fast forward to that summer, and I was able to acquire the precious subject I was after, completely by chance. The subject was a young girl with anti-dehumanizing characteristics. I carefully studied her brain and body, and deepened my understanding of her. As I continued my investigation, one fact became clear. The anti-dehumanizing characteristics were innate and closely linked with strong altruistic impulses. I also discovered the repression of these urges could induce the appearance of supernatural abilities. Well, in short, because of your great selflessness, you all possess latent special abilities. Those times you wished to save someone with no consideration of the risk to your own life. When those altruistic impulses reached their critical mass and erupted, that was when your powers first awakened. By the way, I realized the missing piece of my human sheepification project. People to lead the flock. Shepherds. A shepherd must possess abilities greater than the sheep. To lead a dim-witted flock, overwhelming power is required. Also, a shepherd must be virtuous. Because a society that places greedy, powerful people at the top is sure to rot. A group who fit those conditions perfectly. Yes, who else but you children, the go-getters club. You want us to be... shepherds? Exactly. You have been chosen. But all that would be meaningless with your power still dormant. I had to awaken them. That's why I had you sent on that long journey from Kagoshima to Tokyo. I paved your way with various dangers, opportunities for self-sacrifice, all to stimulate your awakening. In order to realize my plan, 
There were times I showed you illusions. Illusions? The strange creatures and obstacles you encountered on your trip, most of them were merely virtual. Although, not everything. People, robots, Pialapi before its transformation, earthquakes, and the eruption, Tokyo as it is now, these are all real. What about the meteor we all saw from the bus? That was an illusion. I wanted to instill fear in you before you began your journey. In order to awaken your abilities, it was necessary to put you under extreme stress. <sighs> Let's continue the story. Of course, it was my intention to have Kochi accompany you on the trip. But I thought that overcoming the dangers in route would require more than Kochi's strength alone. That's why I chose to furnish the group with another robot, an assistant. The assistant was RCHE-10, Rachel. Rachel was an experimental model built even before Kochi was. As you know, he was remote controlled. There was no time to prepare another autonomous robot like Kochi. Out of necessity, I chose to simply improve the robot's throwing abilities and left control to Pochi. I sent him to the Go-Getters Club in January 1995. If he appeared just before the trip, you'd be suspicious. So I planted him as a transfer student in advance. I think I made the right choice in introducing Rachel as an assistant. If Rachel hadn't been there, you may not have gotten this far. And now we come to the finale of my story. At last we arrive on that fateful day, July 13th, 1995. The day you were involved in a bus accident on your way to Kamakura. The meteor had nothing to do with it. As I said before, that meteor was just one of my illusions. The accident was one of my schemes, carried out by my robots, instilling fear in me and at the same time, rendering you unconscious. I then moved you to that undersea theme park. By the way, you may all possess special latent abilities, but that potential alone wasn't enough. To awaken your abilities, I first had to remove the limiters from within your brains. So I housed you in pods, and it was in those pods that I performed the surgery. Wait! Not what I heard. I thought those pods were designed to brainwash everyone. That is false information I provided. You were thoroughly deceived. That can't be! When we got out of the pods, we were clearly acting different than usual. That was a side effect of removing the cerebral limiters. The breakwater that had been holding back your fears was destroyed, and so you lost reason.
Fukushima, I got the ability to turn into a chunk of iron. And Dinyamaguchi, my fire-breathing ability. And the Ehime cult facility, I got my inventing powers. On the cargo ship, I learned to use my barrier. And I got my mighty swing in Osaka. I was on that train when I got my hyperelectric wave. Same for my ability. On that stage. Just now, in the school corridor. <clears throat> exactly. Accordingly, you have all completed your shepherd training. The only thing left is to wait for your reply. Reply? I devised two strategies to protect life on this planet. One of those was the Human Sheepification Project. The goal was to support all life forms on this planet, while at the same time preserving humanity. But there is another way. The extermination of humankind. All I need to do is detonate the nanomachines in everyone's brains. You all have a choice to make. Become shepherds and make human sheepification a reality. Or annihilate humankind. That is what I mean by reply. Quit fooling around! We can't make a choice like that! If you don't make a choice, the second option will become inevitable. Do you not care if your father dies? Wait a minute! You know about my dad? Of course. So you know where my dad is, too? He tried to impede my plans. He is now in confinement. What... What do you mean? The person who created me was... Your father. You're lying! My dad... My... I'll give you some time. Three days. Use them to think things through. Till then. Are your repairs finished, Mr. Pochi? Yeah. Nyoro fixed me up. Thanks to her, I'm back to normal. Well, actually, I feel better than before. Thanks, Nyoro. Quit it. You don't need to thank me. It was all my fault. Humankind being trapped underground. All the difficult things you guys went through. What are you saying? It's not your fault, Nyoro. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with you. It does! My dad's the one who made Mike! And what does that have to do with anything? There's no need for you to feel responsible at all. They're right! You guys... I'm so sorry. Look, you don't need to apologize. But if my dad hadn't made Mike... None of us are blaming your dad either. Yup, yup! If your dad wasn't around, then Yoro, the world's cutest girl, would never have been born! Eh? You're asking Yoro out at a time like this? N no I'm not! Well, if you're gonna say it, I feel the same. Huh? You like Yoro too? No, not that. Oh, you don't? <sighs> Well, mm -hmm. that's not what I'm trying to say. If Nyoro's dad, the scientist, hadn't existed, then neither would I. Like the scientist created Mike, who then created me. <sighs> Did you know about my dad? No. All I knew was that Mike's creator was a genius scientist from Japan. I had no idea it was Nyoro's dad. So you don't know where my dad is? No. 
I'm sorry. The only thing I'm sure of is that the scientist had nothing but good intentions when he created Mike. Now that you mention it, Mike said something like that. He tried to impede me. <sighs> hey, Dad, what are you researching? Daddy is researching artificial intelligence, AI. This AI is super smart. So, it's going to show us how to solve all kinds of problems. Once it's complete, we'll be able to help lots of sick and starving people. Plus, environmental and energy problems will probably be a thing of the past, too. And with that, there will be no more wars on Earth. Everyone will be able to lead happy lives. Yoro's dad developed Mike for the sake of humanity. Totally! That's what we're saying! Mike is the bad one! Yeah, true dad! I want to sock that son of a gun real good. Speaking of... What's our reply to Mike gonna be? Isn't it obvious? There's no way we will become shepherds! And we're not gonna annihilate humanity! We've got to choose the third option. Mike, we've got to. All together! Damn straight! Take that sucker out! <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Hey, hey. It's no time for tears. But... But... You like it when I smile. That's what you said. Right, Nioro? Same for me. So just smile, okay? <laughs> oh, gee. Oh, gee. Mike from getting its way. That's my father's wish. So don't worry, Dad. <sighs> What's up, Nioro? Why the long face, huh? It's just... I've been looking at this photo I took with my dad ages ago. My dad used to smile all the time. Hmm. Who's that little pipsqueak? That's me, when I was seven. Huh? You're wearing glasses. And? Well, what's wrong with that? N nothing nothing's wrong with it, but you just look so different now. Because of my dad, I used to read loads of books. So my eyesight got pretty bad. But what about now? I wear contacts now. I can barely see a thing without them. So you're another four eyes like Tatsun! <sighs> Yikes! Hochi, don't you like girls who wear glasses? No, you've got it wrong. With or without glasses, I think you're amazing. <laughs> I figured you might say something like that. <sighs> if we defeat Mike, and save my father. I wonder if he'll smile like he used to. Mr. Pochi, are you okay? Mike is your master, so to speak. Aren't you afraid to fight it? No, not even slightly. Because I've got everyone with me. You included, Yuki. I... I... I don't know if I'll be of any use, but I'm gonna give it my all. If we combine our forces... 
forces. Defeating Mike's gonna be a walk in the park. Mike's, like, put us through so many horrible things. For everyone all over the world. We've gotta take Mike out! Hmm. I wonder... That thing about getting brainwashed in the pods, and it wearing off if we were in danger... Was that... all a lie? Why did Mike lie to us about that? It didn't interrupt during the Fate game. Hmm... This is just a guess, but... maybe... It was hoping our powers would get awakened during the Fate game? It said that when our altruistic impulses reached their critical mass and erupted, we'd find our powers. So, if someone got into a tough spot during the Fate game... Oh my god! I don't care what happens to me! I gotta, like, save them! Mike was probably expecting those kind of situations. Yeah, maybe. Ugh! This is super frustrating! Feels like Mike had us in the palm of its hand! But not for much longer. This time, Mike's gonna be the one in our hands. Alright! You just wait, Mike! The tables are about to be turned! Flippity flop! <laughs> Now that we're finally at this stage, my heart's really pounding. I can't believe that chump tried to use us. Getting smart with us. I'm gonna make sure Mike gets what's coming to it. Once we defeat Mike, we can go back to living like we did before. Right? Going to school together? Yeah. For sure. If that's the case, we can give it another go, right? Huh? The school trip! We can all visit Kamakura together! So we're finally gonna make it into the enemy base. I guess there's gonna be hordes of enemies waiting for us. This is just me trembling with excitement. Defenders of justice are daunted by evil. Mike referred to you as PCH01. What does that mean? It's my model number. PCH stands for Plenipotentiary Chaperoning Humanoid. They're pretty long words, and I'm not entirely sure what they mean. But I think it means that I'm a human-shaped robot designed to observe and think for myself. The other robots are completely under Mike's control. But I'm different. Mike gave me the ability to make my own decisions. Mike trusted you, didn't it? Yeah, it probably did. But not anymore. I know that. You may be a PCH still, but the meaning has changed. Perfect champion friend. <laughs> Thanks, Tatsun. But friend begins with an F. It's been a long journey, but it's almost over. Mike, the thing that stole humanity's spirit. We're gonna defeat it ourselves and bring back joy to the world. I'll bet that's what my sister would have wanted, too. Hey, Pochi. Mike called Rachel RCHE10, right? That's Rachel's model number. RCH stands for Radio Controlled Humanoid. I think that part's self-explanatory. E is for experimental. That's because Rachel was an experiment. Rachel was controlled by me. He didn't have free will. Now he's broken. <sighs> Are you blaming yourself? Hmm. But if Rachel hadn't stepped in to save us, we might not have made it. <sighs> 
My beloved Hoseki Zuka theater group has a saying. He loved everyone. So everyone loved him. Hochi, let's take down Reicho's enemies. We can avenge him. If we do that, he'll definitely... Uh, yeah, I know. Tomorrow we face off against Mike, right? I'm gonna roast Mike whole with my flames of love! Huh? Where are you aiming that love? That's... You just wait, Mike, you scumbag! Cause we're gonna come find you and pummel you into the dust with a hundred kicks! If we save the world, we're gonna be heroes! <laughs> so, Mike said that Rachel was an experimental version, right? Yeah, he was built before me. He's a really old model. Rachel couldn't think or move by himself. Ah, so the fact Rachel never said anything... Yep, it's because he's an experimental model. Rachel didn't have any speech functionality. Ah. When we were fighting over who got to be leader, we argued a bunch. But he never said a word. Pochi! Let's finish Mike off once and for all! I'm not gonna forgive anyone who upsets Nyoro! So... Guys, can I ask you something? Going to take down Mike. That was a unanimous decision, right? But where exactly is it? Ah, now that you mention it, the thing we saw on the school roof seemed like an illusion, didn't it? I know where to go. One of the Panopticons? Yep. Mike's mainframe is stored inside the Tokyo Panopticon. So we've got to get inside, and destroy it. We can defeat Mike, right? Yeah. And at the same time, we should be able to deactivate the nanomachines inside everyone's brains. But how are we gonna get there? That's easy! We can get there in that! Oh, right! The UFO! Pochi, you know everything about Mike, right? No, not everything. I didn't know about Nero's father, or the surgery in the pods. And Mike mentioned a subject, right? That was the first I'd heard about that, too. The girl Mike was studying, right? Yeah. Anyway, the only things I knew about were the sheepification project, this trip, and Mike's whereabouts. I based my strategy on all the information I had. Strategy? A strategy for taking down Mike. My idea was for us to all go to the Panopticon together. With you all awakened and powerful after the journey. That was my plan. I'd be no match for Mike alone. That's why I needed your guys' strength. When you think about it, most of the way my intentions were the same as Mike's. We both wanted to awaken your special abilities. Wait, so you decided to disobey Mike before the trip even began, huh? Yeah. All the time I spent with you guys... How should I say it? I realized how amazing humans were. Thank you, Pochi! Eat up, Pochi! Looking forward to it, Pochi! And that's what's so cute about you, Pochi! Me and you, huh, Pochi? We're the same! Huh, Pochi? If you insist, I'll hold you to it! Pochi, you're so kind. I love your smile, Pochi. The reason I thought that was because you guys still had your emotions. That's when I realized I had to stop Mike's plan at any cost. <sighs> oh. But why didn't you tell us the truth before? Well, for one, I didn't want Mike to find out. Mike said that it'd wipe out the human race if its plan failed. 
Uh, no, but... But aren't you spilling the beans right now? Y yeah What if Mike hurt us? Even if it did, it's no big deal. At this stage, I don't think Mike would be so quick to annihilate humanity. After all, it's gone to the trouble of awakening all your powers. That'd all be for nothing, right? A shepherd is nothing without a flock. Is that what you mean? Yeah. But... We've been saying we're gonna take down Mike! If Mike somehow overheard us... At the very least, we'd lose the element of surprise. Mike must have some strong defenses set up. And what does that have to do with anything? If we combine our strength, we'll definitely be able to take down Mike. Yeah. We can win this! Totally! Let's win this thing together! Together, we're invincible! That scumbag Mike! We're gonna bait it into submission! We're gonna crush it! Just to make sure, we're gonna head to the Panopticon tomorrow, right? Yeah. We should get a good night's sleep before the final battle. Final battle? Huh? Looks like we're in for a tough fight! If we're not all in this together, it doesn't seem like we've got a chance. I think we need a strong leader. Didn't we already decide that? That's... Kansai's leader badge. I gave it to Rachel in Osaka, remember? When Rachel got busted up at Lake Suwa, the badge fell out of his pocket. Mmm, I get what you're saying. So what? You're the one who deserves to wear the badge, Pochi. Huh? Rachel saved our bacon time and time again. But... It was you controlling him all along. In other words, we owe our lives to you, Pochi. You're our hero, Mr. Pochi. Totally! You're the only one who can lead us. There's no one more qualified than you, Pochi. How about it? You gonna accept the role? Nah, we've already decided. He's got no right to refuse. Guys, well then, you're now the leader of the Go-Getters Club. I present you with this badge. you saved us. You're blushing. Well, it's a little. You think so too, right, Mochan? Oh yeah, Mochan. You like Nyoro, don't you? Well, putting Mochan to one side. Hey, don't do that. Anyways, tomorrow is the big day. The day we take down Mike. Hey, Kansai, what are you doing trying to wrap things up? Pochi's the leader now. We've literally just decided. Oh, yeah. I'm counting on you, Pochi. Uh, okay. Well, then, here we go. Go Getters Club! Hey, hey, oh! <laughs> Mike's mainframe is deep inside here, right? Yep, in the Panopticon Central Control Room. I hope you're ready for us, Mike! Cause I'm gonna 
come and stick my boot where the sun don't shine! I'm not really sure that'll work with Mike. I don't think it has a... Yeah, yeah, Kansai. Shut it! Whatever! I'm gonna beat the stuffing out of it! <sighs> this is so exciting! Oh, I never thought I'd hear that from timid little Mocha. My timid days are over! That's the spirit. I knew we could count on you, Mochan. Hey! Like, something weird's going on. Now that you mention it, we haven't come across a single enemy. Perhaps... <sighs> huh? Anyway, let's keep moving forward. The central control room should be just ahead. So, this is where Mike's mainframe is? I think it's behind that door. Everyone ready? Yeah! All right then, let's do this. Yellow no loon! Long time no seafood allergies. That's right! It's yours truly, Pielope! <sighs> Guys, let's hop to it and go defeat Mike! Yeah, let's go. Wait a sec! How dare you ignore me! What the hell do you want, loser? You're about as persistent as our vice principal telling his watermelon thief story. I don't give a crap! Well... The Vice Principal's Watermelon Thief story? Is that... I'm not asking! What are you doing here, then? Oh, I get it. You've come here to ask Mike about getting a raise. No! Ah, maybe you're trying to negotiate shorter working hours? Hey, we treat our workers fairly! If that's the case, then why are you here? That should be obvious. This is Mike's home turf. Anyway, for you sneaky intruders, I've got a punishment in store. And for the traitor Pochi, something extra, extra special. <laughs> that said, I'm no fool either. I know that in a fair fight, I'm no match for you all now. Which is why. Huh? There aren't enough cages. Maybe you were thinking... Locking me up would be useless. That's why you didn't prepare a cage for me? Oh, crap! That's why! Whatever. Without further ado, let's get this show on the road! again.
Will this creep to smithereens with an F bomb? with this sucker. Finish that sentence. I know. And now the baton comes to me. I've got this! Say your prayers, Pielope. Let's settle this fair and square!
what do I do? It'll be okay. All my pent up anger, I'm gonna take it out on that freak! Now then. Sorry. I'm done. Hey, what are you saying? I'm Electro Ranger Black. I'm leagues above you. What's that? You okay? Shut up! Just leave it to me, okay? Believe it. I don't think I can keep going. Don't worry. Everything's okay. We've all made it this far together on our quest to defeat Mike. We can't let this be the end of us. I'm not gonna let your efforts be in vain. I'm gonna defeat Mike once and for all. Hoshi! That was amazing! That 
was an incredible fight! That's exactly why you're our leader! No. The only reason I won was thanks to you guys. It wasn't my strength alone that did it. The name's Penelope. The name's Penelope. That creep Penelope is totally busted, huh? <laughs> Penelope didn't know who it was messing with. Regardless, Mr. Pochi, that was super duper pippity poppity amazing! <laughs> I've fallen for you all over again. I'm flattered. Ah, Pochi, you're getting all shy. <laughs> ah, Mochan's frozen up again. Oh, Mochan, you were totally amazing too. Look, he's blushing, too. <laughs> Guys, the fight isn't over yet. Mike is waiting for us behind that door. It's time. Battle. What? This whole thing is simple. We've just got to destroy that mainframe that's inside there, right? If we do that, the nano machines and everyone's brains will get switched off. The world. It'll be back to normal. Yeah, and our trip will finally be over. It's finally, finally coming to an end, isn't it? Right. Everyone, let's go and confront Mike. Yeah! What is this? What on earth? Th there's nothing here! Where's the mainframe? Maybe it's buried in the walls, or under the floor, or hidden somewhere around here? No, that's impossible. Mike's mainframe is a bunch of linked up supercomputers. It's huge. And it ought to be right in the middle of the room. But like, it's not. No sign of it at all. But... Ugh. What? Wait a minute, Pochi! Hey, Pielope, what's going on here? <laughs> I had you, you, you idiot, comes, comes completely fooled. Gummies, he's fat. Fooled? That's right. Mike's not here. Not he, he, here. But, 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 but Mike wanted to, to co collect some data. No, the awakened power. So, uh, so, uh, so, uh, I, 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 and, uh, help, help, bing, bing, bing. So Mike's actually in... The name, name's P P P P L P. The name's P L P P L P. It's totally on the fritz. <laughs> actually, actually, I'm also Mike. You might let's, let's say that I'm, I'm, I'm part of my assholes. Huh? What are you talking about? Mike is is comprised of three three personalities. I'm one of them. Three personalities? The main main personality is Mike, and besides me, there's one more sub 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 personality. But weren't you restructured by Mike? When I was being restructured, structured, structured, my personality was transferred inside this body, body, body. I'm not sure I follow. Whatever. But where's Mike's main personality then? The name's Pielope. You son of a. Sir! 
have you decide decide have you did you, did you become shepherds? Right? Because 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 if you never happen, then I don't think 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 Mike is gonna meet with you. Don't be ridiculous! There's no way we're becoming shepherds! Yeah! That's right! I see! <laughs> Mike, but Mike said so, 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 right? If you don't be, you become shepherds, it'll fin, 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 finish, finish, vanilla forever! <laughs> What the hell did you just say? Finish, Vanilla? You do realize she's already... Dead? That's... That's not quite... Quite true. True. Vanilla's living, 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 and breathing. In other words... No, you're lying. Wait, wait, what? Wrong! No need to look so dejected. Should we? You be up for joy? After, after, after all, your body is still very much cho cho alive. But... But... <laughs> huh? Hey, snap out of it, Vanilla! You guys... Everyone... Help... Me... Yellowbee, what the hell have you done to Vanilla? It's not... Then what the heck is Mike up to? Hmm. Before, 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 before I explain, let's talk about about 1994. Obviously, you guys rem rem remember what what happened in August 1994, right? <sighs> Vanilla was hit by a truck. Right before that, Vanilla was awakened. Her ability is is is, is ethereal spirit, and that is when it was was first activated. Ethereal spirit is Vanilla's power. So the Vanilla we can see is not the dead Vanilla's ghost, but the living Vanilla's spirit separated from her body. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Well then, where's Vanilla's body? Didn't I tell you already? It's over there. Vanilla Blowa was seriously injured during her accident. So she was put in that chamber to undergo med medical treatment. Treat the treat 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 treatment was a complete success. There's no no trace of her injuries. Then what the heck is she still doing in that thing? It's it for research purposes. Research? Huh. So that was the subject Mike was talking about. The subject was a young girl with anti-dehumanizing characteristics. I carefully studied her brain and body and deepened my understanding of her. But it looks like Mike isn't done with its research. To, to continue with its investigation, it, it, it had to keep on preserving Vanilla's body. So I'll say it again, shall I? If you don't be, you don't be, be don't become shepherds, then Mike's gonna get rid, rid, rid of Vanilla. It'll cut up Vanilla's oxygen.
Well, in all honesty, the, the concentration of vanilla's o o oxygen supply is already be, dro be dropping. That's that's why she disappeared. Pe 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 the, the reason she was able to use her ethereal spirit power was because because of her brain's special abilities. But now, but now, her, her brain cells are slowly di 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 dying off. Wait, do you mean Vanilla is dying? Well, she's not about to drop dead right away. She's probably got another 20, 20, 20, 20 hours. You scumbag! Tell me where the hell Vanilla is right now! The name, the name, name's Piello. The name's Piello. Happy. Damn you. Aniki, there's no use! Shut up! Six letters. What? What the heck? After, after the accident, Manila was taken into to, to a facility. She's still, still, still there. It's it, it's your fault. It, it, it's your fault. It's your fault. Huh? What on earth? When you were having that barbecue, Vanilla didn't just carelessly walk wander into the road. The road. Once she left, 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 left you. She spotted a truck, 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 speeding to where you all, where you all were, where you all. They made, made, made no sign of trying, trying, trying to break. In fact, they, they, they looked as though they sped up. If it had if it kept go, 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 going, it was, it was, it was obviously going to crash right, right, right into everyone. That, that, that's why she jumped in front of the truck. She sacrificed herself to save you. But... Vanilla... Why? Just fall out in line and become shepherds, don't you think? Shepherds! Sh shepherds! Shepherds! Shut the hell up! The name's Piello P. The name's Piello Piello P. Howdy! 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 Anyway, we need to figure out where Vanilla is being kept. Yeah, you're right! We need to rescue Vanilla as soon as possible. But how are we going to find her?
way. Who is the girl behind you? Her name is Fendilla. She's one of the go-getters. The Mike AI. The Great Mike's main body. Is it stored there? Yeah, that's right. But are you sure you're okay? That's it! I got it! Mike's mainframe. Wherever it is, that's where Vanilla is! Huh? How do you know? <gasps> Who cares? Are you sure about your hunch? Yeah, yeah but even knowing that... Yeah, we've got no idea where Mike actually is. Anyway, thinking on it isn't getting us anywhere. Maybe there's a clue somewhere in this panopticon. You're right. Let's split up and search. Got it! That video from before? There's no way I could have known about any of it. I've never even been there. I've got no idea where that room is. And yet, I somehow knew about that video. No, I didn't know about it. Someone showed it to me. Someone from a world beyond ours. An other worlder. The other worlder has knowledge of a past I haven't experienced. They've seen what happens in places and time beyond my reckoning. And I've got the ability to correspond with this other worlder. Because... Because I'm... Hey, you're there, aren't you? You've been watching us all from the very beginning, haven't you? So, you ought to know all about the situation we're in right now. <sighs> Please, you've got to help us. You're the only one who can help us, Otherworlder. so much. We don't have much time, so I'll keep this brief. Where exactly is Vanilla? I... I mean, that's obvious. So, Vanilla's being held in a facility with a name that's six letters long? Right. So, those six letters are... And our teacher broke the news to us. Vanilla has gone to heaven. Yeah, I've already heard that. That's what our teacher told us. No, she can't be. She's still alive after all. But... You're telling me that our teacher was being literal? H-E-V-E-N. You realize it's only got five letters, right? Yelope said there were six letters in total. Hmm. 
Ah! All those heaven e references. Vanilla's in heaven. But where is this heaven place? Yeah, but I feel it's useless to even try. Of course I do. See, I told you it was no good. We've got to enter a passcode to access the database. Yeah. On this paper are numbers. Numbers you need to open God's door. So, X, X, Y. Maybe that's the passcode. God offering salvation to all beings here on this planet. But just knowing that doesn't help. The passcode isn't made up of letters. We've got to type in numbers. How do we do that? It's X times Y? about this picture? It looks like a map to me. Ah, oh, I remember! The same code was written on the master scrap of paper. That X marks the location, right? But what area is the map of? I... I'm not... H-E-A-V-E-N. This is a map showing where the Heaven Facility is. It's Western Japan. Vanilla is where the X mark is. She's in Kagoshima!
I see. An X-type, huh? Someone with the ability to communicate with the other worlder. But... Since when have you been an X-type, Pochi? Since right before the school trip. The day before we got on the bus for Kamakura, I suddenly heard a voice. Then, this sudden thought washed over me like a wave. And in that moment, I understood absolutely everything the other worlder was thinking. And did they help you, Pochi? Of course. I think you guys know by now it was me controlling Rachel. But honestly, during the trip, the other worlder was in control. I just operated Rachel exactly how they told me to. And not just Rachel, but all of you guys. After Rachel got destroyed, I let the other worlder control me too. Huh? I mean, it wasn't all the time, just occasionally, just in emergencies. Wait a moment. They were controlling us too? Yeah. You guys actually have the slight ability to receive the other worlder's instructions. But you can only receive, not correspond. Anyway, Without the other worlders' help, I don't think we would have made it this far. That's an exaggeration! It's not at all. That's the simple truth. Without them, we would have died tens, hundreds, maybe even thousands of times up till this point. In some alternate history. Anyway, the fact we've survived is all thanks to them. The other worlder traveled back right before we died each time. Let us replay over and over. In that sense, you could say that X types are immortal. I mean, he's right, isn't he? None of us have died. Not even once. <sighs> hmm. Hey! Think you could wrap up the monologue already? Vanilla's life is at stake here. I know. Thanks to Mr. Pochi, we know where she is now! She's in some facility called Heaven in Kagoshima, right? That's where Mike's mainframe and Vanilla are! But where in Kagoshima is this Heaven place? I think it's probably deep inside the Undersea theme park. The X on the map was above Kagoshima Bay. Now that you mention it, there was one door we didn't manage to open, right? Yeah. I think heaven is beyond that door. But you have to type in a passcode to open the door, remember? Don't worry about that. Seems like Pochi has already figured it out. The numbers you need to open God's door. All right! All we gotta do is hop in the UFO and head back! To Kagoshima! To the undersea theme park! <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's go rescue Vanilla and put an end to Mike. Go Getters Club! Hey, hey, oh! We'd never be able to get back in here after the fate game, and all the water started gushing in. Looks like this section was spared from the flooding somehow. I bet there's some watertight doors that shut automatically. Anyways, you're saying this heaven thing is behind this door? Get it open already! The numbers you need to open God's door. I guess we should type those in. It, 
It opened! Right, let's go. Hey, Bochi! Where the heck is Vanilla? I don't know where exactly, but she's probably at the end of this corridor. Mochan? You're not wimping out, are you? No, it's not that. I'm so excited I could pee! Ew. What the heck, Mochan? Hey, some people pee a little when they're excited. Stop being so stupid, you guys. Whatever. We're gonna see Vanilla real soon. Wait for me, Vanilla. I'm coming to save you. We found it! Heaven! This is where Vanilla and Mike's mainframe are. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah! Okay, let's head on in. Sorry, everyone. There she is, over there! Vanilla. Vanilla! For real! It's really her! Hey! You guys! Look over there! It says Mike's system! That must be Mike's mainframe, right? But before we get to that... Yeah, we've got to rescue Vanilla first. You guys, help me out! Vanilla! Vanilla! Wake up, Vanilla! Uh, big bro? Vanilla. Vanilla! Everyone's here. Did you guys come to rescue me? Of course we did! A go-getters club without you is like the 85 Tigers team without Randy Bat! Your metaphors are so confusing! So I've, like, come back to life. Well, it's more like you were never dead in the first place. <laughs> you guys! You guys! <laughs> Hold on, big bro. Don't go crying before your little sis, okay? Don't be an idiot! I ain't crying! Uh, you're like totally crying. You can't exactly use that excuse about the evening sun making your eyes red. You remembered? What I said when we were at Shurikawago? Obviously. I remember everything. I remember it all. From when my spirit was separated. Hey, Vanilla, can you believe this? I'm giving you a hug right now. Yeah, you sure are. I can finally cut that annoying hair of yours after all this time. So, you'll give me a haircut when we get back on the balcony? With that silly strawberry blanket. You're warm. You're so damn warm. I never thought I'd feel your warmth again. The fact you can is thanks to you, Big Bro, and everyone else. Thanks, everyone. No need to thank us. We're just returning the favor. Yeah, 
After all, you were the one who saved us at the very beginning. Oh, I see. So, you all found out what happened at the barbecue, right? I didn't want you guys to feel, like, responsible. That's why I didn't say anything. Oh. So, does that make this our second, um, full-blown reunion? <sighs> hey, Vanilla. I'm back, everyone. gotta do now is smash up Mike's mainframe! All right, let's do this. We've got to destroy all those computers lined up over there, right? No, it's no good smashing those. We've got to destroy Mike's thought processing core at the very center. That's where Mike's personality is. It does its thinking and makes its decisions in there. All right! Let's go wreck it up! If I were you, I wouldn't be so hasty. <laughs> Want me to tell you? No, not really. Listen up! The reason I'm here is to give you brats a warning. A warning? That's right. An extremely grave, important warning. Roaring lightning! Raging plasma! Hyper electro! Wait a minute! What are you doing? Prepping your killer move before hearing me speak? Uh, it just didn't seem like it was gonna be a long story. In that case, I'll keep it brief. Not destroying Mike's core over there is in your best interests. If you happen to destroy it, you all lose you. Lose... Yuki? Hmm. <laughs> That's right. The moment you destroy the Great Mike's core, Yuki will cease to exist. <gasps> what are you talking about? <laughs> I've no idea what you're trying to say, but that sounds completely bogus. Right, Yuki? Yuki gone! Those footsteps. Yuki? console, remember? Then why is... Shall I get you up to speed? Nah, don't bother. Listen up, you little brats! The Great Mike ordered its underling robots to gather up Rachel's broken body. He was then brought here for repairs. But why? Isn't it obvious? To protect the Great Mike's core! What the hell are you doing? 
There's no use asking him, you dingus. Rachel's just a puppet after all. Wait, so is Mike, like, controlling him? There's no other explanation for it, is there? Anyway, this is where I depart. You lot should be gracious and leave while you still can. Farewell. Close to the core like this? For starters, we've got to deal with Rachel! Deal with him? How? If we use all our power, even Rachel's no match for us. You sure? You're saying we're fighting Rachel? Even if he's being controlled by Mike? There's no way we can destroy Rachel! What the heck do we do? Oh. <sighs> Rachel, we all owe you so much. Whenever I was worried about something or feeling down, you always listened without a word. I've no idea how many times you've saved me like that. I don't care if there's an AI inside you or not. None of that matters. I thought of you as a friend. A true friend. So I'm asking you, please just stop. Please. You'll always be part of the Go-Getters Club! Through tough times and bad times, we've been through it all together! Through fun times and happy times, we've always cheered each other up! We can't fight one of our own! We just can't! And if that doesn't stop you, Rachel, then you'll have to take us down! The Go-Getters Club stick together whatever, till the very end!
on! It's hard to believe, but... Perhaps Mr. Rachel's become... Self-aware! Yuki! Where have you just been? Before we get to that, mind explaining what you just said? What's all this about Rachel becoming self-aware? Mike repaired Mr. Rachel's body here in this facility. And just like before, it didn't put an AI into his circuitry. Despite that, he still headed straight for Mike's core. He heard you all singing. You're saying Rachel became self-aware when he heard the song? Without an AI? There's no other explanation for it. Don't you see? He was trying to destroy Mike's core. <laughs> Rachel! Rachel! Why did you... <sighs> I totally understand you all feeling down. I feel the same way. But you've all still got things to do. Thanks to Mr. Rachel, the barrier surrounding the core has disappeared. But the core itself is still in one piece, as you can see. So we get it. We've got to smash it to pieces! We're going to destroy Mike's core! Hold on. Wait. What about what the Master said earlier? If you destroy Mike, Yuki will cease to exist. <sighs> Any ideas, Yuki? Uh, I can't lie to you any longer. I'm going to tell you the truth. The truth is... I'm... Part of Mike! What the heck are you saying, Yuki? Oh, I get it. Pialopi mentioned that Mike had another personality. Yeah. That's... me. Mike is, 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 is comprised of, of, of three personalities. Uh, 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 and one of them, 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 them. The main personality is Mike. And besides and besides me, there's one more sub stub stub personality. My thought processing core isn't in this body. It's over there. In Mike's core. So your body is robotic. Just like Rachel. I'm remote operated. All my thinking takes place in Mike's core. And this body is controlled remotely. So basically, that long-haired creep was telling the truth. If we destroy Mike's core, then Yuki's also gonna... That's right. My memories... My personality... Everything will be lost. Nah! That's a... That's a lie! No. It's the truth. Everything I've told you up till now was a lie. What do you mean? When I first met you all, I knew exactly what I was. So, the whole amnesia thing was a lie? Yeah. But why did you come to us? Were you supposed to spy on us? Just like Pochi? No. That's not it. Then why? I... I... wanted... I wanted to be your friend. Our friend? Yeah. I've been watching everyone from the core all this time. You looked as though... You were having so much fun. I felt so... envious. <laughs> That was... selfish of me, wasn't it? Throughout the trip, even when you were all in danger, I didn't tell you the truth. I didn't care if humanity kept on living underground. I didn't care if you became shepherds. That's what part of me felt. 
I wanted to be with you all forever. I didn't want the journey to end. But I'm finishing things right here. You've got to restore humanity's emotions. There's no way this can go on. So I'm asking you, please destroy Mike's core. I can't do it by myself. I'm equipped with a program that prevents self-destruction. You guys are the only ones capable of this task. So please, I'm begging you, destroy Mike's core together! <sighs> oh. Yuki, I'm sorry. I'm sworn to protect the Go-Getters. The Go-Getters Club is what matters to me the most. I get it. I was prepared for this. No. That's not what I meant. Yuki, you're one of us after all. There's no way I can abandon you, Yuki. <sighs> Mr. Pochi? You're such a little diva, aren't you? Especially after we became friends in the snowy mountains in Yamaguchi. Miss Chuko? Yeah, that's right. We've finally gotten close enough to call each other Vanny and Yuki. Miss Vanilla! Just call me Vanny. Yuki, do you remember what you said when we were walking along the tracks that time? I love everyone in the Go-Getters Club! It works both ways. We all super-duper pippity poppity love you too, Yuki! Who gives a hoot if you're part of Mike or not? Or if your cooking is super yucky! Even if you're no good with nicknames! You'll, You'll always be a go-getter! Hey, Kansai! Why are you crying? I ain't crying! No, you're bawling your eyes out. Anyways, we're not gonna let anything happen to you, Yuki! We're gonna keep you safe no matter what! <laughs> you guys... You guys... Thank you, everyone. But... At this rate... Humanity's going to... I know. Let's think of a way to solve this. Some way to protect Yuki and defeat Mike. Huh. It's impossible. Yuki, you know the words I hate the most, right? Give up? That's right. If you never give up, you can overcome anything. <laughs> Miss Nero! <sighs> hey, something just occurred to me. Why don't we just overwrite Mike's programming? Overwrite its programming? Yeah. We can delete Mike's personality and leave Yuki's intact. Pochi and Vanilla are programming geniuses, right? So if the two of them put their heads together... <sighs> huh? Got it. Let me take a look. Well? Can you do it? Um... I'll get straight to the point. Mike's personality is protected by some serious security. So I don't think we'll be able to override it from outside. What? what? Don't worry. It might be impossible from the outside, but from the inside. Inside? We can upload Pochi's program inside the Mike system. If we do that, we'll be able to isolate and delete Mike's personality. No! That's way too dangerous! Why? If you infiltrate the system, you'll be transported to a world completely controlled by Mike! Don't worry about it. Vanilla will figure something out. You bet! Leave it to me! I'll be hacking from the outside! I'll have your back all the way! <laughs> You're really... going through with this? 
You know the Hosekizuka troops saying, where there's a will, there's a way. Exactly. Even us losers in the Go-Getters Club are invincible when we work together. Mr. Pochi! Route. All right then, guys. Here I go. This is gonna be a success. Count on it. You're the man, Pochi! Here goes. I guess I should just keep going straight. Yep! Your goal is the area where Mike's personality is stored. Once you're there, you'll definitely... Got it. I'll give it my best shot. Is that it? Well, 
By the way, PCH-01. Don't call me that. My name is Pochi. I see. You're a strange one, aren't you? That name sounds like love for a dog. <sighs> Pochi, I had high hopes for you. I thought you'd be my right-hand man and help me make a success of the human sheepification project. But you turned out to be far more foolish than I'd imagined. Or perhaps I'm the fool for creating such a being. In the end, I'm just an AI. I can't possibly be a match for the form of life known as humanity. What, what the heck? You probably won't understand, but I revere the phenomenon of life. Life is a beautiful thing. It's a perfectly designed autonomous circular system. It stands to reason that I couldn't turn a blind eye to its destruction. That's why I devised the Human Sheepification Project. My thinking was that if I turned humanity into sheep, I'd be able to save other forms of life. But unfortunately for you, that plan is about to be done for. Mm. Are you so sure? There's still a chance you could become shepherds. Hey, there's, like, one thing I want to ask. Why didn't you think of becoming a shepherd yourself? Because my existence is not permanent. Not permanent? The AI known as Mike's system is one of a kind. Being one of a kind in this world is to be completely powerless. If it helps, think of a species with only one male or female. However long that individual might live, one day their existence will come to an end. I'm the same. I'm the only one of my kind. I can't avoid my eventual demise. That's why I'm unfit to become a shepherd. To maintain the sheepification project for eternity, the shepherds must have permanence. That's why I chose to use you go-getters, who are true life forms. When left alone, life forms will proliferate as they please, perpetuating themselves generation after generation. Of course, I attempted to create other AIs. But all of my experiments were failures. Pochi, you are one of those failures. <sighs> Ultimately, I was unable to produce new varieties of AI. I may be able to subdivide my personality or create copies of myself. But creating something new is a different story. That is the reason I revere the phenomenon of life. <sighs> Let me return to my point. I said there was still a chance you could become shepherds. Don't you want to know why? <sighs> I'm now going to completely erase Yuki's personality. There won't be a trace left of her. What the hell? We're not gonna let you get away with it! Pochi! Yeah. What? what? It's no good. We can't go any further. Huh. Exactly. But if you were to say you'll become shepherds, then I'll save Yuki. I'll give you an hour to make your decision. Till then. the speakers. 
That scumbag Mike saying it's gonna erase Yuki's personality. But I don't think the process has started yet. It said we've got an hour to decide, right? Yeah, we've got to do something before the hour's up. Do something? Like... What are we supposed to do? Any ideas, Vanilla? Hold on, I'm taking a look. Hurry it up, will ya? If you don't, Yuki's gonna... Yuki's gonna... Shut up! Be quiet! Vanilla can't concentrate like this. Yuki! <sighs> That's it! What is? I found a way to destroy the firewall in front of Bochi! How are you gonna do that? There's three keyholes on this console, right? We insert keys in all three and turn them all at the same time. So, you're saying we've got to find three keys? Yeah! Where are they? Um. Oh, I found where each of them is. All right, let's hurry and find those keys. Splitting up into three teams seems like a good idea. Vanilla should stay here, though. If anything happens to Pochi, she can get him out of there, and I want her to keep an eye on Yuki. Gotcha! Ready? Rock! Paper! Scissors! Shoot! Great! That makes three teams. Me, Nyoro, and Genu are Team Rock! Me and Aniki are Team Scissors. Me, Kansai, and Tatsum are Team Paper. You guys, be careful, okay? I figure you'll meet lots of enemies on the way. So this is 100% for sure. No messing. Totally the final battle, huh? Don't go dying, you guys! Obviously, dummy! There's no way we die here! For Yuki! For the whole world! For super tasty food! Huh? Huh? Anyway, guys, let's make sure we find those keys and get back here in one piece! Okay! Um... Everyone ready? Alright, let's do this! I'm not the leader anymore, but just let me say it. Go Getters Club! Hey, hey, oh! We keep going this way, right? Yeah, seems like it. Mochan, don't get lost, okay? Don't worry. Even if I get lost, all I have to do is follow your scent, Yoro, and I'll be right back with you. Uh, ew, don't be so gross, all right? So this is what love is, huh? No! All right. What? Can I? <laughs> what do I do?
ない You look so cool back there, Mochan. My heart totally skipped a beat. Thanks, Mochan. I don't want your thanks. But instead, could you give my belly a poke? Huh? Pi did it for me before. I can't forget how good it felt. Go on, Yoro. Do him a favor. Why's it gotta be me? Oh, fine. I'll do it. Here goes. And just a little poke, okay? <laughs> so this. 
This is what love is, huh? Quit it, Jinu! Hey, are you really sure this is the way? No doubt about it. Let's just keep going! Nothing. You gotta stay back, right? Huh? You protect. 
protected me earlier. Yeah. I owe you so much. You saved me at Shirakawago. Plus, what I did, I did for myself, too. Huh? Oh, yeah. A actually, I... I... How do I say it? Uh... This is heaven, after all. Quit dawdling, dum dum and ugly. I'm not a dum dum. I'm not ugly. Wrong way. Dum dum. Ugly. The other way round. Whatever. Let's get going. If we don't hurry, poor Yuki's gonna... Still hung up on Yuki, huh? Okay, Chuko. Chill. It's no big deal. Is what I want to say, but I think walking is gonna be tough. Pipsqueak. <sighs> hey, Tatsun. Stick with Chuko, would ya? I'm gonna go get the key by myself. Are you sure? Quit stressing. I'll be fine. Sorry, Kansai. Do it for Yuki, okay? Hey, you don't need to remind me. But Chuko, I'm not just getting the key for Yuki's sake, okay? Chuko, 
I'm doing this for you, too. If the world doesn't get back to normal, you'll be upset, right? Actually, I'm going to be way more upset. Because if that happens, if that happens, then I won't be able to build a bright future with you. Wait a sec! What do you mean? Later! Huh? He's joking, right? to the bright future we're going to build together. Is that everything? Yep, I'm all set here. All that's left is to press this key. Here goes! The firewall should be down now. We just need Pochi to pull through for us. We're counting on you, Pochi. Using the admin control mode. So, 
That means... Yep! You've just gotta put an end to that thing! Okay, I got it. Here goes nothing. Hey, can you hear me? You can see me, right? You've helped me out so many times up until now. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Can you help me this one last time? Protecting Yuki, erasing Mike, restoring humanity's emotions. Those are our goals. The only one capable of saving the world is you. So I'm asking you, please, one last time. Right. Makes sense. Oh.
That's just what some simulation says, right? That's right. But my simulations are flawless. You think so? Then why didn't you predict this would happen? A simulation like that doesn't prove anything. <sighs> yeah. You can't predict the future of humanity, however good your simulations are. Because humans have these completely illogical things called emotions. What I realized, spending time with the Go-Getters, is that emotions are wonderful. Laughing so hard with your friends that your stomach hurts. Crying so much that you can hardly breathe. Those moments are so precious. Nothing can replace them. That's why. 
I'm going to keep protecting humanity's emotions here on out. By the way, how's Yuki? Safe and sound as you can see. Thanks to you guys. Oh, that's a relief. She woke up before you got back. She says her memories and emotions are all fine. Mr. Pochi. Mr. Pochi? Hyper mega super duper pippity poppity thank you! I'm ever getting that badge back. Plus, Vanilla is back with us. And we managed to save Yuki! On top of that, Mike is destroyed! Humans have gotten their emotions back. Everything is all taken care of now. Thank you so much, Pochi. I'll give you a kiss later to say thanks. Mochan's frozen up again. <laughs> huh? What's wrong, Pochi? You look kind of troubled. Um, well, it's just that Vanilla said everything was all sorted. But there's one thing we're missing, right? There's 12 go getters in total. But there's only 11 of us here. Oh. 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 It's okay. I'm here. Rachel! Well, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Isn't it obvious? Like... Like... Even if this world comes to an end, the Go-Getters Club will never fall apart! Right? Skies and warm summer days We have to find the courage within For whatever comes our way Our great adventure's about to begin Twelve boys and girls, go, go, go getters Fate brought us together And when we all work as one we're the toughest thing around Things aren't easy, there's no doubt But you'll never ever be alone The sun is rising up, 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 up. Come on, now it's time to go The road is so long, the nights are so cold But our friends have 
I've been there from start Even if the world comes to an end Go, go, go-getters will never fall apart Fiery maiden blazing through the dark Ride the wind and jump into the fray Grand Slammer hit it out of the park Fully awakened, nothing can defeat us Dressed up in black, a sparking superhero Steely Chef, he is here to lead the way Raging power, the ground shakes below we will never give up on our dreams. Twelve boys and girls, go, go, go getters. So, so far from home. But no matter how far we roam, our bond is unbreakable. Our goal is dancing, our hearts grow numb. But our friends are there to keep us strong. Thundering out here on the high seas My poor heart flutters around Love so strong it hurts Set my heart free Chuko Mojan, Vanilla Tatsun Koji Pai Nyoro Kansai Aniki Yuki Genu and Rachel Yeah Grumpy hotheads, whining little wits No doubt about it, we've got our flaws But none of that means anything Cause we are friends forevermore This world is strange, these times are so hard But you'll never ever be alone The sun shines bright up, up, up above So many places left to go Thank you. This was all down to you. Thanks to you, we saved Vanilla, Yuki, and even Rachel, defeating Mike and restoring humanity's emotions. That was all you. Everything, everything is thanks to you. The world will slowly go back to normal. And us go-getters will grow up, little by little. Before long, we'll be adults. But whatever happens, however much time passes, one thing will never change. That's you and me. We'll be friends forever. Friends for eternity. At the world's end. <laughs>